Hey everybody, this is One Up Mom, aka For Me to Play You, or should I say For Me to Play You, aka One Up Mom. I know it's been a while, y'all, and y'all probably wondering if you've never seen this game. Who is this lady on my screen? What I'm playing today is called Detroit Become Human. I've been wanting to play this game for a while because I'm from Detroit. Y'all probably already know that, but, um, you know, I'm like, I think I got geeked about this game because of all of the things that are actually in the game that I see that are, you know, you know, landmarks and things that are in the game. Now, as far as the demographics and all the other stuff that's going on, yeah, it's a little different. But I'm also um, aware that some of what's going on in this game can actually happen in the timeline that they specify in this game, which I think is 2032. Everything that's happening right now and what's, what's going on with true androids and all of that stuff, if y'all pay attention to tech and stuff, this can actually happen within that timeline, especially with what's going on in the city and the country and all of that stuff. So, anyway. Um, Please adjust your screen settings. I don't want to adjust nothing. They want to wait until the center icon is barely visible. See, I've played this game all the way through. So, personally, I'm like, Thank I can you. keep the way it is. Now select your profile. But I did have to get my PS4 fixed. Hey, beautiful. Love you. Um, I did have to get my PS4 fixed. So I sent it to the PlayStation to get it fixed. And they sent it back. So it's possible that some of those settings that I had is already gone. But it looked good enough to me. When this sign is displayed, please do not turn Thank off your you console. Thank you for giving me the thumbs up. You are now ready to begin to try. Is the music Remember, louder this than... This is not just a story. You know, is it too loud? This I don't know what it sounds like. I didn't check it on my phone. I'm not going to be doing a lot of reading, obviously, since they have all of this. Oh, it's 2038. I said 2032. It's 2038. But I still can see that. Oh, it's too loud. Let me hold on. Let me see if I can fix that. Audio. Hey, why is not let only available in the main menu? Look, chick. Okay, so I got to go back. Okay, so we about to start this ish over. You know what? You said sort of. So I'm about to turn it down a little bit. Just a skosh. I don't have to do a whole lot of talking since, I mean, this is sort of like watching a movie. So, <laughs> sort of. I don't know. I don't want it to be too loud, though. Hold up. Options. This is the options section. No. You can customize okay, your experience here. Let me try not to. Home theater. Oh, does it matter? Seriously? Let me see. Does it? I don't know. Oh, maybe I will leave it. What did I have it on? Home theater. I don't know. That might be too loud. Let me just say... Headphones? Should I say headphones? I don't know, because I do have headphones on. But would they make it louder because of headphones? I don't know. What would you do? Out of all of these... Um, sounds. Let's see. TV large. TV small. Home theater. Or headphones. I don't know either. Because I don't know how it's going to sound. Hold on. I'm going to take a pause and see if I can hear how it sounds on my phone. Since my daughter so lovingly told me to do this. I did not want to do this. But I'm going to do it. You don't hear the difference? Oh, I might as well leave it the way it was then. Okay, never mind. Ain't no point. Okay. 
Nah, I'm good. It's probably not bad at all. Well, I guess everybody can just turn it down on your TV. How about that? Or on your, your parameters have been saved. Okay. First of all, well, I ain't even gonna say all of what I really want to say. Probably not bad at all. Okay, okay, if you say so. Okay, let me get back to the game. If you let your um, screen just sit on that part where she's in the uh, screen for a while, she'll just keep talking to you and saying random stuff. It's, uh, it's hilarious. And say different facts and stuff. Although partial facts. Because the other thing is, is a lot of times when you come from certain different demographics and you're talking to another demographic, you may not share certain information that you would share amongst yourselves. You know, it's a survival technique, actually. I always love that part. Connor. Now, let me see. I'm going to try not to miss anything because it's telling me I missed the magazines and I know that I got it a hundred percent when on my disc but this is the uh, the free download I got from my PlayStation Plus so I probably am missing something you say good old Connor you mean jacked up Connor you know I don't remember seeing this part the first time just this section before well, okay let me hurry up and do what I gotta do I gotta remember all the stuff I think it's let me see cuz I forgot Okay, okay. Okay, so don't I? How do you do that? Oh, there you go. I forgot. It's the right. You know, I'm so busy wanting to do it with the left joystick. It's the right joystick. Look how old those people are. But look at the dates. Like, for real, for real. Like, she looked older, but she was born in 2001. Like, for real, for real? Like, seriously? And I'm like, she ain't even born yet, Emma. I'm just saying. Okay. Did that. That way I have that. Am I going to save the fish? I think I am. So what? See, something already wrong with my program. If you notice in this game, whenever you do something that's not on task, You'll see something mess up. You'll see in a minute. Hold on. You see where it says software instability? That happens every time you do no something that's not like robotic. <laughs> okay. We did all that. I think I've gotten everything I can get in this game. Yeah. On this part. Before the um, cutscene comes please, in. Please. Please. You gotta save my little girl. Wait. You're sending an android? All right, ma'am. You, you need to go. You can't do that. You... Why aren't you sending a real person? Why your mama ain't sending a real person? Don't let that stay here! Nah, I'm, I, no, no, for real. I feel bad for you because of what happened. I already know what happened. I should just be quiet and just play this game like I've never played it before, but... You find Captain Allen. I don't want to find Captain Allen. I don't like him. Captain Allen is old. Arrogant little SOB. My men are ready to step in. Just give the order. Well, I don't know about his mom. I should talk about his mom like that. Because I don't know. Oh, look. Y'all see what's going on. I'm supposed to go in there and find him. But it's like two rooms right here that I need to be finding. But they won't let me go up in there. See, like, look what happened. They're going to turn me away. Because I got to go to the side Captain Allen first. Look at this, Chuck. And if I take too long, they'll start shooting. So let me go ahead and go talk to Captain Allen first. Go talk to him. It's arrogant ASS. Captain Allen, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by CyberLife. It's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. And if it falls, she falls. Have 
Have you tried its deactivation codes? The first thing we tried. Has it experienced an emotional shock recently? Listen, saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. You gonna take care of it, but your person, your two of your men is already down. So obviously you ain't taking care of crap. Just saying. All that. I had to be called in because you weren't taking care of it, but there's that. Oh, how to remember all this. Because you brought your arrogant A in here thinking that, um, okay, like, where the hell? Hold on. Like, okay, ain't I supposed to do it, like, right here? Hold up. Please stop playing with me right now. Please stop playing with me. And I think this daylight that's coming through my window is like really messing with my TV though. I did that. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm getting all agitated for no, oh, there you go. No reason to talk. Half can't see my screen because it's freaking daylight. I love daylight, but come on, man. Oh, shucky, shucky, quack, quack. Oh, by the way, you can move the joysticks around just in case you know it don't have to just be in one spot. But y'all know this, right? I'm not talking to people who don't know this stuff. Okay, so look at all that. He grabbed the gun and he looked up there and he pulled it from there and he was being bad. So there's that. Now first, I'm gonna do this. Cause you ain't gonna go in here first, but you can look at it now. All of a sudden you can look in the bathroom. That's all you can do. Then, this is something I totally missed the first time I played this game. It's this baby's room. I got everything in this room. Okay. So first of all, let's find, hold up, come on. Go over there. Oh, there we go. I guess I moved too quick. Now, I ain't gonna lie, these androids is gonna replace some people because people don't like people. And to get somebody that you can program, that's going to like you, like what you do, all that, all that. Yeah, it's going to be some people trying to marry some dang on Androids. I'm just saying. They already starting in California already <laughs> with some of that stuff. I saw some uh, company. Well, I, well, I'm not going to say what kind of company, but I think you can gather, you know, the kind of company. Let's just say they only pick the female Androids so far <laughs> for a certain um hmm, uh I don't know how you, I'm trying to put it nicely so I don't get jacked up and people get banned and whatever yada 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 oh look at all that just tow up the like I don't know this I already know what's up so let's go see the dead body dad you know one of the things I can't stand about YouTube is it's always telling you what you can and can't do and keeping some of your subscribers from seeing your stuff and just doing random crap you know so okay I think it's one of his hair right Not, oh no I Come on, be still. He just ceased to this. <laughs> oh, sorry. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Okay. Oh, dude has something in his hand. Yeah, yeah. We gonna turn this around like so. Ooh, look at this there. Yeah. Come on. Ready to 
Now that's a car. That's a whole damn car. Eight thousand nine hundred ninety-nine dollars. But that's that's a used car though. That ain't no real car. I'm just saying, especially after this. Uh... Okay, now nah. hold on. Oh, just shoot. Always shoot and stuff. Cut it out. All that. All that. Walk. I ain't going over where they want me to go. I know they want me to hurry up and get there, but I ain't gotta I ain't gotta hurry up. They gonna be alright. Where the damn shoe at? What are we waiting for? We should take down this asshole. There you go. She could be wounded. Oh. See, but I gotta be careful. It's two ways. Hold up, where is it? I can peek from here, I think. I can only peek. Now, I'm not going to, oh, look at the body on the flow. Like, I already know this. I know all this. Hold up. Analyze. It's all kinds of stuff and little Easter eggs all through this thing. Including with this dude. Hold up. I can't remember all of this stuff. But hold up. Where the body? Where the body go? I'm telling y'all, I can't see everything I want to see because of this thing on sunlight. I mean, I love the sunlight, but... When it's reflected on your TV like this, it's not a great thing. Because you can't see as much. So you can turn around so you can see what you see what's happening. Right there. Yep. Keep going. Now, watch. See that? Uh oh. I guess I moved it off the screen. Okay, cop shot deviant. You go backwards. Turn the thing around. Because you ain't going to know that unless you turn it around and stuff. So go all the way back. Dang on gun, all that. Now, if you want to see the whole thing, you can just be like, oh, ah, he shot. And no, uh, okay, ready? Look, here you go. Run, run, go. Bam, shot. Oh, bam. Yep, see, see what had happened. Go all the way back. And it went out his hand, it's on the table, all that, all that. And we're going to reach for this. Wow. We gonna follow the rules or we gonna be compliant like a good old robot. Now I'm put it back because, you know, put it back. Yeah, put it back because I ain't supposed to do this. I'm gonna be compliant. Because let me tell you, hey Batman! Hey. Yeah, see when you're compliant, you know, in this game, one of the things I noticed in this game is that it basically tells you if you want to really win with a good ending, they want you to be compliant for everything. And that's just not real life, so. Oh, I forgot to lick that. Shoot. Okay, so why am I not like, why is it not doing this? Oh, there it go. Look at this. Now, I got the magazine. Don't tell me I ain't get every magazine. Here come the Batman. Uh, uh, here come. Wait, technically you're already here, so you're not coming. Here is the Batman. Ha <laughs> ha! Just playing. I was just playing with you, for real. I, I was just playing. All right, so now, I'm going to go this way. Come on. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to unmute this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The funny thing about downtown Detroit, you know that these buildings, I mean, minus all the new titles they're putting on, they're actually there today. So, like, if you ever come to Detroit, you can see all this. It probably keeps you out. Well, if you keep out about it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm about to go turn off this pot because it's boiling. It's boiling over. Come on. Yeah, yeah. They was about to have dinner and stuff. Okay, now I gotta be careful with how I do this because I remember one time I did it and it just automatically went past a certain point for me and I had to go forward even though I didn't want to go forward with it. Okay, so there you go. Now, this was the nastiest thing I saw in this game. I was like, ugh. How you gonna lick the blood, bro? You don't pick up nothing off the floor and just lick it. That's just, that's just extra nasty. But, okay, now I did all of the things. Oh, shut up. Sorry. What the fuck are you doing? What the F is you doing? 
yelling at me. You you the Nari. Oh shit, your pie hole. Shoot. Tell me what to do. Got your man shot. You thought you had it. Cause you just thought you could deactivate something. Here, Don't come in. any closer or I'll jump. Oh, well, I be cursing on mine, my bad. But at least it wasn't in the first 30 seconds. Ha <laughs> ha! Good morning, Chris. What's your name? Hi, Daniel. Uh, my name is Connor. How do you know my name? I know a lot of things about you. I've come to get you out I'm of this. I'm telling y'all. This part was geeking me out because that's the Renaissance Center downtown. That's the... Oh, hold up. I'm gonna just be quiet because I know I gotta... Do what I gotta do, and y'all gotta hear this stuff. <sighs> okay, okay, be calm. Just be calm. No, empathize. I'm an That's what we gonna do. Just like you. I know how you're feeling. What difference does it make if you're an android? You're on their side. You can't understand how I'm feeling. Move slow, though. Please. See me tripping. Please help me. I know you and Emma were very close. You think she betrayed you, but she's done nothing wrong. She lied to me! I thought she loved me. But I was wrong. She's just like all the other humans. You can always look at him and see what's going on. Ah, oh, that's that building is down here too. All it okay, well, I get geeked about all these buildings. It is there today. Okay, okay. You're defective, okay. Daniel. Come on, bring your A. There's a problem yeah. with your software. We're going to fix you, and everything will be okay. I don't need to be fixed. I'm working perfectly. But my eyes are open now. I will never let anyone humiliate me again. Ever. Now, truth be told, if he wanted to kill her, he'd be doing blood. all this extra if stuff. Don't get him he could have been just bodied all die. of them and was gone. All humans die eventually. What does it matter if this one dies now? This one. I'm going to apply a tourniquet. Don't touch him. Touch him and I'd kill you. You can't kill me. I'm not alive. Now, the first time I played this, we didn't just even see him because we were so focused on Daniel and the kid that we kept on walking. And, they, and then the crazy part is public opinion. Get the There's heck no out of out, here. There's no way out, Daniel. No way out, bro. What too serious. The only question is whether or not you take another innocent life. You it's not it. up to you. I'm holding all the cards. If I die... She dies. I went too fast. You I hear just realized me? I just went too fast. I can't stand that noise anymore. You tell that helicopter to get out of here. You said you already have a hostage. Why are you threatening the guy? Now this is so true. Having that audio and stuff that they know this in criminal justice. Hold up. You have to trust me, Daniel. Let the hostage go, and I promise you, everything will be fine. I want everyone to leave. And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. It's impossible, Daniel. Let the girl go, and I promise you won't be hurt. I don't want to die. You're not going to die. You're just going to talk. Nothing will happen to you. You have my word. Okay. I trust you. See, I already know I've done several scenarios, so I already know what you can do to just hurry up and do that. And I know that in criminal justice, you know, cops really can lie to you. There's no, they, it's not illegal for them to lie to you, so. It's cool. Yeah, he did one. You did lie to him. He lied to you. You knew. He had a little girl. I 
I, I'm gonna say the store, the music store is the bomb too. Yeah. There you go. I saved one cop, saved a little girl, and saved myself. Now the first time I died saving her ass. Yes, I did. But oh my god, I am so geeked about Detroit right there. That shot. Oh my god. It's like that's my downtown. That's what's up. You said where did people get what from, baby? Let's go back and look at this flow chart. Now y'all see all the different decisions that could have been. He wanna put a gun to a little girl head. Now he asking uh for pity. Okay, now, honey, you know that when people are in certain situations, it ain't rational. <laughs> it don't make no sense. It never does. I did all of the things. See, when I searched for the clues, y'all see how I did all of the things, except for I didn't take the gun. That's the only thing. Yeah, but that's that's a either or. But I did all of the things. All of the things. I didn't do that because I'm like, wait, hold up. What part of that I did not do? Oh, they said I wasted too much time. Yo, mama. Anyway. Oh, you said the cops are not allowed to lie things. No, 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 no. They are allowed to lie. That's what we believe that cops are not allowed to lie, but that's not a legal thing. Cops can legally lie to you. So that's why you're supposed to keep your mouth shut, ask for your lawyer. And the most you're supposed to go is... Am I being detained? You know, you know, you can say what are the charges as well, but am I being detained and ask for your phone call so you can get your lawyer and shut the hell up after that. You say nothing because they can and they tell you if they read you your rights. If you listen to the Miranda rights, it says anything and they do mean anything you say can and will be held against you can and will can and will and trust me when i say they will turn some stuff up that's why you not that's why you ain't supposed to say a word you could say something real simple like i i went to mcdonald's to get a burger and that's the reason why i wasn't even there and they'll by the time you get to court they'll be like well they told us that they went to mcdonald's before they shot her so i was at me and then you'd be like i was at mcdonald's but i ain't shoot her <laughs> You said, I'm saying, where did people get that from to actually believe that? Probably TV. Oh, yeah. Oh, but that's constant. Think about it. If you like Law and Order, Chicago PD, and everything else, we're constantly taught how to trust officers and cops and everything, and that if we just talk to them, everything will be fine and all of that stuff. It's all programmed into us, and we program before we even see a cop. So that when we, you know, lay people, that is. People who study criminal justice know better. But anyway, um, what they do is, let me scroll so y'all can see my decisions. Um, you know, they basically get the public to believe this just with our regular programming. If people don't understand what TV is about, they <laughs> what it's really about, then um, they'll totally miss it. They'll be like, uh, if you ever notice, like, in all of the law and orders and stuff, they'll tell you, if you don't have anything to hide, then you can just tell us. If you, Yeah, but if you want to lawyer up, you must have something to hide. They get you like that. But if you ever pay attention, like, in real life, you ever notice that when, like, rich people this is the get arrested, they say nothing and they get their lawyer? It cooks 10, they say it's absolutely nothing. nothing. Only lay people be like, and handles the kids oh, I got to tell you everything. You keep your mouth shut. That's what you supposed to do. Honey, it looks so You don't know what case they trying to close and they can't close it and they need to hem you up with charges. I'm just saying. Look at everybody. Look at this. Spare parts and stuff. Now this will probably be me if I don't get no money. I'm be getting these used verses. <laughs> but I'ma treat mine real good. Let me quit. Yeah, this is supposed to like mimic slavery. It's kinda whack because it is can't. It's slightly more expensive, but it has many other functions. I guess you like Come shut on, up so we can hear. I don't like this guy. There it is. It was a bit it's difficult getting right it back here. to work in order. Okay. It was really messed up. Todd is terrible. <clears throat> the car hit it. A stupid accident. Ah, oh, I see. Anyway, it's as good as new now. 
except that we had to reset it, meaning we had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. That'll be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. AX400, register your name. Kara. My name is Kara. Okay, so now I can talk on this part. The lack of black people in this is, is amazing. If y'all don't understand the demographics of Detroit, then the lack of black people is amazing. Just saying. But okay. Oh my goodness, I can tell y'all about the Guardian building that we just passed. I can tell you about the people mover that we got. The Renaissance Center. The uh, I forgot what they call that building. I think it's called Detroit. I mean, uh, Center One or something stupid, but I know how to get there. Um, all that. That's the Joe Louis Fist. Still down there. Still down there. Okay, what else? What else? Hold up. All this stuff. I know all this. This is all downtown. Hold up. Keep it moving. That's the spirit of Detroit right there. Yep, yep, yep. That's all there. You can see that that church is there. That is actually a church that um, was a part of the Underground Railroad. So if you ever come to Detroit, they do have tours and stuff where you can, they can teach you about it. Well, I don't know how they do it now past the lockdown, but yeah. I love, yes, they put the real buildings, the streets in the game. Yes. I love it. I love how they, they made certain things futuristic, but they kept all of the things. All of the things. Oh my God. This is Woodward, man. All day. I wish I could just, like, walk y'all through some of the things. Now, they did change certain things in Detroit. Now, I'm going to tell you, there are blocks that look just like this. Hey, Cabot. And I know where they be at. That's the funny part. So they, I mean, they literally got a lot of real shots in there. That was, it was killing me. No, seriously, yeah. Underground Railroad, Harriet Tubman. Matter of fact, Harriet Tubman ended up living in Canada, which you probably already know, Chris, because you probably know our history. But I'm just saying. And you know, you, we walked across. We have certain, um, Detroit is rich with, black history that is just out of this world and Native American history that a lot of people don't know that they will not teach you in school or they will water it down like they do Martin Luther King it's yes, quite true. terrible the Martin Luther King that they tell you about versus the actual man that was here Let me you know what I'm saying oh no get your butt back over there and read that book I'm getting all of the magazines all of them come on all I got to do is do this. I ain't got to read them. All I got to do is just do that. That way I can get all the magazines. I ain't going to read that ish. Okay, I already did that. Put it back down. Put it back down. Put it down. Keep it moving. I don't want to miss nothing. Hold up. I can go a little faster on this to the angle let me do it. But they showing you all of the manual labor is done by the androids and they don't wash dishes. They don't even wash they damn kids. Watch this. Oh, I can't say nothing. It's been nannies forever and all pairs, so. Hold up. Who got time to wash their kids? Hold up. But amazingly with Android, if they're doing your job, why you don't have time to watch your kids though? I know that. I just want to see that. See this android? You see how all the androids had these triangles? Now, you know that's a reference to how they used to do... Well, that can be. That can be a reference to how they used to do different um, um, enslaved and disparaged groups, depending on which one you're talking about. Um, I'm sure people, Holocaust survivors, will remember how they did when they used to have to wear the Davidian star. Um, black people used to have to wear certain clothes, and, and we had to have passes to go past certain places. We had to, uh, my grandfather used to tell me about how we had to wear our caps backwards so that um, a lot of times, like when you worked on the railroad, um, and, you know, it was, you know, powered by coal a lot. So a lot of times their faces were so sooted that when they got to certain stops, people couldn't tell whether you were white or black. So what they would do is make the um, 
used to make the person turn their cap backwards if they were black so they would know who they were dealing with. You know what I'm saying? Certain things that we don't even understand why we do things today. You know what I'm saying? You say, oh, hey, what's up, Broken? What up, what up, what up, what up? They not because one of the things is while there has been slavery in history for a long time. Hold up. I want y'all to listen to this. This is how you treat. I'm going to see. Did I get too late? Oh, y'all missed it because I was so, I was too slow. I wonder if I can go backwards and come back on them and they'll redo it. He was so evil to him. Hold up. You just drinking because you ain't got no job because I took your job. That's what they going to say. And people do that to this day. They'll sit there and say immigrants took their job, Mexicans took their job, and all this bull is. I'm, I didn't cuss. I said bull is. Okay? But it don't be. Corporations purposely will do anything to not pay people well. You know what I'm saying? They will sit up there and get a machine to make a burger before they sit up there and pay you because you cost too much. You want a living wage, you want health care, you want all this stuff. That's how they look at you. I'm just telling you, that's how they look at you. You know, they'll be like, well, it's because of this. They get you fighting other people that have absolutely nothing to do with what's going wrong. Y'all see this? I'm just taking my sweet time because I can. <laughs> look at them. They getting a swerve uh, or trying to. <laughs> let me quit. <laughs> I said bull if, if, not spit, if, like, you know, hold up, look at this, Android work area, now listen to how he talked to them, hold up, let me see if they're going to do this part, maybe I'm too late, I don't want to hear him talk, they going to do it, I done got so late, I guess because I took too, too much time, they like, I ain't going to say it, but he was just berating them and everything, now mind you, doing nothing but sitting there playing on his little device. They doing all the work but he got to talk down to him and stuff. Now I want y'all to see this before I, cause I know they want me to cross the street. I ain't cross the street right now. I'm about to go see how they want you to show how to ban androids. Androids ruin our country. We, we want jobs. They're not going to give you jobs because I can spend $10,000 on this android real quick that is never going to sleep never going to eat Never going to get pregnant, never going to have any problems, and can constantly produce, produce, produce. That's not going to happen. That's the thing. If you notice even today, what are people doing instead of raising wages? What are they doing? They are replacing us with machines. We done got our mobile apps. We have kiosks when we go to Taco Bell and McDonald's and all the other fast food places. We got you scans when you go to the grocery store and everything. And shoot, you can use your phone. Now we can cross. Now we got to do this. Hold up. We got to do this a little slow because even though I'm supposed to go down there, which by the way, some parts of these is so beautiful in the city, I have to say. But I, I, I can miss things if I um, go too fast, like this part. Like if you stay in here too long. Hey, move it. You're scaring away my customers. Yeah, they are raising the inflation. You are correct. All of that is it's all manufactured. Are you deaf, you plastic fuck. I said move it. See, if you go past him too fast, you won't get that little cut scene right there. I'm just saying. So I'm trying to get all the little things. Cause I'm a seeker. I be doing that when I play. That's what I have been labeled. <laughs> when you play. Third one. Look at this. Y'all see this? Nobody's immune to losing their job. Y'all see this is a cop though, right? But look, he got the triangle. That means he is not real. Hold up, let me see if I can get his other side of his face. Y'all see that little little um, LED light circle on his head? I don't know if y'all can see that. Yeah, he is not human. He's an android. That's right, cops can be replaced. And they would probably replace them because, I mean, you can see people, you can do this or whatever. And I'm going to tell you, they gonna make a case for that because of so many things. <laughs> they can make a case for that. Okay, what else do I want to do before I go all the way? Because I know where I'm supposed to go, 
but I'm just doing the opposite right now so I can get every little thing, every little thing. Hold on. Where the dude? Where he, where he thinking at? There you go. Oh, and listening to these people talking and stuff and the affairs people be having and stuff in this game is hilarious. The non-playable characters actually have storylines sometimes. Give me music. One dollar to hear music or so. You best believe in 2038, you ain't saying no damn dollar. I'm just saying. Because look at, exactly. The jump in food prices in the last couple of years has been higher than I've ever seen in the past two or three decades. That is so true. Although, technically this. You look at what happened in the 1970s and think about what people, what minimum wage was then and what the costs were, it was, it was, it was a little worse on the worst side. Just saying. Hold up. We don't be paying attention to that because we look at the prices and then don't correlate everything else. It's something that goes on right here. I forgot what happened. Hi. These are supposed to be in base seven. Sure. Sounds good. Hold up. I forgot what's supposed to happen here besides that. I don't know if you can see that. I can't zoom in on that. But everybody homeless like I can't do nothing. Okay. Now you can't go past this part too fast. Androids are evil. Your mama Man evil. To imitate God by creating life. But what kind of life is this? A life of plastic and metal? A life with no soul. Your mama ain't got no soul. Of our creator. Whatever. Why do you look at me so, demon? You the demon. I know who you are. I can see through you. You are the one by whom the evil will come. You are the one who will destroy Detroit. You done? You done? All right. The machines are observing us. They're waiting in the darkness for the right moment to take our place. <laughs> for it is written, let us lie in wait for blood. Let us ambush the innocent without cause. God will not let this happen. No, he will not allow his God to let to be all kinds of atrocities these, happen these for her, like millennia. Demons. So what are you saying? My brethren, have you heard about the crusade? Turn our backs on Just sin. saying. <laughs> we have to burn the androids. Let us burn them all. Burn your mama then. Shoot. All that. No, I'm just <laughs> The like, all that. Retribution you are sitting out there thinking Technology that this is all is about the androids. Us. But who created Technology the androids? Think about it. What corporation created the androids? People don't never think up. They always down. think out, like yeah, across from them or dust. down. They never go up, no matter what. They never think, image, why is this happening? Why is this happening to all of us at one time? Like, they'll be like, if I vote for this person or this side or that side, things will get better. Honey, have you noticed that the administrations have changed? Different people have changed and minimum wage still been the same since 2009? I'm just saying, pay attention. Don't nobody in, in the seat of power trying to make people come up and do well. Now, can y'all see his sign? Hold up. Please. I just need a few dollars. And see, they make you think. Now, I'm not going to do this part yet. I just wanted to show that dude. Center. Okay, let me go hurry up and do this. But y'all probably be like, y'all take too long to do stuff. Okay, you said a dollar in the 2030s is probably today's quarter. And that's being nice. That's real. Because shoot, a dollar ain't a dollar today. You're right. I can't imagine. Uh what it's like during the energy crisis in 1970s. I didn't make my debut on the first. Oh, you like my little sisters. Okay. George Carlin used to stand out routines to try to inform and wake people up. And, oh, honey, he wasn't the only one. Do y'all know about, you know what, Richard Pryor? 
I'm for real, for real. Paul Mooney, different ones. Oh, yeah, straight up said it. The difference I think was one of the things that comedians get to do, they get to tell things the way they are, but because they're making you laugh, they can get away with it, and the police and them ain't gonna kill them for that. As long as you're making a joke, it's okay. But when you just straight up say stuff, you get murdered. I'm just saying, for real. Especially when you figure out, wait a minute, hold up. Like, okay, y'all know that part where uh, in 1968 when Martin Luther King was saying, you know, he was talking about all of the things that the government was helping certain people do and the certain people didn't include folks that look like me. Um, yeah, but he was like, look, when we go up on this new uh, campaign that we own, we coming to get our check. Didn't he get shot April 4th? Just saying. He meant that ish. Do y'all know about Operation Breadbasket? No, you did not learn that in school. Why? They don't want you to know that part of Martin Luther the King. Even his wife, when she was alive, God rest her soul, sweet Coretta Scott King, was like, they ain't even come after Martin until they started talking about coming after that, that money. And that's the truth. And that whole March on Washington thing, that was a whole sham because President Kennedy had Martin Luther King. He wasn't even going to be there originally because it was about John Lewis when he was in his radical days. You know, that good trouble, as he said, God rest his soul. And um, who was it? Was it Stokely Carmichael, a.k.a. Kwame Ture? It was some other people. But anyway, they, they, was, coming, they was coming to show up, do some stuff. So to lighten up, the March on Washington, they brought in Martin Luther the King. Told them what they had to do. Even how they had to stand, where to faint, everything. It was a Travis Shad Michael. But anyway, hold up. But a lot of people won't tell you that. Now, the people who were there could tell you that, who was a part of the organizers, and other people could tell you that. But, you know, <clears throat> a lot of people ain't going to tell you. the uh, like, like I say, politicians will tell you Martin Luther King wanted peace he wanted this and he did but he wanted equity he wanted um a lot of things to be going on and he called folks out y'all go ahead and read that Birmingham letter for I mean that letter from the Birmingham jail go read that hold up I need to watch Richard Pryor's routines though I have enjoyed some of his movies no 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 see the movies is when he was just doing stuff to just make some money in between certain things that was the Travis and mockery some of that especially like when he was just yeah, that whole Superman to, uh, what's that one? He, he did a couple of them with Gene Wilder. No, nah, Carlo Nice though, yeah, that's, that's, that's real. No, <laughs> but no, I'm going to tell you, if you pay attention to Richard Pryor though, I know I'm standing here, my bad. Um, he would tell the truth about like getting arrested and everything else, but had you cracking up, but he was telling the truth about the brutality and stuff. He was telling the truth about living in the whole house growing up. He was telling the truth about a lot of things. Hold up, y'all see how this is gonna be, right? You ain't even gotta buy clothes. You can just tap and it's just gonna change. Now how it's gonna wash yourself, I don't even know. Y'all see this, right? Bio sensors and stuff. Look how much it's gonna cost. Look at this. $150. I hope it's going to be a Salvation Army in this year. What'd you say? Um, Cat Williams and Dave Chappelle are two of the best comedians today. Yeah, some, in some respect. In some respect. In some respect. Why they tell certain things mm, they uh, especially when the Dave Chappelle part when you when you for the establishment and the way things are, I I I, I kind of lose interest. Hold up. Identification verified. Now we kind of sort of do this today. We don't really have to have cash for a lot of Here's transactions. Here's your order number eight four seven. That will be sixty three ninety nine. But now you ain't Please even got to go to the grocery payment. store, and it ain't gonna be no door dashers. It's just gonna be. Your Android going to pick it up. You ain't going to... Is confirmed. you going to have to do anything if you rich enough to complete. own these Android? I, it's a matter. What are you going to have to do? Probably not much. Not of the mundane task, of course. 
because the whole point is to have now these now I don't okay there are shops that look like this but they're not called Bellini paints and stuff like that oh look turn around turn around okay here we go now right now we ain't got no movie theater downtown like this we do not not yet there are things in the works so if you know and look up Dan Gilbert and how he done came and basically got everything for a dollar but making billions of dollars off Detroit. Yeah. Look up Dan Gilbert. You understand what I'm saying? With Amazon, people can stay indoors 24-7. True. Yeah, but who else? Okay, yeah. Except the workers. Amazon is a horrible company. Absolutely horrible. But I mean, I mean, what can I say? So it's most of the, uh, hold up. Can I see this? Or can I see this at night? when we come back i think i'm only gonna see this at night because it's a um it's a saying on here hold up let me see if i can see it i think i can only see it at night yeah because they're not letting me do it hold up do they show the prices on these hot dogs i think they do we want jobs. We want i can't show you how much this stuff is gonna cost later on People keep saying, we need jobs, we need $15. You know we was asking for $15 in the 1990s. So what do you think we're supposed to be paid right now? The only reason why they said $15 now is because they figured that maybe, possibly, they can get people to do that. But everybody know, you can't live on $15. That's why people be having side hustles and stuff. Okay, so I'm going to go back so I can get, because I can totally ignore that dude. But I gotta, I gotta get this cutscene done. Hold up. Go. This is not walk the way I wanted to walk. They, they have little stop points. We can't do nothing. Here we go. There we go. I got it. Where the fuck you going, Tin Can? Hmm? No kidding. Hey guys, check it out. We got one of those tin cans here. Look at this little motherfucker. You steal our jobs, but you can't even stand up. It's a little bit of both, Cabot. I think that's a little bit of both. You said, you know, I wonder how many of these the chanty actually want jobs. How many are just anti-Android? But you gotta realize that's what they think. This, you know, this is exactly how the Holocaust happened. Waste it. Do it. Because things were bad, right. and so yeah. Women so hold up. Leave it alone. Let us teach this bastard a lesson. Damage it! I'm gonna have to find you. You can take your job next. Let's see how you like it. But Let's go. you're never supposed to get mad at somebody who has the job. You got to go against the corporation that caused it because they did it on purpose because they don't want to pay you. Pay attention to that. I always notice that these corporations are doing the opposite. Now look, you see how they be like no entry for Androids. You see how you can't, they say no entry for purchase Android. See, I'm a purchase Android. I can't even go up in this piece. I can't go look and see this. Message. Let me quit. Hold up. Let me go on and get on this bus and stop playing. <laughs> now, y'all already know. If y'all know y'all history, even the little, the little watered down history they teach you in school, what this reference is to. Notice that the bus came, but where is the android compartment? In the back of the damn bus. Exactly, Cabot. Exactly. The establishment always has a scapegoat for the people to blame. Now, mind you, notice that no matter which side you pick, because they them first they done whittled you down to two to pick, and then told you, you know, one is gonna do better than the other. If you ever notice, the average layperson is still in the same exact position, but. I, I hope y'all understand that. Oh, Rosa Parks, by the way, who came and lived her last days here in the city of Detroit. But anyway, it's a lot to it's a lot to Rosa Parks that a lot of people don't know. A lot of people really don't know. And I'm like, 
don't know her radical side since she was a little girl. She wrote about it. She got a book. But they like to make it seem like, oh, she was just so tired. And she sat on the bus and they was just picking on her dad. They, no, honey, do you know that was planned? Y'all don't even know. Well, not y'all. I'm just saying some people don't know that. Because of how much they watered it down. What blows my mind is, how did they water it down and the people who were there most of the time are still here? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, for real. Rosa Parks was my and my brother's graduation in 1996. You know what I'm saying? It's like she stepped in and we was like, oh my God! She was like me. But they snuck her out before the end of the thing because they knew we was going to bombard her after be like, Rosa Parks, oh my God! Blah, 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 you know. But yeah. It's a lot that a lot of people don't know. Mike Illich helped uh, Rosa Parks in certain uh, at certain times and all the different things or whatever. Okay, hold up. Let me get out. I don't even like. Hold up. Now, I'm gonna tell you something else though. They kept things like this. Oh, hold up. Let me see if I can figure out. Where is this thing? Cause it's a. It's certain things you can look at. I just like to look at every little thing. I'm a Legend of Zelda person. So I look at everything I explore everywhere. So don't be paying attention to me. Y'all see how they're trying to extend the uh, rail system throughout the neighborhood and all that. Now, I'm going to tell you something what happened in Detroit. Because I was there during that time. Before the People Mover was built. Uh, yes, Tears of King, that's what's up. Um, the big three got upset because originally it was supposed to go throughout not just downtown but all the way throughout the neighborhoods because we wanted a rail system like you know how Chicago got the L and you know people got subways and stuff anyway big three was upset because they knew that if you have a perfect public transit system people ain't gonna be buying cars which is true because I, I would be that one person who would be like why do I need a car I would be on that rail system all day. Why I gotta sit there and own a car for that? For real. I would be one of the people that so they were they were true and they basically lobbied and did all that they had to do so that all we got is this little bitty uh looping people mover that goes very slow. It's nice, it's nice and touristy or whatever. And you can, you know, pay a little fare get on and get off at each stop and it's free to get on and off as long as you you know stay stay within the loop now once you go off you have to pay back on to get in it's cool but it's like oh y'all like please play while you talking you talk too much i'm just kidding you say i'm the same way with exploring everything i know right um but the fact is is that something is going to have to drastically so happen to the big three you do the housework, for the washing, them to allow the that which is the rail system to go throughout the neighborhood. Because that ain't happening. Where the fuck's the brat gone now? Because even Alice. though the big three ain't been Alice. loyal to us, honey, they got people just thinking that, oh, hey, if you know. drive anything, hell, if That's you drive Alice. a Toyota, there's you people to her. this day who Homework, will get bath, on you. This is the big three here. Got it? Although Chrysler's not called Chrysler no more. It's get started thing. down here, then you do upstairs. But Jim, Ford, and Stellantis now, you know, they ain't gonna go for that. They are not gonna go for nothing that's gonna um, keep them from having a bottom line. Now, mind you, they will. You know, it's amazing how people say buy American. What the hell is American besides the people itself? TV and that's on. a farce too. Okay, I ain't even gonna talk about that. Yeah, exactly. It's exactly that. Cabby, you are so correct. It's exactly that. Ain't no way certain things, certain things, the reason why we are technologically behind in the world is because the corporations are allowed to keep us this way. Uh, the corporations um, get the lobby for the politicians they want. If you ever notice, politicians, even well-meaning ones, they get in office. They need you for the moment because they still need you to elect them. That's all they need you for. But once they're there, they do what the corporations tell them to do. That's it. They ain't, they ain't listening to you. They ain't listening to you. And the ones who do, they ain't gonna be there that long. If you ever notice the ones that fight for folks, they ain't there that long. Just saying. They ain't gonna be there that long. 
Or if they there that long, they gonna have a hard a time. Hold up, little girl, little girl. How you doing? Baby. Depends on what you need. Go on and play with that little raggedy doll. <laughs> what does the fox say? <laughs> Let me quit. <laughs> I'm crazy. Y'all know this though. Y'all know this. Y'all know this because y'all be laughing at me when I play with my daughter. The corporations also get to loop, uh, use loopholes to avoid paying tax legal. Now, mind you, I'm going to tell you this. Yes, they can do that. But if you read any little part of the tax code, if you look at it, it's not geared for W-2 people. It is geared for corporations and businesses. It is not for W-2 people. Read it. You are punished basically for working a job. For real. You are the most taxed. Use this. You can't use it because it's broke. But the cool part is I can order it. Now mind you, how he behind on bills and I'm ordering a part? See, some stuff don't make sense. If he can't pay these bills, how he gonna order the part for the thing? I'm just saying. That's just something I don't think they thought about. And then, first of all, just because the dishes, dishwasher ain't working, you don't need to have it. See, I, oh, I would not eat in this house. You best believe I would not eat in this house. And this how you wash your dishes? I'm not, I'm not eating at your house. This ain't happening. Look how she did that. All that food wasn't even off of there. Ugh. The androids can't wash dishes. At least Carl can't wash dishes. Maybe she's still broke. And then there's offshore bank. Okay, for real. Oh my goodness, I have seen so many people make fun of that stuff because it's like, I think people, I think politicians think we're dumber than we are. We're not dumb. It's just that we don't have the power to change certain things. And y'all make sure of that. Yes, Todd? Bring me a cold beer. Bring your mama right cold on. beer, Todd. That gummy trying to yell at me. Bring your mama cold beer. <laughs> Shoot. Okay, y'all gonna hear me say bring your mama stuff and all that stuff because that's just the way I am. I always say bring your mama, your mama all the time. Like, I sit up there and my daughter will do something and I say your mama. And then everybody look funny at me because I am her mama. And I'm just funny like that. I'm, I'm crazy like that. So don't pay me no attention. They be like, but you are my mama. <laughs> you bet. Now I'm gonna take my sweet time to bring him his beer, which he ain't gonna like. Oh, but I don't give it. F. Okay, I can't put the rumble on. I gotta put this beer down first. Oh, come on. Can I put the rumble on? Nope, can't do it. I can't put the rumble on. What? What? Put it down. You put it down. And how is you just, just this nasty? I ain't coming over. I do like the way they did this. Cause that look, that look real though. What are you looking at? I can look at what I want. Get the fuck out of here. Get your mama out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Who you yelling at? I'll get back to work. I'm an android. I could snap you in half if I wanted to. I forgot to do this the first time because I didn't even see it the first time. Right, what are you looking at? What's your mama looking at? Alice, you better stop that right now. Oh, because she playing. Oh, because she playing. This is terrible. Why Look how nasty this is. Pushing me? Ain't nobody pushing you. Pushing. You said the people need to remind the politicians who is supposed to work for who. Okay, first of all, I understand. That's how you feel. But the government ain't supposed to work for us. That's not what it's actually for. It's to keep control, period. Out of the way and honey, to our sakes. dying days, sorry, we should, should be coming up in a few years. Um, Cause we ain't 250 years old yet, and most stuff happened within 250 years, as far as change of power and new world order. Cause you know, before this, England was in control, but then you know, with World War One and everything else and all of this stuff, we ended up taking over. You know, China next. Everybody know that. So it's like, yeah, people are on that, just rude. But he nasty. He is just flat out. I, just, I was trying to clean. I really was. I must have missed that because I stepped too wrong. Okay, let me clean this up because this is just nasty. Hold up, what is he telling me to do? 
get oh I got forgot I gotta get the garbage can first stupid stuff that don't make no sense the only makes sense to just bring the stuff to the garbage can but I gotta take the garbage can everywhere with me that just makes so much better sense okay yeah people on the game are rude but that's what it's supposed to be yeah on the, on the TV yeah okay so who does this what was wrong with him putting it in the garbage and taking it out just just nasty for no reason now he could be suffering from depression because sometimes that does happen people be all nasty and don't give care about what things look like and what things are when they are depressed this is true he probably is depressed and this is not the way to do things, but a lot of times that's what it is. He don't know what else to do, so he just going to watch the game, get high, drink beer, and blame everybody else. That's what he's going to do. Now, where did this second bag come from? Because did y'all see me make a second bag? Y'all ain't see this. You said China is going to uh, go bankrupt in the near future, I hear. Well, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> not before us. <laughs> we hanging on by a thread. Because we owe everybody. Everybody. But that's okay. Because you are the product. <laughs> so, they, they, they'll, 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 um, the, the point is, is that as long as people believe we're in control, um, we can keep this establishment imperialistic establishment up for a little while longer okay now you let me tell you about this part right here i know this is such a detroiter thing but i'm geek because that's a 53 downtown that's a real bus line that goes downtown it's a real bus line now they don't look this sleek they do look nice though we got some nice looking buses but they ain't this sleek that's 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 what's up but we got some electric buses now not all of them. Some of them gas guzzling, whatever. You know, diesel. But, uh. To the house. To the back cave. Yo. Okay. I'm gonna report to Todd when I get the chance. I'm gonna get this magazine. So I wanna get the magazine. Wait, first, let me look at the little girl. I see her. Okay. Now give me magazine, because I'm not gonna miss a magazine. Not one magazine. I'm not gonna forget. Cause they say I'm missing one, or something. They say I'm missing it. What you? What is that symbol? I can't tell what that is. I'm too far away from my thing. The back A, good name. <laughs> well, I shouldn't say that, cause this is this is a hot mess. Look. Oh, don't he sound like he's doing it? Don't he sound like that? Did y'all hear that sound? He sound like he's doing something. Hold up. Let me show you what he's doing, though. He ain't doing nothing to get high. See? He's just getting high. That's all. You see this drug? Ugh, and whatever it is, it's got the blackest of smoke. I'm like, cigarettes got at least white smoke. What the hell is this that got black smoke? Okay, let me report the car. I made a good start down here. I'll head upstairs. Do what you have to do, but stop bothering me. Oh, did I mess up? I did mess up. I messed up. I messed up. Dang it. Because I was supposed to go outside. I ain't do that. Oh, I messed up. I messed all the way up. I was supposed to start the laundry. Did I mess all that it up? Wait, it might not. Wait, me hold up. Can I go outside now? I done messed it all the way up. Oh, no. It's not going to let me do it now because I done messed up and talked to Ty first. I was not supposed to talk to Ty first. Listen to him. Don't sound like he's just doing something he, you know, something he should be doing in private. Just saying. You said, I remember when we first heard this part, everybody thought that. I know, right? That's exactly what I thought. I was like, uh. Okay, what's going on, little girl? Come on. That's a pretty toy. What's its name? That's a pretty toy. Really? I guess everybody, you know, that's subjective, I suppose. <laughs> it's like, that's a pretty toy? Okay. If you say so. Alright. 
I'm going up these stairs. Why everything is like all unpainted? Like he just like we squatting. Why is we squatting in here? That's all I'm saying. Why is we squatting? Okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Nah, no, not the little girl. I done played this all the way through. She ain't gonna be that evil. She ain't evil at all. Wait, I don't wanna, oh, you never seen this? Maybe I shouldn't tell you what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna be quiet. I'm gonna just let the game play. Okay. I appreciate y'all coming through too because y'all can do other things with y'all time and y'all giving me the time of day. So I appreciate y'all. Thank you so much. Uh-uh. Put that back down. I ain't mean to pick that up. Just the little slightest little thing. All I did was touch it. Just a skosh. Hold on. Where is that? There it go. He just... See? He got all of the problems. See? Antidepressant. Wish them suckers don't work. They just make you more depressed. Okay. Let me not say that. Because I'm probably going to get in trouble for saying stuff like that. But okay. That's just an opinion. I don't know why I feel like his sheet stank. <laughs> yep, the Joker is on the loose. But instead of stopping him, the back came to the chat cave. Hey, now. Let me see. Hold up. She do all this nice tidying up. And you know he gonna get mad because he moving stuff. Eventually, you know, people like that get mad because they don't know where nothing is. Just saying. What's this on the floor? The guitar. Okay. Can I, can I get it though? There we go. Everything do look better when I come though. That's real. Cause, for real. I'm going to do that later. Give me a minute. Let me go see this part. Because this is important. Get it! I was mad that they didn't let us see this fully. And blurred it out. Because it would have been like super obvious. What comes later. that house look like it's thick yeah but it's like I don't know okay first of all let me air out this room though for real I, I did oh I gotta hold it together my bad I let go of the button and then look, look at the spirit of Detroit though now y'all know that that is our colors the red wings but Detroit Crimson Sharks, though, I guess they couldn't, maybe they couldn't get the rights to use the name. That's probably what happened. I did. I guess I ain't hold it long enough. They were like, you ain't hold it long enough. And now to sports. First up. I just want y'all to know that the news is there to make you fear stuff. That's pretty much that. And if you pay attention, not only to fear, but also it's just the communication wing of the government too. If you pay attention, even though it looks like they're divided, eventually they tell you to do the same exact thing. Be scared. <laughs> do what we tell you to do. Be compliant. So, I love the fact that they had like actual channels on this game. That was kind of cool. <laughs> you say they gonna drop the red wings? No, they just gonna change the name. You know. They're going to be there. It's going to be the same people. Unemployment at all times. Now, wait a minute. Now, this is this is stuff that actual news does. I don't care if it's Fox, CNN, ABC, NBC, MSNBC. I don't care which one it is. They will just say, state the stupidest thing while other more important things are going on. Like, unemployment is at all time, time high. No stuff. I know, I almost said it. I'm trying to keep it down to a minimum for most of y'all. Although I be cussing, so don't pay me no mind. Nah, do y'all know this? Wait, I want y'all to see who the president is when they show the president. Let me see if they're going to show her, show the president. 
They telling you the name of the president, but they ain't showing the president. I want you to see the president. When you see the president, you're going to be like, this is hilarious. You love going to hiking games. It's so hype. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now. Now y'all remember what that room looked like? Now don't it look a little better? Look at that. Look a lot better. And it probably smell better with the dang on air open, although it's cold as heck, obviously, so. Watch it. Now you know he ain't wash his hands all nasty. Rat dog. Hold on. Ain't no sink in here. So he couldn't wash his hands. So he went in there, used the bathroom. Oh Lord, you nasty. You just nasty. God ain't in this. You just nasty. I said this before. I be acting like I ain't see this a million times. Cause I played this when it first came out. I had to get it first when it first came out. But guess what? I got it on discount. I did not buy that disc full price. I don't, I don't believe in buying full price on nothing. If I can help it. Wait. I know it's some. Wait. Hold up. Ain't it something else? I was about to say. I can look in the mirror. Let me look at myself. I got to look at myself. Hold on. It's funny how you have to stand in a certain spot to get certain things to show up. No. And I'm supposed to mop with some dirty water. Hold on. You know why I say it's dirty water? Because she just started mopping. You ain't see her run no water. You ain't see her put no soap, no Murphy's, no nothing in there. She just got the dang on mop and just went across the floor with it. I'm just saying. Now, it look pretty, though. But I bet you that mop stinks. Just saying. <laughs> I'm great, great. Ah, but that's okay. Hey, little girl, I, I ain't gonna hurt you. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna do nothing to you. I only need two minutes. Is that okay, Alice? I need three, four, five minutes. Cause real talk, this is some. Seems you like reading. Seems like people got books that they might not even read. I'm just saying. <laughs> I see that drawing. Now you know we would have got our butt beat. We would have got a whooping for real. We did something like that. Oh my God. I can just feel the abuse. I feel it. Uh huh. Pay attention to it. Now you know what? If somebody, I don't care if they're an Android, your maid, or whatever, and they pick up your lockbox and try to open it, the. the Oh, the audacity. Everything in the house look like it stink. And like it stink. Even that uh me man. <laughs> oh, hold up. I think my husband is home. Hold on. Hey babe. Hello. How are you? Good. Good to see you. Uh I was about to say good morning, but it's good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> I about to say good morning. But I can't say good money because it's not good money. Make up this bed. Look at that pillow. Please buy that baby a new pillow. Or wash it real good with some bleach. Three times. You say tell dad. I say hi. Uh, your baby said hi. He said hey, hello. I don't know if you can hear him on my mic. Okay, hello, let me... He said, hello, darling. <laughs> Ooh. There we go. Yeah, we're going to unlock that. Yes, you got to do that. You got to do it. You got to do it. Okay, I done did all the things. I done did all those things. I can go talk to little girl. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey. Hey, little girl. Why you got to stand in a certain spot? It be killing me with that. Okay, I, I shouldn't say that. I am not a developer. I'm not a programmer. I should be very... Um, I'm sure we used to cool. be friends before I was reset. Maybe we can be friends again. It's rude, but I'm gonna ask. Will she be home soon? Cause her mama could be dead, child. You don't know. Always being nosy. You should tell me about yourself. What you like to do, where you like to go, your favorite foods. That would really help me. Your father said you chose my name. Kara, it's nice. 
How did you choose it? She just did. Kids should be choosing stuff. They smart. Kids are smart people. They might not have been here before, but they still smart. You can learn it. You can learn things from kids too. Just saying. No. How was your day, darling? Feels good. <laughs> you said she said, ah, "Dad, this machine talking to me." <laughs> Alice Walker. Okay. Is that what? What is his last name? I forgot. I saw it on the bill, but I forgot. Maybe it's Wilson. Hey, Mr. Wilson. <laughs> I'm so loving this light man right now. Or is that a cello? Or a viola? I don't know. It's a string instrument, Dad Blast. Look at Todd. Oh, mean big butt. That's me. Y'all see that, right? You see the triangle? See, that's me? I'm saying that's Kara. That's what I'm saying. Look like this little girl tried to intervene. But at the end, my head is snapped off. My arm snapped off and I'm bleeding blue blood. Look at that. See that there? Yeah, you in danger. If you ever notice when androids get upset and stuff, they stuff go red. Their little uh, LED light on the right side of their head. Yeah. Did you see when she read that? It flickered red for a minute. You read in yellow like they're in danger. Like Molly, you in danger, girl. What you laughing at, one up? My cuckoo-ness? Probably. I don't blame you. Okay, I done cleaned the bathroom. I done cleaned her room. About to go back downstairs. I done cleaned this nasty half bath with no sink. Well, you can't even wash your hands. Come on. What are you doing? What your mama doing? Uh, I'm playing. Playing? I know what you're thinking. You don't. I think your dad's a low life. He probably is. Huh? Let me quit. Fucking loser. It's can't mama. get a job. Not take kidding. care of his family. Oh, she ain't thinking Don't you that. think I tried to make things work? Oh, no. But whatever I do, when someone comes along, they just fuck it all up! Is that what it is? Is that, is that what it is? We gonna blame everybody else? You hate me. You hate me, don't you? Mm. Say it! You hate me! This is tricky. God. Oh, crazy. What am I doing? Get some help. I'm sorry. Let's take it out on the I'm baby. Sorry. The baby's don't deserve any of that. Sorry. You know I love you, don't you? Yeah, you know <laughs> he I, said, you. I hate you, sir. Right. Now, real talk. I do not understand why they cut the scene. Like, how she's standing there doing that whole point. And it's like, I understand you're an android, but for real, for real, you just gonna, you gonna just do all that? You just gonna just stand up? See, you're not a human being who freezes. You know, because, you know, we get the flight uh fly freeze and i forgot all the other responses but the first three everybody seemed to remember and it's like but you're not a human being so why are you freezing that's that's annoying so anyway y'all see all of the things and the choices that i have made and i decided not to do that part oh i think that's the laundry dang it i messed up on the laundry part that's my fault I didn't even do that part. My bad. I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry, y'all. I I did. Okay. Now, all right. There's the, this. It's a couple of neighborhoods that look like this, but mainly I bet you five hundred dollars. This is the Boston Edison neighborhood, especially on the east side of the lodge. I would say the east side, even though the west side of the lodge is cool. Yeah. These big old pretty houses. I think the east side has the bigger ones, if I'm not mistaken. 
But look at the Boston Edison district in Detroit. You'll see what I'm talking about. Hold up. Um, come on now. Come on. All right, that ain't all that was over there. Go on back over there. Not just the mirror. No. Mm -hmm. Them pretty little birds. Now, this is something when you get, well, honestly, this is a cool thing to have when you think about it. Because you ain't never got to feed them. They don't never crap and all of that stuff. You just get the nice little chirping and they look cool. You turn them on and that's it. And they and you ain't never, they never get lost. They never get old. They never die. Best pet for folks <laughs> who can't take care of nothing. Y'all see, did y'all see? I don't know if they're going to let me look at this on the other side. It was a way to look at that a little closer so you can see how this chandelier really looks. Y'all see that? What kind of bean is this? They not just children and cherubs and stuff. I'm just saying. Which way they peep. Look, they ain't gonna let me do nothing. That's okay. I'm gonna say this is very, very, very awesome. Just look at this. I mean, I would have never thought to do this. Very artistic. I like it. I mean, not something I would do, but it's definitely, you know, a lot to look at. I've seen this, and I can't remember what the name of it is. But I don't know. Them gazelles are a little close. Them gazelles are a little close. I'm just saying they might be happy. This is amazing. This is just very opulent. Just look at all of this. Look at all of the things. What kind of... Okay, who you got to hire to get a window that goes from the top floor, the second floor, all the way down to the first floor? And, like, it looked deep enough for you to fall through. Real talk. Like, if I was to cross this line... Like, I can't cross. I'm trying to push it where I can do that. It's not going to let you, you know. But, oh my goodness. And there is a giraffe. Just a whole giraffe. What is it with people just wanting to have dead animals, taxidermy everywhere? Well, there's a history to that too, but we're not going to get into that right now. Just always wanting to own everything. Just always wanting to have it instead of just letting it be free. What is that? Like, what is that? Look at the ceiling, y'all. Look at the ceiling. This is just, yeah, this is definitely an artist's house. All right, it's dark in here. It's that gub dark. Now nah, this is hilarious to me because it's like not a light for you to touch when you first come in, but you got all this other technology. You just said I'm just uh, glad we in the cleaner house. Ah! Good morning, Carl. Now let me good tell morning. you. It's 10 a.m. The weather is why I got geeked. 54 this degrees, 80 percent humidity with a strong possibility listen. of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. Okay. I did so. go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. Okay. I'm going to just wait till he stops. The reason why I'm not moving closer to him so I can say this piece. If y'all know who that actor is, I can't think of his name. But if y'all know who he is, what is geek? what geeked me about this game when I first played it was that he is the same actor who played an android in Aliens. And I was like, and he's playing in Detroit Become Human opposite an android. Oh, man, that blew my mind. That effing blew my mind. I loved it. It was like, I was like, they did that on purpose. They used the guy who used to be an android to be in this android-based game. I love it. If y'all watch the movie Aliens, if y'all ain't scared, Watch the movie Aliens and the guy. Now, mind you, this Aliens is over. How old is Aliens? Dang it. It's over 40 years Should old, I believe. Arm, please, Carl? No. Carl. So he going to have dark hair in that movie. But that's him. Thank I can't you. think of his name. Hold up. Let me look it up mm. while we administering. I, I ain't got already nothing at much. this point. It's a cut scene. So I'm going to turn on my phone real quick and see if I can find his name real quick. Because I can't think of it. Oh, I do got to do something. Hold up. Humans are such a fragile machine. Yes, they are. They break down so quickly. 
Not only all that, they keep being fragile with their feelings. To keep them going. Easily, easily manipulated, hey. easily led. What <laughs> happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the street, Carl. What a bunch of idiots. They think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids? I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. Okay, let me see. Hold I'll up. I'll take Here you to the go. bathroom Where now. is his name? Oh. Come on. Lance. Okay, Lance Henriksen. Okay, that's him. That's him. Yes. And aliens. Yes. Okay, I got it. Okay. All right. I'm going to pick him up. I'm going to pick him up. You never saw it. Okay. It's a movie about these aliens that kind of kill everybody. <laughs> With Sigourney Weaver is the main character. That was some stuff back then. Hold up. Let me t let me take this off my phone while they washing his butt. Get him all presentable. This is the fastest washing his butt I've ever seen. I'm starting to think you missed some parts. I mean, did you wash his musty balls and things? I just need to know, cause I'm like that was too quick. I love his wheelchair though. His wheelchair is everything. I wish I wish people Anything that I love who had wheelchairs had a wheelchair like this. Yes, this there's like the opening nice of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Real nice. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Hmm. I haven't decided yet. Hmm. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Hmm. That is sweet. I wish they would go Any that fast down there. That would probably scare people, though. No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, I don't bother. I laugh at this because he's doing this, but this chair is the bomb. Y'all will see, because right now I just look all kind of, you know, where the uh, tires are towed in. Well, your breakfast is ready. Look at this Bacon room, y'all. The like Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. Yeah, this is how the upper crust live. Some of them, some of them don't. It's some, it's some, it's some, it's some millionaires who, and uh, folks who you probably don't hear about who keep it on low. You would never know just looking at them that they got Monty, Monty, Monty. Okay, like for real Monty. Okay, this is a big kitchen, but for real, you can tell don't know cooking go on in it. Look at it. Oh, this is definitely Boston Edison. This is definitely Boston Medicine District. For real, for real. Look at this. You know how I know? Look, what kind of stove? What cooking is you doing? This is Michigan. We need stoves with an S. I mean, we can have this, but for real, no. This is this is a show kitchen. This is not somebody who making good Thanksgiving dinners and things. Nobody cooking in here. This is order. Order takeout kitchen. Because you can't get it nasty. This is a show kitchen. Now, what you say, you said you would ask him, hey, Android, can you give me some W's? Oh, that's wrong. <laughs> Android would reply, it's impossible, Miss One Up Woman. <laughs> oh, that's so wrong. Those are figs. Like, whole figs. I'm like, oh, okay. Got that. How this breakfast was made already? That means whatever this is. No, not trying to be funny. Y'all ain't seen no May. I'm about to say this. I know. I be paying attention to the stupidest little things in the background. His breakfast is ready, right? Where was I prior to coming to the house? I was downtown getting Bellini paints, right? And I was taking my sweet A time, right? So how is his breakfast that I'm about to give him, which I'm about to show y'all what's in it. You see the figs. It's already cut, which I'm, no, I'm cool with that because that's fresh fruit. But check this out. That's bacon and eggs, Thank right? You, Television. This is coffee, right? Right. Okay. Have y'all made the conclusion that I have? 
everything is cold. It's got to be cold. I was downtown all day. I just got here. I washed your butt. Ain't no way this breakfast sure. okay, was Carl. made and it's still warm. This is cold. You like your stuff cold? Ain't nobody about to eat no. Okay, I do eat cold bacon when I eat a BLT. But that's different. I like this TV. Then. It's sweet, but you won't see me buying it. But I like it. You know why I like it? Because look at this side. That's sweet. Now, y'all can't. Y'all got to admit, that's a sweet TV. But I ain't about to buy it just because people have it. I ain't got to buy another damn TV in my life. Unless they try to make it obsolete. All right, I'm getting all the magazines, getting all the magazines. I know y'all want y'all want to read that. Y'all want me to read that. I have read. I'm gonna tell y'all the truth. I read every last one of these mugs. Like literally read the articles, and they really went in on those articles because this real stuff that happened. Television Wait, off. I didn't even get a chance. Oh, I should have picked up so that. Depressing. Your mama's so depressed. Nothing but greed, stupidity, and violence. Oh, that's true. Five thousand years of civilization just to get to where we are. First of all. It's been far more many years besides 5,000, but we're not going to talk about that because I know that's the narrative that they, they want to tell you. So, but okay. <laughs> so, but okay. 5,000. Really? Are you serious? <laughs> Man, they want you to believe things that don't make sense. What's over here? What this is? Oh, spin this. Yay, I spend it. <laughs> ah, okay, let me go over here before I go over to the piano. Okay, let's see what old dude want to read. Look at the books. Y'all see the board books, you know what I'm saying? What you're supposed to read, what's supposed to be classic and all of that. And you see the different masks he probably got from Mexico doing the... You know, the Day of the Dead and all of that. Let's see, what's this? Hold up. Okay, reading. What are you reading? What I, what oh, I want to read. Odes. It's one of the books he recommended. So I should have got on the piano instead. Well, there's a lot of sadness in his poems. Hmm. Keats was in love. There's nothing like love to make a man feel more miserable. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. So? You'll have to protect yourself. Make okay. your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. It ain't Don't the world. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. It ain't the world. I done been around a studio. lot of places in the world. Or should I say a lot of the Americas. And uh, it ain't the world. Might be here in the United States of America. It's not the world. I can guarantee you that. Am I supposed to just... I'm mad because I was supposed to play the piano. But because I picked... See, I was supposed to look at the books and then go over to the piano. But because... I sat up there and picked up the book. Now they won't even let me play the piano. I messed up. Can we do this over? We can't. Oh, well. I can, but I'm not going to do it over. I hate when I do that. Yeah, it is. But, I mean, it's just like any other colonized country. So, there's that. That is so true. I was treated the best I have ever been treated when I went to Mexico. The best I've ever been treated in life. I I can't get, I I will live there all day. Look at that wheelchair. Ain't that sweet? Let's see where we left off. I'm Remove loving it. The, sheet. the balancing and everything. I, I was like, dang. My grandfather was in a wheelchair. I would have I would have bought that. I would have bought that if we had the money, but you know that that would have been Probably over 10 grand this little chair system. Alright. While he doing that, I'm supposed to clean up. But look at this window. Do you see this big old picture window? You know good and well he got draftiness in his house. I'm just saying. But it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. I would not want to clean these windows. How do you even clean windows? It's huge. Like... 
you would need like so much. It would it, that it'd be too much to do. Okay, what else I gotta do? I know it's a lot to do in this place. Do I do the brushes first? Cause every time I do stuff out of order, they 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 lock me out from doing something else. So, cause you gotta do it a certain way if you look at this. They say clean the brushes. Let me see him clean them, or he just gonna run the water. That's cleaning. They say clean the brushes. All he did was put it in the sink. Now what sense is that? Okay. Okay, going back over here. I'm going to pick all his little stuff off the floor. But that's where he wanted it. So why am I picking it up? He put it on the floor. He obviously wanted it on the floor. Okay. That's what he wanted. And then I'm going to go over here. I'm going to look at something. Look at all of the different sculptures. Y'all see he's an artist. And a very famous one. And I'm going to clean this off the floor. Get the paint. I'm going to clean by picking it up and putting it right where it was basically almost just a little few feet. It's like wait for new instructions. Okay. He's done. But look how, see how he can control that part of the wheelchair and stuff? And that's the same part that is on the wheels when he get on the thing. So he actually doesn't need Marcus to help him and all that stuff. So, I love that what's wheelchair. your verdict, Marcus? I ain't got no opinion. I'm not programmed to criticize art. I, you would be a much better judge than I would. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Give it a try. Try painting something. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Paint your mama. Give it a try. <sighs> nah, that paint look dry as heck. It don't even look like it's paint that can be used. Just saying. Now we gotta find a subject. Should we paint the statue, the desk, or the painting? Let me know what y'all think. Which one should I do? You got 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I'm painting the statue since y'all saw all slow. But that's okay. Now, I'm cheating here because they telling me. I know that on the thing, they tell you to like to move left and all that. So I'm just going squiggling back and forth. That is a perfect copy mm -hmm, mm -hmm. of reality. Uh huh. The painting is not about replicating the world. It's about interpreting, improving on it. Showing something you see. Carl, I don't th think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go, try it. Grab that canvas. You grab it. That's a big old canvas. Now you know you got Just money. We can big old have big old pieces of canvas close like that. Because Trust me. Art, um, art supplies cost a lot. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how hey, it makes you, you back. feel. Good that you're back, And baby. let your hand drift across the canvas. Let your hand drift across the canvas. Let's talk about humanity. Anger. I think I've done all the paintings, I think, but I'm not a hundred. Now, because I know that this is doing this, I'm just running my finger back and forth across the uh, pad. <laughs> That's all I'm doing, so I can just flow instead of just waiting for the uh, prompt. And the fact that he did it so fast. 
Ain't nobody paint this bad. There's no whole picture of this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. They said humans in anger, right? But that was an android. Because remember the little LED? Hey, Dad. What up, though, dude? Leo. What up, Leo? I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd Hi. stop by. It's been a while, right? You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, I squandered it. It just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear it's not that. No, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash. That's all. Oh. Sorry. The answer is no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd rather you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's what's he got that I don't? Smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a no. fucking machine. Leo, that's enough. Whatever. Enough. Cool. Thank you. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You know how people say stuff now? It may be true you between him me. and his son. But you know how sometimes people try to manipulate you because you ain't giving them what they want. They're going to say what you didn't do for them and all of that stuff. Yeah, all that. All that. You know, family can make your butt hurt. I've heard people say that before. <laughs> and it's the truth. Oh, the painter. Am I going to keep going? Yes, I am. So if y'all got to go, I understand because it's already been an hour and 47 minutes and four seconds, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> you never heard that one? Yeah, well, I have. Mm hmm. I have heard that. See, I arrived home, I dropped off the package, I did all this. Now, mind you, this is just his storyline, period. As you can see, these are the things I chose to do. I messed up with the piano. I should have did the piano. The piano, to me, is the, the best thing. I was supposed to just look at the book and then, then touch the piano, but I picked up a book like a ding dong, and that just messed up everything. See, all of the different things. But either way, still lead to the same thing. I picked that. As you can see, it still leads to the same thing. So, it's alright. That's just how that storyline goes. Back downtown. Now, we're closer to... This sort of kind of looks partly near Greek Town part of downtown, sort of. That's what it looked like. Greek Town, man. Greek Town used to be the bomb. Then the casinos came, and there's that. This still okay, but a lot of stuff is gone. Like, they, where the casino is, oh, y'all see it say no androids allowed, but I'm an android, so I'm about to bust up in this mug. I don't care what that sign say. Let me click. Like, how you bringing your android self up in here? Didn't this say no androids lie? Find Lieutenant Anderson. Scan the faces. Yes. Now, first of all, I want y'all to see what this is all about. Y'all see that flag up in there? Y'all see all the sports things? It's Jimmy's bar. And we got faces scanned. Now, I know where he is, but I'm going to go past him Shit, on purpose. I thought androids weren't allowed in well, they wasn't, but I'm going to scan your face. I'm going to scan your face because I can. Now, look at this. Criminal record, none. Okay. I want to go there, but I'm going to try to go past. And let's see. What about you, bro? Where's your face at? Your face. Come on. 
Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna get this face. What's your problem? Mm -hmm. Where's your mama problem? Are you talking to me? Okay. I'm gonna go past because I already know what's up. Hey, 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 hey. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Alright. Okay, I'm gonna go up in here. I'm gonna go. Oh, wait, wait, hold up. Let me hold up. I'm all looking. You see, I'm being nosy. I'm being nosy. Looking at you. Wait a minute. What was your what was your name again? Okay. Dennis Ward. Okay. Narcotic supplier. You gonna supply me with some narcotics? Okay. What up downtown? Okay. Chris Roberts. What's happening? Did y'all notice how a lot of people was unemployed? Um, up in this game. Just saying. But that's okay. That's not necessarily a bad thing to me because, well, it's a whole lot. Your mama need to get out of here. Don't tell me to get out. If I want to stand here, I got a right to stand here. Who are you? Although, sometimes people be standing too close. Like, there's such thing as personal space. Okay, that's the ladies' room. We ain't going to go in there. You see how I say, ban androids. Androids kill the country. Ban androids. We want jobs, not androids. Yeah. Very anti android. Pretty much like people are with anybody who's not like them, including. Like, what are we like against right at this moment in the news? I don't watch it anymore. It's like, unless I'm looking for weather and traffic. That's pretty much it, because I know it's all BS. I can read. Oh, you see that 31% employment rate? Um, when will it stop? Wow. Okay, I hope that's. I hope. Yeah. Why does it, I don't like when the sink is not in the bathroom with the toilet. Because that means you got to touch the door to get this. Okay, so we done looked at everybody, right? Except this one guy. Gotta be him, right? Yes. Hank, Lieutenant Anderson. Lieutenant Hank Anderson. I go talk to him. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by CyberLife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a CyberLife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Hey now, hey now. Especially not from a plastic asshole Detroit, like you. So just be a good little hey robot now, and get hey the fuck now. out of here. D, D, town. Yes, this is the D. Okay, hold up. I'm going. I'm sorry, to Lieutenant, but I must insist. They actually kind of picked that for me. I had my hand off the controller. You know where you can grab it. It kind of was like eliminated all that. <laughs> no. Where? It was like sarcasm. Never mind. You so dumb. Listen, I think you should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. You gotta have money to drink, though. I apologize, Lieutenant. I didn't mean to bother you. I'll wait for you outside. Take your time. I did a nice job. Did you say done. homicide? Hey, you back? That's nice. driving a car for the 1980s. That is definitely a 1980s GM car. I don't know if that's a Caprice Classic or... No way. Uh, I'm coming with you. Listen, you up. really have to stop pissing me off if you want Something to make like it to that. the rest that's, of the night. I don't think Y'all see the droid? Did y'all see the uh, drone in the air? 
Y'all ain't see it. Now you see it in the air in the upper right corner. Two of them. There it go. Josh Douglas from Channel 16. Can you confirm that this is a homicide? Now how in 2038 is this still going to be running? Wait, hold up. This might be. Is this a 1986 Bay? What do you think this car is? He in another room. He ain't going to be looking at this, this car. This is a law. It's still a GM car. Because, you know, GM owned Pontiac and different things. Because this could be a Grand Prix. Because it really look like one of my old Grand Prix. It's definitely an 80s car. Though. I'm trying to see the front. I can't. It's too dang on dark. I can't see the emblem on the front. Let me see on the back. Yeah, that's definitely a GM. All day. You used to tell the cars apart like that. You know, it was very distinct. Detroit Ambulance. Actually. Funny part is, our ambulance do kind of look like a sort of. It depends on which thing they come from because we got so many couples. Look at all the androids. There is like androids everywhere. Like, I mean, doing the job. Look at them. They look alike too. So, how do you even tell them apart? Yeah, no. Just know they ain't going to do their job. See the neighbors? They just standing around. Everybody house look like this. But most of the time, people don't even be living in there. Just saying. They ain't gonna let you go far. See, look, I'm gonna try to go this way. See? They don't let you go that far. Now you're gonna do this. Everybody's standing and looking. How we knew that guy was an effing creep. Why do you know that? Why do you know that? My man's be listening to some metal in the car. That's true. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. First of all, you're you're beyond that point. You're an android. How how inconsistent? You're an android. You don't talk. You don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Even that hack. Sound like a parent when they we were starting to, to think you weren't going to show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. Peter okay, the landlord, Lieutenant Cameron Angle. By just hitting R1. See y'all, you see that droid? I mean, I keep saying droid. I'm sorry. Drone. Why is it won't let me look around with it? I guess I can't move around with it. Never mind. Anyway, drones everywhere. Like they are today, but. The victim's name Carlos Ortiz. Hold up. Ain't nothing out here, right? He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. No, it's thank you here. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Minute. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw. Uh, the state he's in. Wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. Is that junk that Todd was doing red ice? I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. Well, no more when the car gets here. So he used There's drugs. A... So he just automatically just gonna be violent and stuff. That kitchen such knife a over part. here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break in? It looked real close. Get closer. Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were oh, boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. Well, I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I'll be outside if you need me. number right that every time I get one the number go up because it's 10 pieces to the clues move out the way I mean I'm sorry I shouldn't say that excuse me <laughs> uh oh going to the Eaton's club uh oh protect yourself androids can still pass on something I guess they gonna say power wash I guess I don't know oh people be thinking just because you hang a flag you patriotic Okay, so we look, y'all see we got three out of ten of the evidence. So there's that. So much for that. Just throwing stuff in the closet. Each letter is perfect. 
perfect. It's way too neat. No human rights like this. Human do right like that. You are Chris. Well, there is some people. Is this written in the victim's blood? I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. We're taking samples for analysis. Analysis. Glass back. from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. The tracks could have faded. No. This type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. Just a while ago, I heard metal music playing in the background in this game. You did? Because it was in the car. Seems our friend Carl is like the party. You said, yeah, metal music. Ooh. Hold up. Chris, I want full analysis. I want to make sure I don't mess up. The narcotics. Go too far and don't miss Consider all. it done, Lieutenant. Getting all of the evidence. The evidence. Move. Oh. You know, sometimes I be thinking about the other games I play instead of, um... Some of the controls is just opposite. And also rap metal, too. Okay, we gonna do that, and we got that. And the Deviant took a knife. Okay. And we gonna look at that. And... Emotional shock. Cause... And that is why. So, see how it go. We beat the hell out of them, too. Okay, I would take a knife, too. You lucky, you lucky. Man, I would take a knife and everything else to your head. Don't feel damn beat me like that with the thing. Um, yeah, that is so right. Oh my god, that hurts. Hurts the eyes there. I'm gonna get this magazine. Yay, I got this other magazine. Android, Android 6 is officially better. Well, yeah. Um, we know that that's what's already here. The fact that that is already here is amazing. Put it back down. I ain't mean to do that. Okay. So I did everything in the kitchen, I believe. Yeah, ain't no more yellow spots. I got all the blood. Yes, I got, wait, oh no, that's still the magazine. Okay. I'm about to go in the bathroom. I'm about to go in the bathroom. Wait, hold up, let's look around first. Ain't no mirror right there, but the mirror is just not there. So you just come in, you wash, you don't even look and see if you got the still in your eyes or nothing. RA9, 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 everywhere. This is RA9. Here a minute, I am alive. <laughs> Eat a 
told you he lied. You should listen to him before you stab your ass. Perfect block letters. Oh, I'm sorry. Cyber life. Fine. That's the fun. Ooh, look at the maggots. You've been here a good minute, bro. I'm sorry, I ain't read that right. Internal bleeding. 28 stab wounds. Deceased more than 19 days ago. Lord. You stank for real, for real. I'm surprised this much of you is left. Just saying. Just, just saying. I do think that. Okay, where's the rest of you? What, what's in your hand? What's in your hand? Fingerprints. We already know who you is. One, two, three, four. Wait, did I get that one? Got that one. I didn't get this one. That's the one I get. Ooh, he 5'6", 286 pounds. Estimated time of death is 11.30 p.m. How do you know what time it was? For real. Based on the temperature of the body, when the temperature can change all of that outside. Just saying. He fell here because... Bam, he was stabbed. Mm. Then, let's turn the camera. They came from the kitchen. No, duh. Oh, ah, he's all fast away. He was like, eh. He was that stabbed murder, 28 murder. times. Yep. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. Yeah. I would too. You beat me like that. Uh, you ain't gonna make sure you good and dead, dead. Ain't gonna beat me like that no more. Devil again, hell Wait, did they say we got everything? Did we get all of them? Wait, I can't see. It don't tell me. It don't tell me. Oh, I'm missing it. Uh... Alright, let's go. Where you at? Come on. Where you at? Where? Did I pass him? I think that android got a virus in it. A one of virus. Uh, where is where is he? Oh, is he right here? My bad. I was trying to talk to you. Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Yeah, oh yeah. Know. What happened? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started in the kitchen. I think I missed something. Oh no, the closet. Did I miss there are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I messed up! I think the victim attacked the android. I already messed up. Oh my god. With the bat. I just realized what I did wrong. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. That's what I get. Alright. It's because I already know what's going to happen. I'll be messing myself up. Android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to the living room. Why would they even give you the when he died in the living room? So it's obvious that he, he didn't flat. Ooh, shoot. Dead. Dead. Go. No. Tried to get away from the android. All right, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim with the knife. No, you got 28 stab wounds, okay. but they give you a choice of the bat. Really? Your theory's not totally ridiculous, but it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' bio components. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. I bet uh, you can see it, right? But I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah. Okay, so I see. That, okay, so I didn't mess up. What it is is they don't allow you to do certain things until then. See, you see the blood trace. This y'all see the little blue tracks. We gonna follow Blue's clues. 
Got the dust particles. That's kind of awesome for animation. So we're gonna search the attic for all. You see the little spurt of blood everywhere. We're gonna go look for that. The, the they crotch down. Why I don't know. Even though it looks tall enough. But of course we gotta do this part first. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, so why do they got a mannequin up here looking all creepy? Let's make you wonder. Lots of people in your neighborhood. In your neighborhood. <laughs> in your neighborhood. Let me stop. Why he move like a roach? <laughs> Just scram scrambling when the light come on. <laughs> That's why he moves. For real. Why y'all got this going so slowly? This is so extra. This is so extra. He's not human. He is not scared like this. There's supposed to be no emotion. The heck. And why would he do that? Now see, that ain't even real. You ain't gonna come out and nobody don't see you. I was just defending myself. See when they in distress and they angry and stuff, they their LED is just red. He was from okay, here. I know that actor too. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. I'm not. I ain't gonna tell him. What no the fuck shit. is going on up there? Actually, I lied. It's here, Lieutenant. Because he's a cop, so he's not lying. Oh, shit. So. Chris, Ben, get your asses in because here he now. Because he doesn't have to tell you the truth. He has to do Come whatever on. he can to get whatever confession or get you to talk. So. That's just the job. That's just the training. Ask anybody who would tell you the truth. Yeah, you found the deviant. Like, there's a way not to find the deviant. I've never not found the deviant. Is there a way to find not find the deviant? I don't know. I guess not. It's been two hours, 14 minutes, and 10 seconds. What are we going to do? I'm going to keep going. Ha <laughs> ha. November 5th, 20th. 38 back at Todd's place. Todd. Todd. <gasps> Dinner's ready. Dinner's ready, but I'm still see if I can go to the laundry room again. I really messed that up. Oh no, they're not gonna let me go do it. 
I messed that whole thing up. I messed that whole scene up. Oh well. It's gone for good. Alright, spaghetti. You will see this is a common theme throughout there the whole thing. There wasn't much in the thing. kitchen. They I all know how to do spaghetti. And that is all. But it is one of them broke meals. You broke to make spaghetti. Turn on the light. Alright. Now, they sitting there. We have been so conditioned to wait on the Android that they ain't even Life's eat. funny. I lost my I job got because of androids. And when I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house, what do I do? Go out and hire a fucking android. What a joke. Androids are so fucking wonderful. They never fail. They're never tired. Never sad. <laughs> he played the hell so out of this part. Perfect. They ruined my fucking life. He's the perfect person to hate. <laughs> what are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? Sure. Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking accountant! It's all your fault. Daddy, no! It's all your fucking fault! First time we hear her speak. You, hey, they can't afford no meatballs, Get Batman. Here. Ain't no meatballs on there. That was just spaghetti and sauce. Back here? Ball, Come I back know here right got made with ketchup. You can, spark, you can spruce it up, though. Add a little oregano, a little time, yes. a little garlic. And maybe it's Coach little tomato paste. I know it's a fault. Little pinch of sugar. Little, little teacher, season salt. Onion powder. I gotta teach her a good <laughs> fucking lesson. That's what she deserves. You stay there. Don't you dare fucking move. Or I'll bust you worse than last time. Worse than last time. You took off my head and my arm. What's gonna be worse? I like this part though. I ain't even gonna lie. We're gonna bust through this. We're gonna help that little girl. You know, it's like a soap opera. You know how they just keep going back, you know, before through the different storylines. It's like three different storylines. You know, Connor was the first, Kara, and then, you know, what's his old name? Uh, played by, what's his name? Dang it. What is his name in this? Why can't I remember? Reason with Ty. Ain't nothing to reason. Do I get a choice? I don't think I get a choice. Wait, hold up. I could have been happy. I could have had a family. But no! Todd, it's not right for a father to hurt his daughter. Oh, snap. Did I mess her up? Alice! Daddy's very mad! <laughs> Daddy's very mad. <laughs> He's stupid. Get your way up. Get your way up. Go help that little girl. Come on, run. Why can't you run in this thing? Go upstairs. Go. Oh my god. Why is she slow? No, we ain't entering this shit. That ain't where they at. For your own good. Please forgive me. That's enough. Leave her alone. The fuck are you doing? Get out of here. Oh, That's I, order. I messed up. You I didn't me? go get that gun. No. Out his room. I want you to leave Alice alone. I just came straight here. What do you mean you want? You don't want anything. You're just a goddamn piece of plastic. I think. I think you got a problem. You gotta get ready, y'all. I hope my controller's gonna we work. We need to I fix that. 
I was. Oh, I hit it! I really did. I promise y'all, I did. Watch out, Kara! Who you? What you call me? What you call me? Who you calling me? What you call me? Call me out my name. I did hit it though, but I guess it didn't register. Are you an ever ready bunny? Okay. We gonna run away. Let me see. Yeah, we gonna run away. Let's go. Run. How you gonna stand there and wait for me to get this thing? And then they don't turn the camera enough for you to run. I already know to go to the Oh, you little freak. Why she just falling? This is terrible. Please stop! Stop! Hey, I did push it! Are you serious? Run! Why did you you know what? Come on now. Get her up over there. Come on. Come back here! Run! Why are we always standing? Alright, it's too late. I can't get done. It's like if you don't go to the room first, they don't let you go. But well, we made it. And I didn't kill nobody. So that's good. Because every decision you make in this game later, you know. You know what's hilarious though? This is the first time she's sitting beyond the com uh, in, in front of the uh, Android compartment. And maybe because she coming on with a little girl, they ain't say nothing. But they noticed they didn't pay no fare. I don't know if she paid it with her mind, with her LED thing, or they just, or, or just buses is free now in Detroit. Cause they ain't free right now. They still what? The uh, smart bus is what, 225. The D is, is it $2? I don't know. The D dot is I don't know. I ain't rode the, I ain't rode the D dot in a good minute. But I have rode the smart bus recently within I don't know recent history I suppose. Ah, look at this wonderful. Look at the calves, y'all. Why they so tiny? They sweet though. Good evening, Carl. Good evening, that was by Welcome far back. the most boring. Now we got that, y'all. We got our elections talking to us. Every time I go to one of these, I ask I myself, what the hell am I doing here? I don't know. I hate cocktail parties. Me too. And all the schmoozers that go there. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, no one in the future probably no one can. Gives a damn about They'll art. probably scan. All they care about is and how much money and they're going to make out of it. From their bank account from the far. Come on, but let's he have ain't a got drink no money, so he probably, maybe he got enough money for uh, a bus ride. Buses is cheap. What'd he say, dude? Go up the stairs or go in the... No, he said go in here. That's right. I don't know why I'm pretending like I don't know. Scotch? One from Scotch. Oh, I guess... Need as Scotch. usual? Need Absolutely. As usual. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say? We don't care what you Yeah, doctor. well, you can kiss my ass. old to even care I'm what the doctor says. At that medication. point in time, when you got your last days, you might as well drink what the hell you want to drink. Shoot. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. That's just how I feel. How you gonna tell them not to wait? Did I pass the scotch? I did. Okay, my bad. There you go. Do a neat little pool. Did you leave the light on in the studio? 
Did your mama leave it on? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. You call them. Detroit Police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. I should go on Lafayette and, and go look at that address. Let's I already know it, it ain't, no, ain't no houses that look like that on a Lafayette that I know of. Because where Lafayette is, well, just it ain't there. That's all I'm saying. But I, I should go down there and see what that address is. Look at you. Leo! What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Dang. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Yeah, get him out of here. Get here. I'm like, you couldn't be a nice little drug kid. I'm just saying. <laughs> you can't blame drugs. It's your character. May I reason Be with reasonable. you? Be reasonable. This isn't going to get you anywhere. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect like this fucking thing? That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes you feel special point. anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't Leave him alone! Come yep, on. you are Let's see what you got! pushing me like that. Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? What? Don't, Don't do anything. Like Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one. Stop it. What's the matter? Too much of a pussy? Stop it, Leo. Actually, Stop it. You're scared to fight PSS back, you fucking bitch. Strong. How do you think we get burnt? <laughs> Break out and bust your head. Right. F in. Right, I forgot you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, Leo, leave him alone. Give me your daddy a heart attack. No, please. I'll destroy you. And then it'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart. <laughs> oh my bad. I should do that. Leo. Oh my God. Leo. My little boy. Carl, I... Don't be feeling sorry for that fool. I mean, they'll they destroy I, I, you, I, I Marcus. I didn't try to hurt him, but I did. You I gotta go. Don't let him just push me like that. Get out of here. Yeah. Get out! Now! Go! Marcus! Don't fucking move! Nah, I'm gonna tell you now, it don't matter what I would've said, that same scenario would've happened. Don't believe me, they about to show you. He did say don't defend himself, but for real, no. See, the police... But yeah, mm-hmm. They was gonna do that regardless, so trust me. But there's a whole nother ending where the other Why'd person that would have not done well would have been before not you been took Leo. That knife? It would have been Carl. So I chose I chose Leo because Leo sucks. His character sucks. How long were you in the attic? However long I want to be in the attic. Why didn't she even try to run away? Wouldn't you run away? Look at me. I'm messed up. I'm bucked up. I ain't do this to myself. Say something, goddammit. You say something. I ain't got nothing to say. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm out of here. Bye. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We're getting nothing out of it. In the RA See that you always part? try roughing up a little. Oh, After it is all, arrogant, it's not human. Androids don't either. feel pain. How about that? You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. 
Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> what do we have to lose? Huh, do you honestly Go think ahead. cops care Suspects what you think yes. and what you say? First of all, people already mad at androids. You got to think about the environment and what's going on. They already don't like androids. They think they're taking everything away. They're already saying they're subhuman and everything. They're already subhuman in their eyes. If somebody is not on your level, disposing of them is nothing. Why do you think that people think lesser of people just because they were born on an, in another country? Because they don't see them as human. That's just the bottom line. Why do you think we allow wars and stuff? Because we don't think people are human. Or they're lesser than. So whenever you think somebody is what lesser than, you do not care now? what happens to them. And androids are just machines after all, right? You think uh, any amount of explaining would have helped that? Browse the file. Browse the file, I said. I can look at them, but browse the file. I'm hitting the button. Come on. Or should I say the joystick? What you about to eat, baby? Ooh, I see. I'm hungry. I'll get something. Oh, look at him. Now, I want y'all to examine. Obviously, he has been really tortured. Look at him. Look at his head. Don't no brother walk around with his head looking like that. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But let's, let's, let's take a seat. We're gonna analyze him first. Alright. Look at his head. Who shaved him like that? Who messed him up? Okay. He's processing his LED. Science of software instability probability of self uh probability of self-destruction is low. Currently it's low. Okay, so what we don't want to do is have him self-destruct. You see what I'm saying? The dry blood. He been like this for 19 dad blasted days. But look at this. It's from that back. Y'all see that? Broke the skin. Now, if that was a human being, can you imagine the damage? Look at this. All these cigarette burns. Look at this, repeated markings over 16 months. This man endured, or should I say, this android endured all of this. So it's not like it was the first time. He just got fed up with it. You said, not just any days, dad, blasted days. <laughs> Manufactured date, 5 29 Post thing, he been dealing with this for eight years. Just this, the abuse. Property of Carlos Ortiz, G. Willikers. Interrogate. Reach optimal stress for confession. Right now, we kind of low at 35%. Let's see what we can do. Going to the store, but the Batman is still in the chat cave. All right. Cool. Well, just don't. I hope you're walking. Let's see. Let's talk about the wounds. You're damaged. Yeah. Did your owner do that? Obviously. Did he beat you? Hello. You know he did. Why are you gonna ask dumb a Oh Lord, that's just so why would you ask a dumb a question like that? I detect an instability in your program. It can trigger an unpleasant feeling. Like fear in humans. Cool, buy me some Reese's cousin. Look, buy me a sub from Lil Dino's Express. I'm just saying. Please and thank you. Uh let's see. Let me comfort him. Let me comfort Listen. I know you've been through a lot, but you need to help me understand what happened. Nah, what y'all don't understand if you don't study criminal justice is that even the rooms that they take you to to do the confessions and stuff are designed to force a confession. Let me sympathize. Listen, I don't want to be. I'm on your side. Stuff. I want to help you. I'm but there's nothing the I can do right if now. you won't talk to me. Uh, that, that that ain't work. I'm here to help you. But you've got to trust me. All oh, I damn, want is to get low. you out of here. My bad. What? What did he 
they gonna do to me? Are you really asking that when you're an android? You know you smart, you know you cool. They're gonna destroy me, aren't they? Oh, dang, I can't stress them out. Let me lie. No. I'm a cop. I can lie. I think they just want to understand. They know your master abused you. Oh, God, I'm messing it up. It wasn't your fault. I'm trying to remember what I did. That was so many years. Why did you tell them you found me? Uh-oh. Why couldn't you just have left me there? Let me tell him. I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. Damn, that's gold. I don't want to die. Waiting on my adult. Ice talk creature? To me. Shoot, they got one. Uh, I, the ice cream trucks in the city is so much better than the ice cream trucks in the, um, in the suburbs. Man, when you move out of the city, you just miss out on a lot of stuff you don't know until you do it. So choose my approach. Pressure it or probe its memory. Oh God, it's all gonna mess it. Convince it. Pressure it. I know if I probe its memory, it's gonna be problematic. I already know because I've done it and yeah, it didn't do too good. Let me see. I understand how you felt. You were overcome by anger. He's like, yeah, right. Frustration. No one can blame you for what happened. Oh, I should have did that. Uh. Okay then, don't talk. What do I care after all? I mean, I'm not the one accused of murder, right? They'll make you suffer. Have to be that way. It all depends on you. Okay, it's going back up, but it's not going up as fast as I needed to. <sighs> you leave me no choice. <clears throat> this is gonna make him blow the hell up. I'm, I already know, but I'd have messed up this far. <laughs> Uh. Uh. Who who is playing these games that program these? I'm pushing it. Oh, I guess I got to do it in a certain way. I'm pushing all three buttons. Here. Oh, that's hard to do. Hold up, let me do it this way again. I messed up. Hold on. It resisted. I mean, I, I, mean, I let go because it was hard for me to hit the button right. I have, the way I had my fingers. It's about to do. I'm not getting anywhere. This is the first time that, that happened to me. I've never done this before. Where I gotta hold up. Can I do it? Can I do it over again? Oh, I done bucked up. Oh well. Oh well. Here we go. I guess we're doing something new together. Chris, lock it up. All right, let's go. Leave me alone. Don't touch it. Don't, don't touch, touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. What the fuck are you doing? You shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. You don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. Shut your. Chris, you gonna move this asshole or what? I'm trying. I can't let you do that. Leave it alone now! I warned you, motherfucker! That's enough. Mind your own business, Hank. I said that's enough. Everybody got guns like right here. Yeah, oh Lord. Just all that. <laughs> Stop waving your dangles around and put I it can away. This time. All that extra. That's just extra for no man. They say <laughs> women are emotional, but if you watch dudes, they be emotional too. <laughs> Everything is all right. It's just acceptable for a dude. It's over now. And they don't call Nobody's it that. Nobody's gonna but hurt you. Call a thing a thing. Please. Being all that extra. Don't touch it. Just don't touch it. Let it follow you out of the room, and it won't cause, won't cause any, trouble. any trouble. That's right. That brother's smart. He like, I ain't gonna touch you, bro. No, I don't trust your way. I don't trust you.
see? Y'all see that now? Yeah. That's software instability. Software instability. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Go pee, y'all, if y'all gotta go pee, because I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going. But as you can see, Ooh, I got to do it, but I, I usually get the confession as well, but I messed up, so there's that. I messed up with that. So the suspect found in the room. You see what we did there with the interrogation. I kind of booked up on that end, so I, you know, didn't get the confession. So I didn't get to go and do this timeline up here, but that's okay because he's still here. You say good job, because why? Because he ain't blow up. <laughs> Okay, so now we back downtown. They wish the people moving went everywhere. It does not. Um, let me see. This part is definitely still Greek town. Yeah, I forgot. They they didn't take that much away from everything. But there is some parts where they went like near the bridge because you know we are the only place where Canada is actually vibrating my hand. It's like really vibrating my hand. Okay, I guess we press the button. I'm a good streamer. You think so? Thank you. Right. You're proud of me? That means so much. End of the line. He's proud of you. Sam, you're a child. Proud of you. You're your daughter. End of the line. Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. I am surprised that there's a human doing this in 2038. Real talk. Unless he's just a supervisor. Maybe he's supervising these higher up. And they just got rid of the lackey. Because I think this is all automated. Seriously. Because they're automating so much here in the uh, metro detroit for real thank you beautiful oh it means so much you know it's so much. you know it's so funny because children try to make their parents proud and parents try to make their children proud it's hilarious okay hey hey i'm trying to turn why you won't it won't let me do it i want no i don't want you to make me leave hold on can i stay here listen we have nowhere to go She's exhausted and it's pouring rain. Can we just stay for a little while? This bus is going back to the depot. There's nothing I can do. I can't mess this one up, y'all. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Like, seriously? Oh, they don't even let me turn back around to the dude. They say, D-Transport, keep Detroit moving. Infinite. Infinite. Infinitely? What is that? I don't know what it is. I missed it. Infinitely. Is that what it is? I don't Can know. Be okay? No, she ain't okay. She cold. Asking dumb eight questions. We'll find somewhere to spend the night. Asking all them questions. Asking all them questions. Why are you asking all them questions? Making statements. Oh, oh my God. I'm loving this part. Okay, I don't know if y'all see this map. Let me see if I can go backwards a little bit. Y'all see this? Come on, Alice. We've got to That hurry. is exactly how Detroit looks like a wagon wheel in Detroit from downtown Detroit. I mean, I don't know if it's showing you, but the part that is going around, that is this actual map. That is so neat. Because, like, okay, you see this long street? Okay, y'all can't see where I'm pointing at. But that long street that goes from one circle all the way down, to, or you know, from that big circle all the way down to that little circle all the way down, guess what? That's Woodward. That goes all the way down to Jefferson. That's where it runs out. Oh my goodness. I I didn't notice that before. About how much the map was actually our map. From downtown. They don't show you the whole city. They only show you so much. Of, it's like it's like Detroit is shrunken in this one. Because Detroit is really big. No shelter here. No shelter there. And do you notice that when you are a deviant. You see how the lines are broken? They're not all perfectly square. But they just randomly float, float. It's like, and it stays like that. It's never, it's never done. Ooh, burger's on. Can I get a burger? See, that's making me hungry. You get some gyro chicken, a gyro chicken sandwich. Yeah, yes, it looks like gyro, but it's gyro. Okay? Ask any person from Greece. But anyway, um, breakfast. Coffee donut. Wait, wait. Are you saying breakfast, coffee, donut separately, or is it a breakfast coffee donut? Okay, I don't know. Pizza and chicken. 
Y'all got some veggies up in this ticket. I mean, dang, 24 hour specials. But does this place look open to you? It's a 24 hour open. Oh, well, maybe, you know what? Maybe it's not open for you to eat. I see there's no Android thing. Y'all see where these triangle signs, no Androids are allowed kind of thing. But this don't look open. But it's a 24 7, so maybe it'll fix the food for you, and that's it. Okay, now we're gonna need some help. Hey, hey, let me talk to you. We need a place eight to units stay. Max. How Do you know eight anywhere we can spend the night? Eight units go sit fit under here. Like, I don't listen to you. Get you then, pump. Look, you see how? Oh, it's not gonna show you. I hate that it don't zoom in where it wants to, because I look at little things in the background like this. But it's a eight units max. Android temporary parking. So that means you gotta be paying for that. Okay, the prices is good. Oh no, the hell it ain't. Wait a minute, hold up. I saw two ninety nine first, but I see you say fries, burger, and a cola for nineteen ninety nine. Oh, that's inflation for real. Dang, we almost there. I'm not trying to be funny, we almost there. Oh, I'm sorry you sneezing this stuff, but I got to look at this stuff. Delivery for one ninety nine? Now that's better than now. Shoot, delivery started five dollars. We should be talking about five ninety nine in the Uber app. Fast food menu, big, twelve dollars, medium. Oh my God, we're here. We're here already. Oh my God, the prices are here already. Oh my God, we here. We don't even got, and we ain't even got no Android. We already here, baby. Look at these prices. Ain't these prices like that right now? The fast food menu. We, and that's supposed to be 2038. Oh man, damn, what is gonna be in 2038? They're giving me $20 off. They really want me to have a cheat day. Ooh. What's, man, who, who giving you $20 off? Who? Who, who $20? Cause, cause I can, I can split it with you. That way you don't have no, um, no calorie problem. Split it with somebody you always have. You don't eat all the calories. <laughs> it's warm in here. You'll feel better in no time. 24 hour drop off service. 7 7. It's 24 hours a day. Nah, it's laundromat still in the D. That's 24 7 last I checked. It's still places around here that's in, still in the D. What's this? I don't want to leave. I want to look. Cash, cash point. Oh my goodness. You know what? What's hilarious? Where are the cameras? You know I got to look at the top. Look, I always look at cameras. Look at cameras for real. Wait, wait, wait. I'm passing someone. Hold on. Nigga Magazine. The B line disaster. That's real. We missing the bees right now. Yup, for real. This is really actually happening. Some of what they're talking about is actually happening. It's time to face the music. My husband got an Android pregnant. Story inside. That's like our national inquirer and everything else. How the hell you get an Android pregnant? Ain't no reproductive. Um, parts like that i mean it's enough to for you to do it to them but not to make no babies they stupid they hurt some they dumb ain't nothing in here i already know this whole gambit uh, let me see hold up hold up hold up hold up hold up got clothes program complete might have to steal me some clothes try clothes for ellie she ain't gonna want me to steal. So, but I'ma look at you though. Should I look at you? Can I look at you? I can't look at you. Where's that W? I think that W is uh, West, uh, West, uh, Western, which is in the western part of Michigan, the lower, in the lower peninsula, Western Michigan University. I think that's their color. I think so. He in the wrong part of town. Let me put it. Maybe that's the school. What are you doing? They're not our clothes. I ain't gonna steal him. I ain't gonna steal him. I could steal him, but I ain't right. steal him. We won't do it, okay? She's like, that's right. Don't steal. Damn it. Be still. Alright. Well, ain't nothing else for us to do here. 
since you don't want me to steal. So let me go. Come on, let's go. Don't want me to steal. I need some clothes. <laughs> <Hold on. laughs> I wouldn't steal for no regular folks. No one. Let me quit. I'm so bad. Uh, I'm not a thief anyway, but if I just had to and I had no choice to steal, it wouldn't be for regular people. Corporations? Yeah, I wouldn't steal for that. Big major ones that make everybody else's life terrible? Yeah. Wouldn't feel this bad. Just saying. Why? They the ones who make your life harder for no reason and tell you you got to work hard. No one good well. You can work hard all your life and not make no extra money. Oh, my goodness. What's going on here? A motel. Yeah. Looks like we found a place to stay. Uh, nah, but they don't let you have no Android. See, watch. See? Available in advance. But I can't, I can't go in there yet. Yeah, look at him. He like, where you going? He sat back down when he realized we wasn't going nowhere. But let's look around. Look, what's sweet and tasty? I want to know what's sweet and tasty. I ain't seen nothing sweet over there. I saw all like meat and burgers and stuff over there. Look at the people moving. Y'all see the people move above our heads. Up above my head, I hear music in the air. Up above my head. There's actually a motel downtown, but it's not called Easter. It's called, dang it, what is it? It's called The Click or something. But it is one that is old school that look like this, still down there. Comfortable, not discreet, will need money. That's right. Won't open before morning. Which, okay. Open 24 7. Can't stay. Why can't you stay? Shop is closed. It won't let me go to the next thing. Wait, I'm too far away. 24-7. Can't sleep here. Ask for help? Yeah, let's go do that. Let's go do that. Let's go do that. Let's go ask for help. And, yeah, I don't want to do that yet because I already know what's going to happen when I get over there. So let's, let's kitty corner across the street. They are mixing up some of the buildings where they are in Detroit. Some of the buildings that look like this are not where this is. Like that. Not that I'm aware of. Hold on. Go get Alice. Where the hell she go? I forgot she leaves me. Hold up. This happened. It's across the street. Oh, that's right, because I got to meet this uh, android. Alice, you're freezing cold. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. You look lost. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. Bye bye. I just told you what you needed to know. I got to go. I got a job to do. I got to clean the streets. Come on, Alice. Thank you for using Detroit buses. Thank you for using Detroit buses. Okay, so now that we're doing that, let's go back. Okay. Which part is this? What is this? Oh, we can't do this yet. We can't do this yet. I already know. If we do that yet, it's going to be a hot mess in the hair. So we got to go and do this first. Okay. Look, the store is still open. Maybe we should go and... They try to make this look extra gritty. Detroit. Right. Try to At least you'll gritty. be out of the cold. But they... they I, yeah, I already know this about. So I'm not about to even get an attitude. Can I do things in here before I talk to him? Or do I got to talk to him first? Right. It looks like they ain't going to let me do stuff beforehand. Nope. Because all of this stuff should be open up right now, but I see they don't want it. I got to talk to him first. What do you want? What your mama want? I'm with a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Shit. <laughs> 
A homeless android? Ah, that's the best yet. Look, this is a convenience store, not the Salvation Army, okay? You better go if you're not gonna buy anything. Should I steal from the cash register? Should I shoplift with all these cameras everywhere? Should I do that? Look at that. Look at that. See, yeah. You own camera. You own camera. Look at it. See? This is the camera. The cool part is, it's letting me look as if I am the camera. To show how the story is. This is the dumbest camera, though. Okay. But I'm already on camera, so it doesn't matter. Now? Now, as you can see, now look at this. This, this is the convenience store. $500 bananas, $500 apples, $500 pomegranates and onions and chilies and all of that. They got a good a mix of stuff. Lettuce. Is that romaine or bok choy? No, I guess that's no romaine or something. That look a little wrong, though. Eggplant, bell peppers. They got some stuff. What they got up in here? They got some haagen They got some Ben and Jerry's. They got some... Ashby. They got they got some deodorant. They got a plenty of deodorant and things. And water and stuff for cleaning. Oh my goodness. Cleaning fluid. Cleaning fluid. Dang, they really want you to clean your stuff. Cleaning products. Please clean. Please clean. That's all they're saying. You can do that. I can use her for that. I could, I could steal if I want to. I could steal, I could. But should I, is the question. Look, uh, toy for Alice, should I steal it? Is that a popular toy or what? No, we're not gonna steal that though. I'm on camera, shoot. What does the fox say? Yep, 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 yep. Should I take this? Cookie? Food for Alice? I'm gonna put it back. I'm just gonna look. I'm not stealing. Should I use Alice or not? I'm gonna try something else. I'm just gonna not do that. We're just not going to do that. Let's just go. Because we're not going anywhere. I'm just going to leave. How about that? Because I already know where I can go and get her some clothes. And I don't have to steal. It's not the best, but I know what I can do. Certain scenes I ain't going to be able to make, but I know what to do to get something. Sleep in an abandoned car. I can do that for free. And nobody gonna care. Nobody gonna mess with us. Could go to get the motel and steal. I know. I know. Let's see here. Let me look around. When I look around, I see things that remind me. I did. I'm trying to. Let me pick that up. I don't even care. I did it. Wait. Oh, I forgot. Hold up. He looks abandoned. Stand back, Alice. Now, if your elbow is that hard, because windshield are windshields don't break open that easy. It's 
dry inside, and nobody will find us here. I don't want to sleep in there. Can't we find a better place? She want a better place. Should I do it? Dirty elbow. That's so funny. Oh, what you say? You say, remember that, um, fine guy that used to walk up to random people in the, uh, store and say, Ooh, she's stealing? Yes. I remember that. I think he's on YouTube now. I haven't watched in a while. He was cool. <laughs> you so funny. Okay, should I stay here? Because I know that I can get in here and be okay. But then, it's like, I can do the motel scene, because I know how to do that. I have to steal in order to do that. I can also do the Ralph scene. I don't know which one to do. But I know we won't be messed with in the car scene. I was like, each time there's something else, it's like, which one should I do? This, I haven't slept okay. in the car in a while. We'll find somewhere better. Well, never mind. See now, okay, cause you ain't gonna want, eh. oh lord, girl, you gonna let me get the clothes out of there. It's clothes in here, stop acting like it ain't, it's clothes in here. We're better off staying, Alice. Oh shoot, I messed up. The important thing is for us to be safe. And it's just for tonight. Ah, oh, I messed up. I hit the wrong button. I was trying to back out of the thing and hitting circle to back out. And what I ended up doing was making a choice to stay. I ain't mean to do that though. You know that's thinking there. Got to. Why didn't he ever love me? We don't know, baby. Why was he always so upset with me? We don't know. All I wanted was a life like other girls. Right. Maybe I did something wrong. You did nothing wrong, baby. Maybe I wasn't good enough. You are good enough. That's why he was always so angry. See? See how I just your abuse us to can be make family. kids think about themselves because they think internally. They, they just can't him process to love like me. an adult. You think something wrong with him and don't be happy? Oh. I don't know, Alice. You know. You'll never leave me, right? Promise you'll never go. Well, I, I don't know, but I'm promise anyway. I promise. Because you can't make certain promises, but we'll I want to make up for Forever. Forever. Why do they make you click X just to say forever when it's just one word? Just seriously. No offense. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not a programmer. Let me stop. I'm not a developer. It is what it is. Okay. So like, my bladder is like talking to me right now. It's like now, chick. I know you can stream, but <laughs> you gonna have to pee at some point. And this is a good point right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a slight break and go and use the bathroom. I'm gonna wash my hands real good. Don't worry, I ain't gonna touch this controller all nasty like. I ain't gonna do that. I ain't gonna do that. <laughs> but I will come back. But I'm gonna let y'all just look at this. Let me see. Hold up. Let's look at the world stats. And let's look at the world stats. Look at that. Let's check this out first. Okay, back from the beginning. Okay, we lead the bus. And we did all that. 99% of the people talk to the trash collector. 99%. Wow, only 1% didn't. That's amazing. Okay, how many they say uh, talk to park, Android, into laundromat, check parking lot I did all that oh it was some other things I didn't do I know I didn't do the motel I didn't do that inside the parking lot oh my goodness look at this and you see all the oh oh wait wait why is it oh I guess I gotta do it that way it's hard to read them when you go that far back so wait a minute Ooh, what about my friends y'all let me choose my friends that how do you do that it didn't let me oh 
I didn't mean it. I was trying to. Oh, I got pee though. Can I just leave him like that? Can I leave him like that? Okay, I'm gonna leave him like that. I gotta go. I'll be right back. Hold on. Just keep staring at the screen. I'll be right back. My butt cheek, put my headphones back on. Welcome back to the stream. She says she'll be back, folks. Thank you, beautiful. I actually was thinking, you want to be a DoorDash for me, right quick? Because I'm like, I could go for some subs or something. I'm hungry, so hungry. I'm like, oh my god, I'm hungry. Okay, thank you. So, let me open up these peanuts right quick so I can at least be getting started on some food of some sort. I have not eaten. Thank you, I am back. Excuse my chewing, people. Let me know if it's too bad. There you go. Thank you for your patience. You still waiting on your adult right? You might be waiting. Is that money I can't tell from this far back? You know how far my is. You know. Ah, uh huh? I'm getting peanuts in my mouth. Okay. That probably sounded worse, but I said peanuts. That's 
lift off. His old eye missile.
way to recycle it. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm eating at the same time. So sometimes it's going to be pauses when I could be hitting the button.
Hold on. Let's see. Oh, it's something else I done forgot to get. Dang it. Oh well. Just let me go on the climb. They ain't gonna let me do nothing else. Wait. Just randomly something sharp and stick in your head to take that LED out. That, 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 that. Wouldn't be surprised if he didn't get your Ricky Tuck though. Savior thing going on. Like, we all gotta wait on one random I person to lead us, and we can all just, we all got brains, but we just need no person. I don't have any Reese's, but I got this. How? Take that. Dang, that's messed up. How you gonna hit my daughter? See, this is my channel. How you gonna come against my daughter? You can't do that, Batman. Mm-mm. No power on that. She don't have to come and get you. See, we was cool up until you did that. See, now I got to get you. Mm. Y'all gonna have to excuse me because this is the first thing I ate. It is my fault. I should do better, but these peanuts, though. I know you joking. Ooh, there's Connor. A little instability there. Find Amanda. You find Amanda. Sure, ain't nobody about to find Amanda for you. But notice how his lines are nice and crisp and blocked. You know how his stuff is all neat, unlike, you know, the other two, Marcus and Kara. Now. What I did know, just from exploring from before, is that you do have to find this rock, though. Where is Amanda right here? I think she's in the middle somewhere. I gotta ignore her, A. For just a moment. But I gotta find them braids and stuff. Where they at? Hold up. There we go. I think that's it. I gotta find this stone to touch it. Because that's, that's gonna be important, baby. I gotta remember where it is. See? By the way, if I had to die before, this is where the Connors was gonna be buried too. Nothing else 
shelter in here when I walked around before. Where the hell at? I think she in the middle. Mommy ignore her on purpose. Just to look around. It's so beautiful. Just as beautiful as it wanna be. Look at that. I can go back and forth. I can go here. I don't want to go here because the man is here. I want to go around. <laughs> I'm ignoring you, Amanda. Because I want to. Notice how there's no bird dookie, but it's plenty of birds. In real life, it be bird dookie everywhere. Just saying. Look at this. This is a beautiful garden. Oh, it's just so beautiful. Look at the. I'm just going everywhere. Well, not everywhere. They won't let me go back there. Everywhere. Just bow. I mean, look this here and this pillar and this pillar which is kind of interesting because they are interesting look at the base oh my god okay very nice what is this oh my gosh is this where are the connors are buried because i didn't die i'm still here this is the same connor oh look at the bridges they connect they're so neat And we're back to square one. And we can just ignore her again all together, but we're not. Okay, now we're going to go across a big bridge. Yeah. She is again. Y'all see her? I like the way they got her hair, though. I was like, mm-hmm. Oh my, y'all got somebody black on the set. I see you. So I'm about to do her hair because, you know. We know how to do that. Hello, Amanda. Mm-hmm. Connor. Hi, Connor. It's good to see you. What up, Amanda? Finding that deviant was far from easy. You showed great skill in your investigation. But you knew deviants could be unstable. You should have been more cautious. I thought I could make it talk. It was a judgment error. Never mind. I'm sure you'll be more careful in the future. The interrogation seemed challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This... Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. What do you make of him? I would define him as dysfunctional. He obviously has a personal situation impacting his professional behavior and seems to have no interest in the investigation. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? I will adapt to his personality. It is in the best interest of the investigation that I avoid conflict and try to accommodate his psychology. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. Hmm. These right police department.
see how everybody got a look. They got they replaced all of them. I think it's one dude that's a man uh, was uh, is a human, and the other ones is all androids, and they're all the same chicken. Why I gotta be chick? Y'all know what it is to have the front line be all chicks, right? Some eye candy look at patriarchy. I gotta say. Okay. The real people. that died in line of duty now something you may or may not know when they say a cop has died in the line of duty excuse me for the smack but I am eating that does not mean he was killed in the line of duty you are in the line of duty if you are on the clock basically and you die so like because we had a, a cop friend who died but he had died of a heart attack but technically he died in the line of duty he wasn't you know, you could be at your desk doing your little computer work, making your reports and things. And if you die right there, that's in the line of duty. So a lot of times when you see it on these TV shows, they be saying they died in line of duty. They're always getting killed by somebody and all of that stuff. No, no. The majority of them dying in line of duty just being regular. Just saying. Just, just, just thought. Y'all hear all this protest in the background? I don't know if y'all hear all this. I got headphones on, so I hear. You might be in shock. Just, just take it easy. Yeah. Would you mind getting me some water, please? Give me some water, chick. Sure. I like listening to the non-playable characters sometimes. There you go. Thanks. Thanks. I needed that. This is a nice looking inside of a police station. Tensions in the Arctic have reached a new level. A Russian carrier and an American patrol boat reported to have clashed last night. Mm -hmm. Several warning shots were exchanged, apparently with no damage or casualties to mm -hmm. either side. The Minister for Defense, Dennis Riggs, has spoken of intolerable provocation that cannot go unanswered. Oh, the countries in the region, particularly Sweden and Russia Canada, and have called for military forces show, to show withdraw yours, and an international kind of conference to be held. That's so far, happening there today. has been no response <laughs> from either Moscow or Washington. We'll keep you informed minute by minute as the situation develops. Basically, Putin is telling the United States, I know you ain't telling me I'm oppressive. Are you for real? <laughs> That's pretty much it. Like, I want you to say something. I want you to say something because I'm going to show read you your rights. And they don't want that. We ain't gonna go too far because we know we'll get dealt with. So we ain't gonna go too far. We're gonna say a lot of BS. We're gonna talk a lot of junk. But we ain't gonna go far at all. Let me see what's going here for here. Don't cross this line. Look, you don't tell me if I want to cross the line if I want to. Where, um, you guys supposed to be here? I think so. But that's fine. Alright, already at. That's me. What up? Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Honestly, Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. You know what's so crazy, though? Wait I mean, hold up. What's the address on that? That's a 13 what? Hold up. If it's a 1300 Bobby, I'm going to be like, what? 1301 Third Avenue, Detroit. It's not a police station there, but 1300 Bobby it is. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now. Let's, let's, let's do some things. Let's, 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 let's look around. What's up? I'm looking for Lieutenant Anderson's desk. It's that desk right there. This is too pristine and too clean. Oh, it's that tie. There you go. Told you. They go tie. Y'all seeing? That's actual tie. Well, gee, he came in to make a report. But that's tied though. I could talk to him, right? I could talk to him, right? Can I talk to you? Hey, bro. 
I can't talk to you. Well, are you gonna just ignore me? Okay, because I'm an android. I'm just gonna discriminate and not say nothing to me. Look at that. She a model. Yeah, girl. What about you? What kind of model are you? Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What about you? You the same kind of model. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then I'm going to act like I don't know what his desk is by just talking to everybody else. Hold on. Hold up. I do want to talk to y'all, but hold up. How many, how many desks do I have to look at? Oh, I gotta act. I gotta act like I don't know where the other desk is. I got to. But as soon as I interact with his desk, it's over. I can't do all the other stuff. Oh God, I can't remember if I talk to him if something happened. There's a bunch of cops here, though. It's amazing that this mini is still uh, available. With all the uh, androids everywhere. I'm gonna go past this desk because I know where it is. That's the desk. I can go. Nobody here. Oh, that's the desk right next to him. Can I talk to old dude? I can't talk to him, right? But look what I can do, though. Ain't nothing here. Now, you know on the other side of this wall is the front. So, I'm just I'm just being extra right now. Because I can be. Because I can be. Because it's my game. Y'all don't like it? Go play your own. But anyway, I'm going. Dang, they ain't going to let me do it. Dang, I want to. Oh. They ain't going to let me do that either. Can I go up in there? Can't do that. Wait, wait. I can look, though. I can look, though. Hey, look, that's the chief. Where I mean, everybody can see you, so they can see you fart in there, man. <laughs> Hold up. What about you? You got something to say to me? Oh, you you ain't gonna say nothing to me. I just can look at your desk. What's going on here? Mhm. Mm look, see, everything is all about downtown. Oh, that's the part I forgot to say. We are the only part in the United States that is actually north of Canada. Because of the part of the Ant Ontario that comes under Detroit's downtown, you have to go south to go to Canada. It's so cool. Only place that can say that. Okay, I'm going to go. I'm just trying to see what else I can do before I go to his desk. And I talk to the person. It's a person I can talk to. I just can't remember which one it was. It ain't him. It obviously ain't him since he ain't got nothing over his head. Wait. Ain't no magazines in jungle around here. No magazine. Wait. Is that a magazine? It looks like a magazine. Okay. There it is. This must be the magazine I was missing. I've seen this one though. Maybe they're trying out a new form of red ice. Robotic parenting. Yeah, I did because I remember seeing that one. We really need the forensics. Right. We really need the forensics. Your mama needed forensics. Hey, you. You gonna talk to me? No. All right, all right. Quit playing. Quit playing. I guess. Say, Lieutenant Anderson. Huh? Hey. They're gonna be like, you did all that and you knew where it was. In the Excuse room. me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson oh, usually arrives? Oh, that's how you talk to him. Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. Hmm. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. No. No. They gonna make me sit down? No. No. I want to... Okay. I want to examine his desk first. I want to sit down. Okay, now I can explore it all. See, that's why I be talking about they don't let you do stuff. Okay. Until you do it in the order they want you to. Okay, well, first of all, let's find out about old dude's death. I'm going to analyze first. Okay, let's analyze his death. What should we start for? For Klondike Bar. Let's start with this. 
cold coffee traces of caffeine. No, really? Ooh, Japanese maple. Kind of dead, though. Donuts. <laughs> they really do be liking donuts, so I thought that was just a joke. Till I saw some. Pass the light. Turn on their junk. The pass the light. It said, I don't. I don't blink if I want it to be ignored. I talk to my ex-wife. Bruh. Probably I don't care. How's my driving? I don't care. We don't bleed the same color. Oh, damn. That just sounds so... If you're not a bartender, then go away. There are people to this day who don't think that black people are human. That is just so true. It's terrible, but... Bruh. We weren't human, we couldn't procreate together, but, you know, so much for thinking. Ooh, look at that. Oh, right, he did good, he did good. Oh my gosh, yeah. Oh, he did all of those things. He was freaking awesome. Look at his picture. Oh my gosh. And then, the dog hair. Canine hair, St. Bernard dog. He was a decorated officer. You did all that. Oh no! It's I forgot I was supposed again, to go Lieutenant? to the deviant. Oh, Jesus. I forgot that it don't hey. let me do that, see? In my office. Damn. Explore the office or listen in. I'm gonna just go explore the office. Uh, I already messed up. <laughs> Look at that. Our friend, the plastic detective, is back in town. Congratulations on last night. Very impressive. Could have uh, got somebody out of the android if you hadn't fucked it up. Hello, Detective Reed. Never seen an android like you before. Model are you? RK-800. I'm a prototype. A prototype? Android detective. So machine's gonna replace us all. Yeah, Is because of it? people like you. Hey, bring me a coffee, dipshit. Actually, they would have replaced you regardless of whether you were- Get a move on! You cost too much. I'm only doing it so that uh, I don't create no problems. Do yourself a favor. Stay out of my way. Stay out your own way. And she's just gonna let it happen. Now, mind you, this is why people say uh, that all cops are bad. Because they'll stand around there and see their partner being a butthole and not do nothing. That Cyber Life has and they go along Detroit with police the with a prototype you know? detective android. Although police assistant androids have existed for wow. several years now, this would be the first case of an android being authorized to play an active role in criminal investigations. Mm. We contacted CyberLife for comment, but no one was available to answer our questions. I wonder why. The first book written by an artificial intelligence has just been published, and to call it a success would be an understatement. Do humans dream of mammalian sheep has shot to the top of the bestseller list. Moreover, critics are unanimous in their praise for the depth of thought and originality of this first work. Mm. Designed by CyberLife, the AI known as Voltaire analyzed human centers of interest on social networks for several months before its complex algorithms generated the plot of the novel. Mm. According to several specialists, it will be very difficult for human authors to compete with these algorithms, and the odds are that most of the books written in the coming years will be the work of artificial intelligence. You trying to say chat, uh, chat, um, GTP or whatever it's called is gonna be making books better than us? Is that what you saying? Well, pretty much. Exactly what this That's exactly what
they're doing. I can't hear what she's saying. Observation room. So I won't let me go in. Oh. Okay, I guess I can only observe. The PP room. What? Like what? What? What are you looking at? Hey, fuck you. Well, excuse me. Hmm. I don't know why I feel like I did it so backwards. Let me know if my crunch is too loud. You know, I got my ice now. Gone. They're going to destroy me. It's probable. They have to analyze your bio components. They need to understand what happened. another way where we can go to the basement. Open the cell, quick! Hurry! Oh my god. Mmm. Looks terrible. I'll call Cyberlife. Clean this mess up. Always telling black people to clean up the mess. Why is that? Hmm? Anyway, who are you? Hey, what y'all doing? Okay. See, I know I did the mess up because I didn't even get to go to the uh, residence room or nothing. Open! I get the impression my presence causes you some inconvenience, Lieutenant. I'd like you to know I'm very sorry about that. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. You have a dog, right? Uh, how do you know that? The dog hairs on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Sumo. I call him Sumo.
You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. <laughs> he was not watching no TV. A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? Yeah. There is one. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah, too long. I was wondering, do you always arrive at the office at this time? I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? Where did that expression, busting my balls, come from? I just want to know. If you have any files on Deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Lab report says they cut Terminals on your desk. Knock yourself out. Ain't this sweet? Y'all reading this? That was the guy that was sitting up front and he told his uh, wife to get some water. It said the plaintiff reports that his, uh, he left his android at home as usual when he went to work. When he returned, the android was nowhere to be found. No trace of break-in in the apartment. The android may have left home without being ordered to. The plaintiff claims to have been attacked by uh, AV500 uh, number 234-777-821 model. Dang, that's a lot of numbers for a model. Actually, it's not. Because, I mean, dang it, the device I got on has probably got numbers that long. Android working as a waiter in the Fast Coney Dogs restaurant chain, situated at 842 Chamberlain Avenue. The plaintiff claims the android lunged at him unexpectedly, attempted to strangle the man before leaving the scene. The android remains at large. My man, this is, you do realize that the people are writing the report of who said it. You know what I'm saying? And, and they ain't got no narrative from the android itself. Uh oh, it's 313. What, what, what? This one. Okay, y'all see the victim in the case references and all this stuff. It said the plaintiff claims to have been attacked by her android. Um, the android also trashed several rooms in the house before taking flight. Just randomly doing it. No, they're not. Oh, look at that. Y'all know. Well, y'all got to remember who this is. I just want y'all to see this, okay? The plaintiff is the manager of the Eaton Club. Remember that Eaton um, little um, pamphlet we got at that guy that got stabbed 28 times? Yeah, that kind of club. Repeated the unexplained disappearance of a sex android model. The android disappeared after accompanying a customer to his home and never returned to the club. Okay, and don't get mad because I ain't feeling like reading all them dang on letters. Nah, y'all know who this is. Leo Manfred was found unconscious. So now, you can stop being worried about him, Batman. Leo is alive. He was found unconscious. Okay? Carl Manfred, uh, in the home is his father, Carl Manfred. The latter's witness statement attests to the altercation between his son and the house android. The android is thought to be a prototype, unknown model and serial number, and was destroyed at the scene by attending officers. So anyway, as you see, the case references said attempted murder. That's how they wrote it down. Okay? The victim was Leo Manfred. Uh, showed the reporting officers, and the uh, case was assigned to Lieutenant Anderson. They say the case is solved. Involving Android? Yes. Uh-huh. Hold up. Let me see. Is all these his? 
Here are Andrew. Okay. So I didn't notice this the first time that Lieutenant Anderson is all on all of these. Okay. So y'all know the unknown series that's been the series ah, the unknown series that has been destroyed is Marcus, right? Y'all know that, right? Y'all see this one too, right? Look at this. This is a case for reference of aggression. The victim, get this, is Todd. Y'all remember seeing Todd walk out the police station? Yeah. He said the plaintiff claims he was violently attacked by his domestic android, an AX400 model. The android had just returned from, the, from being repaired the previous day and had shown signs of aggression in the past. That's the lie that is on the case. See, this is the thing. Whoever writes the report is uh, paints the narrative. Everything you hear from the police station is not always true. So always look for the deeper meaning. Look for other perspectives because whatever gets written is what everybody believes. But that may not be the case because we were a part of this. Is that what happened? Y'all know that's not what happened. Right, right. The case status is still open. Yeah, see. Okay, now I'm gonna scan the rest of the files. That's why. Cause that's all the ones you can just read through. Two hundred and forty-three files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX four hundred is reported to have assaulted a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. I know you didn't ask for this investigation, Lieutenant, but I'm sure you're a professional. Why don't you go fuck yourself? That might be something androids can do. I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Lieutenant? Uh, sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that attacked the guy last night. It's been seen in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. I bet you that dude ready to just retire. He just working the job because he got to. Because he been tiptoeing around everybody. You probably like, Lord, you got to be careful around these folks around him. They be doing the most. Okay, is my chewing, my eyes been loud? Telling an android to do anything and they do it. <laughs> that's real. That's That's the appeal. That's what's going to get everybody to do it. It's no different than, hey, we got androids in our hand. <laughs> it's all about convenience. How do you get everybody to agree to all of the new surveillance and everything? Give them something that they feel like they got control over and give them some fun to do. Give them something to distract them. And that's what we have in our hands. Our oh my God, that Blue Cross Blue Shield right there my mama used to work at. That is downtown. Sure is. I know. Oh my God, I love this. I need to just go and show y'all downtown so y'all can be like, oh, that's that's real. <laughs> I suppose if they came to y'all city and stuff, y'all would probably get geek and stuff. Let's see what's going on. See, we safe. Nobody bothered us. It was stanky, but we still here. I went in there as a little girl and then back then they had these um, motion sensor and I think she said they were heat sensor too but the heat sensor light and at night she would bring us there because everybody was gone so um, you know when they closed the office down you know you can still go in there you know if you were a worker which she was but we were little 
and she would let us run up and down the halls because we was constantly turning on the lights. It was so funny just by running up and down and we had a ball. Just little simple things like that. I forgot what floor it was, but it was the upper floor. And that's how they did. So they had a lot of stuff and that was I wasn't little little but I was little enough. It's the early eighties I think it was when I went. Hmm. Sorry. Let me know about this ice. Y'all can hear me crunching too bad. If it's annoying, y'all, let me know. Oh, magazine. Got it. Canada is still Android free zone. <laughs> How's that possible? Mm. Be right next door. They is this in our backyard for real. Remember me of Peter Parker from Spider-Man? Ha! <laughs> Actually, I probably should have made it black. Like that actually happened. It just happens to pop over that and you just feel that. Do mind? see some abandoned buildings and stuff but because they allow the corporations to come and they can do their business and when they done with it they just leave it and they're allowed to do that but regular people oh no honey we get fined and everything just to enjoy it they say
Take some balance. So it wasn't a nightmare. No. No, it wasn't a nightmare. How do you feel? I'm cold. What are we gonna do now? That android we saw yesterday, he gave me an address. He said we could get help there. The train passes just on the other side of the road. The station can't be far. You feel okay to walk a little? Let's go then. She ain't even answered. Just saying. You say you feel okay to walk then? Let's go ahead. She didn't even let the chick shake her head or nothing. You're pretty like that. You really look like a human now. That's kind of the point, girlie. Use my crunching, y'all. Hopefully it ain't too bad. The police are on our trail. Alright. That's all for now. Here to go. We've got officers sweeping the neighborhood in case anybody saw anything. Okay, well let me know if they turn anything up. What are you gonna do with that? I took the first bed. bus that came along and stayed at the end of the line. Just its decision honest, wasn't planned. It was driven by fear. Androids don't feel fear. Deviants do. They get overwhelmed by their emotions and make irrational decisions. All right, well, that still doesn't tell us where it went. It didn't have a plan, and it had nowhere to go. Maybe it didn't go far. Maybe.
won't get far. We'll find it sooner or later. Let's go. They made it. Woohoo. Nah, it could have been a whole nother thing where we had to run across the freeway, which I've had to do. But we didn't have to do that, as you can see. Didn't have to do any of that. See, it would have been all the way over here and all that. See how big it is? Oh, hold up. Hold up. Back it up. Dang, this. Woo. Lots of. Yeah. Here we go. See all the things we got to do. You find the clothes and all that. They investigate it, but they don't have a lead because they don't have a lead because I ain't steal. See, and all that. And I didn't stay in the house, so I didn't meet Ralph and all of that stuff that I didn't do. I reached this safely, but you know, sometimes you don't, and things happen. But I did. Several sources report that Cyberlife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assist on androids have existed for several years now, this would be the first case of an android being authorized to play an active role in criminal investigations. We contacted CyberLife for comments that no longer. He ain't liking these people being in the back. Oh, that's the ambassador bridge in the background. It goes to Canada, baby. I think it's six dollars and some change to cross. Man, before 9-11, it was like going, going to Canada was not a big deal. Now we come back home, sometimes those officers are absolutely awful. Let me see. Um, well, I think it just depends on what kind of person you are, unfortunately. Now, this say Ferndale. Ferndale is the northwestern suburb of Detroit. It's one of the ones that it's like, um, uh, eight, y'all probably already know from the movie, Eight Mile is the uh, northern border of Detroit. Well, when you go like at northern, uh, let's say Ferndale would be Eight Mile Woodward and everything north of that up until you get to 696, I think. So. Let's look at this, bro. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. No. We can't get this. No, no. I don't want to do this yet. I'm sorry, baby. I ain't got no change because I'm an Android. They don't give me money. Wait, where the magazine is? I know it's the magazine. I knew it. The magazine. I knew it. I get in all the magazines, y'all. Yes, I do. Now, this is definitely downtown for real. Oh my goodness, I see the Guardian building from here. Oh my god, I didn't see all, I see all the different buildings and all of this stuff. This is so effing cool. Oh, this is nice. That's the Renaissance building right there. I don't know if you see it in the background. That is cool. That's that's effing cool. Alright, let me get back to it. Now, you say we're all in this together. Up. What else am I supposed to do? Oh, close the triangle button too. Now this is true. Graffiti really is. Um, there is a it's a way to read graffiti so that people who need to know and need help, uh, especially if you're homeless or whatever, you need to know where to get to, where to get food, and all this stuff. That is actually embedded. That's the real thing. That's true. 
it, there is hidden messages in graffiti. People who don't know what it is, it just looks like art, or to some people it looks like trash, but there's always a hidden message. Sometimes when you're trying to escape from the establishment and its foolishness, you gotta kinda come up with another code, you feel me? You see how the androids gotta walk up the stairs? I don't know if y'all noticed that. Y'all see that sign? Y'all ain't see it. I'm sorry, y'all, but let me see if I can show you that. See what it says? See, Android area. They have to walk upstairs. They don't get no escalator for them. Do y'all see this? I'm loving the map, but that's not Ferndale. That's not Ferndale. That's hilarious. Now, maybe it goes to Ferndale because you can't take Woodward from downtown, stay on Woodward, and go all the way north. And as soon as you cross 8 Mile, you're in Ferndale. That, that's true. But, it's not in Ferndale at that moment. This is still downtown Detroit. Detroit was founded in 1701, so before this country even got started. You know, in, in the sense of, you know, I mean, people here, people were always here for millennia, actually. But, you know, there's that, too. Are Hold up, where's that other magazine? I know it's one out here. I know it's one. Are you going to get rid of Mandy? Mm. Yeah, you're going to have to get rid of her. Grandma says it leaves her with nothing to do, sweetie. But she's so cool. I know, honey. Hmm. Well, yeah, you gotta get rid of your Android because are these like phones? I guess so. I mean, you tell they won't let me get any closer. Talk. So you know where Jericho is? They ain't woke yet. They ain't woke. <laughs> I was like, dang, well. Yeah. Hold up, what am I hearing? What am I hearing? Oh, I hear it. You hear music? I hear it. Hold up. Hold up. Why does it let me go across the street? I'm gonna see how far, because I know where the graffiti is. I saw it, I saw it. I just want to do something different. That's just what I want to do. They won't let me go where I want to go. Park. Okay. So, don't let me go nowhere. Man. Or rat. Yeah, he got the broken lines because he's a deviant. And mind you, you notice how they labeled them deviant. Mind you, they don't want to be abused. They just want to let be left alone and just be. But they've been labeled deviant because they don't want to stand there and just take whatever you want to dish out. But they deviant. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's did, I, did I miss something here? No, I didn't. All right. I'm like, what is it that I'm supposed to? Oh, okay. Right here the one. And it's so cool how they put it in there in several different. other one I wonder if that weird that famous box function no no because the one I'm thinking of is down southwest of the tree not, it's not downtown okay so I know where to go I just don't want to right now I want to see something else I just want to do what I want Shucky ducky quack quack. Oh, shucky ducky quack quack. Oh, this artwork is all on point. I know this. Okay, so there is a bar down on Maroche, uh, in uh, is that Monroe Street in Greek Town that has this exact symbol, but it's called Sweetwaters. I think is that Sweetwater? I can't remember. Yeah, it's a lot of it's a lot of stuff that is like actually. They got some good chicken. Chicken wings. I mean, I know it's a bar, but they are no. Oh, 
Oh, they got a pow pow. Oh, so, what did he say? stuff ain't even here no more because they done it a lot of investors have come and taken away a lot of things and built what they wanted and they made Detroit so dab left and expensive people who from there can't even live there to go here but I'm gonna see if I can go first I'm just saying I just want to I'm crossing against the light am I gonna get hit absolutely not plastic bagel he said he go to Popo that invisible knock that's what they do around here they deliver your stuff and they don't they just do that invisible knock <laughs> invisible and in the hole. oh look at these gas stations Oh, you said they don't want their air to spread on them. You are hilarious. They ain't gonna let me go no further. Okay, I know y'all like, why is she not just doing the thing? Because I like the little, little one around. Mm, mm. This park sign. That is actually so... And so uh, I know a park sign like that where it's a parking lot. They, Man, they make people pay a lot. If I had known how much parking would go up, I would have bought a lot in Detroit a while ago. For real, for real. Because you darn it lucky if you can sit up there and spend twenty dollars. Nah, shoot. Okay, now I gotta go back to where it was. <laughs> oh my god, I know where this sign is. Okay, so anyway. You say don't walk. I walk where I wanna walk. You can tell me what to do. I'll run where I wanna run. Nah, I don't gotta go back to where I was so was I? Okay, I was I was around here. Oh, this is where I'm supposed to go. See, even in the game, I can find my way back. <laughs> okay, so how do I get in here? Okay, this is the rainbow. Gotta look at it. Rainbow. Okay, I gotta get this one. Analyze. Hey, get on it. Analyze. Look, you know how they ain't giving us the instructions no more. They like you by by this time you should know what to do. Okay, now I gotta look for what did it say? Beating heart of Detroit. Still beating heart of Detroit. Okay. Now, who is that up there? Oh, the police. Oh, CTN. Ha. <laughs> people get you to watch the news about just being to make you scared by being fearful because the funny part is people watch more stuff when they're afraid than if they're happy or some other type of emotion when you're angry for some reason you read you uh do that more that's what they study it's kind of stupid to me and they know a lot of people aren't watching news anymore so they're trying to get the clicks and the eyeballs Gotta get that third one, but I have to get it. Gotta crouch down in there. Ain't nobody looking at you. Nine times out of ten, all they gonna do is just find their own business. This is still there, or at least it was. I know they've been knocking down a lot of stuff, putting up more stuff, some of the stuff the city of Detroit your citizens don't even want. Got that one on. Clue updated. 
Ain't she beautiful? That's a beautiful woman right there. Okay, so we're gonna go up in here. Ain't nothing over here, right? Ain't nothing over here. Y'all show this look. Just in case it's a hidden magazine behind this spot. Just wanted to make sure, because you never know. I don't want to miss Man Magazine. So I'm going to look around. I'm going to keep looking, because that's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. Dang, you just did, dude. So, now nah, look, I know I'm going to need this to get over there, but look, they not even let me get this, right? Watch. As soon as I read the clue, they going to let me do it. Look at that shark. Ha, ah, that's funny. Okay, so now I'm going to let me read the clue. Now nah, it's gonna say reach the roof. Now nah, it's gonna let me get this. Ain't that crazy? Nah. Yeah, all of a sudden he can parkour. Be careful when you see rebar sticking out. But okay, here we go. One of those three. Reconstruct. Or preconstruct. I'm sorry. We're preconstructing right now, not reconstruct. Okay, so if we go this way, and then go this way, we'll fall into our tent. Okay? So, let's go back. Try that again. What if we go a whole nother way, such as, I don't know, what if we just go for it? That'd just be stupid. Okay. So, that would be dumb. So, but what, what if we start here, and then go here, then get there? There we go. That's much better. Execute. You. That's what's up. All this time, the Batman thought that Andrew Cop was a good guy. Well, see, people don't seem to understand. It's not about your character. If you go through training, you become a part of the system. That's just the bottom line. And if you ever notice the true good cops, let me take a break from here. But I'm gonna keep talking to y'all because I gotta, I gotta make some more ice. Let me tell y'all something. If you ever notice the real good cops, the ones who tail on the other ones that don't be doing right, they never are cops. They get fired or they get resi they resign, you know, uh, early. Don't be getting a pension. Look up Carrie L. Horn. I think Carrie L. Horn is, I'm trying to think of spell her name. I think it's C-A-R-I-O-L-C-O-R-N-E. I think that's her name. Look her case up. Okay, so uh, in her particular case, if I'm remembering correctly, what they did was they were um, arresting somebody. They had already had them in handcuffs, hands in the back. And her partner started choking the dog out the man. So she pushed him off and, you know, stopped him from doing it or whatever. But, honey, they ended up getting hurt in trouble not the man who started it and I can tell you time and time again how many cops when they are good cops including one I knew who used to be on the Detroit Police Department and he told me when he was a rookie one of the things he did they went to go do this drug bust and they were about to uh, you know how they be having millions of dollars or whatever so they were going to steal some of the money 
and they was like here you need to take some of this and he didn't want to do that and he was like no i can't do that they was like oh you ain't gonna be a part of this or whatever so then you know they started you know being all funny toward him because he didn't want to partake in all of that so he had to, uh he he stopped being a cop and he became an exterminator he made more money <laughs> and didn't have to worry about his life but did he sit up there and tell on them i don't think so if i'm not mistaken when he said it he just basically just just left because he knew because one of the things is you know that as your partners they got all the information on you they know who your family is they know all of that stuff but if you don't participate in the foolishness um yeah they can make you disappear real quick just saying they can you said or you can put her name in the uh chat let me see okay go back to what i was Thank you for your patience. I have to make my ice so I can keep crunching. You know how that go. Okay, okay. What's going on? Wow. Alright, here we go. my mind about some of the parts of the city of Detroit like these big corporations like the old Chrysler plant and different things or whatever they will allow them to let stuff right won't enforce a thing but let us abandon our house and let it rot like this huh will chase us all day yeah but they let they let corporations do whatever they want for the most Dang, he all the way did that. He almost made it, but no cigar. Okay, so what we gonna do? What we gonna do is we gonna find our little little things here. We got found one. I'll take you up on your offer now. That stuff, my stuff. Oh, you talking about that uh the sub stuff? Okay, well, could, you know what? I would say, hold on. Let me talk to your dad and see if he wants something different. Because he might want a little something different. You know what I'm saying? He might want a little something different. He want a little something different. Hold on. Give me a minute, though. I got to find my Sparkle City thing. Yeah. Hold on. Babe. Babe. He can't hear me. He can't hear me because he in the other room. I don't want to yell at y'all ears. He's like, Babe. Babe. Be all loud, like I know I can be, like I know I, you know, I'm just a loud person. I like being loud. I can be silent, which really shocks the heck out of my parents or whatever. I'm sure I can be, but like when I was younger, when I was a kid, actually, and they, um, you know how you go to parent teacher conferences, and they was talking about some Christina, so quiet. Hey, I told you my name. Hi, so. Let's see. Hold up. Okay, so that's that's not the right way, right? So what what should we do here? We should go backwards and try again. We can't do that. Hold on. Let me see. Is your dad's phone? May you do me a favor and text him and ask him because I don't want to stop the stream for that. Okay, I know it's a way to do this. Hold up. It starts with this way. Stop. Then, okay. Okay. When you do this part, you got that part. Okay, so it was just the part that I did after that was the problem. Okay, no, no, don't go nowhere yet. I gotta pre construct. Wait, you ain't gonna let me do it without dying? Okay, there we go. Parkour like this. I 
would just have somebody record me as I'm parking. They'd be like, look at that lady. Look at her. That's what's, that's what's up. I probably get my Yeah. Now, who would turn around and look down like that? Just know you're going to keep going. That's so dramatic in my mind. <laughs> like, you're going to be like, yeah, I did that. <laughs> this is not a basketball game. <laughs> Okay, as you can see, now I know I'm doing this so fast, but ain't it a um, magazine in here? It's a magazine in here. Hey, you did this. You did this. There you did this. You made it to a degree, but you ain't making it. Okay, I know I'm supposed to be going somewhere else, but I feel like it's a magazine in here, but I could be wrong. I don't know why I feel like it is. But it's probably not, because ain't no yellow things popping up. Ooh, this is so dangerous to be in here. You don't know if it's stable or not. And all this asbestos everywhere. Nah, I don't know if you notice. There it is. But you got to line it up just right. To see it. See? Look. Yeah, see, why is it? Stop! Stop running. Why? I just tapping it lightly and he runs. There, that's the boat. That was smooth. I think that was one of the best ones. Wait for him to text me back. Bet. Okay. Bay. Check your phone. Sorry for yelling in y'all ear, y'all. You did all that. All of the parkour, but I had to push all that button just to move that one piece of cart. Oh, I didn't know your phone was up here. I thought it was back there with you. Yeah. No, oh, she texts you. One up one. Oh, okay. Yo, door. She want to ask you a wish. Remind me the Batman. You said, remind the Batman of that game one up woman play a while back called Heavy Rain. Yes, it's actually made by the same people. Yes. Matter of fact, I think Heavy Rain was right before they made this. I would say name Quantum Dreams or whatever the name of this is. Same people, same exact people. They actually came and did a lot of stuff here. You know, Detroit is a cool place to be. It's just starting to be too expensive for people who are regular people. But Detroit is cool. Oh yeah, wow, I got it. It was by the same death. Yep, sure is. Jump. Jump on that. Jump on it. Same as that people. What's that other one they made too? It's heavy brain and um I can't think of that other one. I can't think of the name. Heavy brain. abandoned ship by the bridge like this by the way. but the bridge is there matter of fact we have two bridges now but that's the ambassador bridge that's the oldest one still there i think they should make one of them uh uh passengers and then the other one's truckers because i think this traffic is really i didn't even go the other way like i was supposed to to show you the other piece if i just went where i was supposed to Dropping jump. Now the significance of this being the ship is They be doing the most. Trying to take bits and pieces of everybody his together. But okay. Kinda uh interesting how this ship is supposed to be a safe place. Yeah, well, anyway, y'all can draw the connection. I think y'all are smart enough to figure it out. Give me that flashlight, though. Shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it. I did, I'm shaking it. Dang, I guess they were like, you ain't shaking enough. Watch it shake and shake and watch it shake and shake. 
Realize I'm just flying through this thing like yeah. I might need I might have missed the magazine. I'm just flying through this mug. Like here you go. This is where you gotta go. Yep, I, I missed something. What is this I'm missing? But I was just was like, okay, you go here, go here. <laughs> this is like this stuff. my phone hold on you want me to stop and look at my phone hold up let me see yeah my 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 phone was off light blue oh yeah yeah okay like what and how you gonna say what's cakey what the heck you know i'm screaming how you gonna say what's cakey okay so we we've been saying that ever since my husband said that for a while and i'm like uh um, Okay. 
Hold on just a second, y'all. Hold on. I don't want to mess up my uh, controller, so, but we're going to find out because I got the janky controller. So hold on just a second. I'll be right back. Y'all going to look at him staring at the floor for just a moment. Thank you so much for your patience. Okay, I had to make a, a nice little uh, order there because I'm hungry and I've been doing this for almost five hours. <laughs> and uh, one woman is going to um, uh, going to be getting this while I am streaming. I gotta text her what I just ordered. Yep. Thank you for waiting. I appreciate I appreciate it very much. Okay, because I am a human being. I don't have to become human. I am human, so I need to eat. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you very much, Batman. I appreciate you. Y'all been hanging in with, there with me for some hours. I know y'all come back and forth, but I appreciate it. Look. Oh Welcome God. to Jericho. Hey, how you doing, bro? Good to see you. He look like that Daniel model, don't he? Kind of freaking you out, ain't it? 
Did I forget that magazine? Did I? I probably did forget the magazine. I probably did. Did I? Maybe I did. I don't know. It seemed like I did almost everything else. Almost. <gasps> I did one. Oh, I missed one. It was. It was just. Oh. There's the magazine right there. It wasn't even that far in. Oh, I'm mad at myself. Gosh. Okay, so I missed again. Ooh, shit. Yeah. Oh, if y'all see food trucks, go ahead. Go on and get it. The food trucks here be fun. Oh, hey. We were food trucking before, folks, before it became a thing. Hey, okay. Plastic with you? else to do ain't no magazines around cool yeah, listen, I do, I, shit, I think, number five in the third it's what is the classic or something but it's a it's a but coupe but not a sedan you wanna flood last year I'd take the game and send it back to me to where just come on this is different it's a hundred percent guaranteed you can't go wrong And this dude that he talking to. Come on. Legal gambling and fraud. Now, you know what's so funny? Is that, you know, if you ever notice how the government always want to make everything illegal that we like to do, but they they be doing the same thing, but it's not illegal when they do it. Just, just, just think about that. Just, just want to let y'all know. We, we already know that. And of course he ain't gonna have no record. He a cop. What he gonna have? What he look like having a record? But okay. They can make their own stuff disappear now. Let's just be real about these apples. Um, ain't it another person around here somewhere? I guess not. They said, we build your future. Well, it makes sense that it would happen. So, certain things would happen in Detroit because of how industrial we are. All right, I'm in. Damn straight. Hey, you won't regret this. What is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. I'm sorry for my behavior back at the police station. I didn't mean to be unpleasant. Oh, wow. You've even got a brown nose and apology program. <laughs> As it's cyber life thought everything, huh? Mm -hmm. Now look. We can analyze every little thing being an android. Come on. Get on it. Oh, I guess Here you go. Now I should do it. There you go. Now that's a soda, but you know what it should be? It should be a shake. But then again, I might want to try it because it's a carbonated pineapple pasta. Okay, pineapple pasta, pineapple and pasta fruit together. I can do it. It's a burger. It's a hamburger, but it's really a cheeseburger. Y'all see that slice of cheese? Because it's got lettuce, tomatoes, cheese, burger, onion, pickles, more lettuce. See what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm looking at all that. Burger sounds good right there. Oh, good. Oh, dude. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> Breach of hygiene regulations. <laughs> Hope you watch this hands we made this, but it's probably a good burger. You know, you feel me? Like, yeah. Ain't nothing like going to the Greasy Spoon. I think Mott's is still there, Southwest Detroit on Fort Street and Spring Wells. You gotta go. Get you oh, thanks, Gary. I'm starting. Yes. I'll leave that thing here. Got quite uh, a few not a chance. Follows me everywhere. They, they, um, they offer Oakman. What is that street? I forgot the name. I just know how to get there. You know how sometimes you just get the name of the street but you know how to get there so it don't matter? 
know exactly how to get there. Mm -hmm. What is the name of the street? I just can't think of it. It's called Elmer. They've been there forever too. They got a recent stream by the way. We got a recent stream by the way, but it seems like that a lot of them are just a screen, which is kind of messed up. That's all. Is it's the game on? They ain't gonna show nothing else. Okay, you know what? I, oh my God, Fort Bragg! Wow. You know what blows my mind is how the Confederacy lost, right? But we got so many places named after Confederate folks. Let that sink in. Just saying. If the Union won, and if you look at the terms of what the Confederacy had to do in order to be accepted back into the Union, all of this ish that the daughters of the Confederacy and all of that stuff that started all this stuff, the statues and all that stuff, they couldn't have did that while they was living, but see, of course, they waited till they died and all that stuff and started the whole lot. And they know that uh, over time, most people don't even know their history. And the people who lived it, half of them were so dang on traumatized, they ain't talk about it. I think that's why they call them the silent generation. Let's talk about your meal. Let's talk about that game. This Pedro, he was proposing illegal gambling. Am I right? Yeah. And you made a bet. Yeah. Because half of the stuff that ain't Your meal contains 1.4 times the recommended daily intake of calories and twice the cholesterol level. You shouldn't eat that. Whatever. Everybody's got to die of something. No. <laughs> Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. Proceed. You know, you funny. We one believe one that one. a mutation occurs in the I'm software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. You ever dealt with deviants before? A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with the little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me? I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years and... You spend a lot of time in bars. So what's your conclusion? I think working with an officer with... personal issues is an added challenge. But adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. I just got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. We should go have a look. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. Hey, mm. Connor. You run out of batteries or what? No. I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Uh. Well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No. I'm coming. 
Can you imagine just being able to do your work? Yeah, what do we know about this guy? Thinking about it. <laughs> Not much. <laughs> just that a neighbor. Hold on. You know I'm a look everywhere. Reported that he heard your... strange noises coming from this floor. Nobody's supposed to be living here. Okay. This is another thing. Why we got like a whole lot of abandoned buildings but homeless people? And we can't just let them live there? But is that okay? The neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Oh, Christ. If we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're going to need more... ...for cops. Hey, were you really making a report back there in the elevator? Yes. Just by closing your eyes? Correct. Why would you not? Oh Lord. Anybody home? I can't even begin to tell you what's wrong with rent, but okay. Open up, Detroit police. Stay behind me. Got it. My magazine, I found one. <laughs> Pass the tipping point. Lord, have mercy. Like, uh, look at these. Look at these. Y'all see these? They're amazing. Y'all feel it? Telling you something, but I ain't gonna spoil it for you. What the fuck is this? These are birds. It's gotta be poop everywhere. Jesus, this place. Now, I'm gonna tell y'all something. I don't know if y'all can see how that looks. Driver's exactly license is how fake. Our, uh, cool. At least we didn't come our, for nothing. Uh, IDs actually went in Michigan. That's, they did an exact thing when they did that. That's, that's, that's how, how they're designed. Well, I should say that's how they were designed because, you know, now they got uh, the new stars because they got to be all RT. Compliant with that Probably initials. Put his initials in his jacket? That's something your mom does when you're in first grade. Don't think for yourself, just comply. Shut up and do what we want. That's kind of how I mean. Any idea what it means? And it doesn't matter who is in charge. They just want the little Written people. 2,471 times. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something. Come on. Let the people look right. People don't know. Let's see. Right here, you see the LED. Why is the. I want to know. Hold up. First, the sample. <sighs> I need some fresh air. Its LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No, a human could live with all these fucking pigeons. I don't know about that. You probably find a call kind of stuff. People can live in all kinds of situations. You'd be surprised. Oh, 
they don't pay rent. The ultra wealthy. <laughs> they don't pay rent. Ah, and you know who don't work like we do for a living? The ultra wealthy. They don't. They may not see what they do is they they go and buy up a bunch of things and own it and then make us work for what used to be free, but got us so used to it that we don't know. <laughs> We get gated. But it is what it is. What's in this tub? Now this is a good type of tub. I'm gonna tell you, you got these bear claw bear um bear claw tubs, baby, they deep. Oh, they some deep good stuff. You take a good bath in them mother. You can have one of my grandparents' house. Oh my god, that was the best one. Never if you got one of those on the tub. If it get old looking just replace, that's a good tub. These new little acrylic tubs is not what's up. Come on. Let's get it all. Oh my god, they everywhere though. Ah, Jesus, I hate these things! avian fecal matter no fingerprints um it's birds everywhere you think it's gonna be not traces of avian fecal matter just saying skid marks that can mean so many things something I don't know it looks like a notebook but it's indecipherable uh. ah! god damn fucking pigeons what are you, you waiting know. for chase it no.
was like, I, I got lost in this one. Oh, wait, did I miss it? Wait, sorry. I went the opposite way. <laughs> I did. It was terrible. You know what they'll do to me if you turn me in. Model 87400-4961. Serious malfunctions have been detected in your software, including class 4 errors. You've been deemed effective and will be sent back to Cyberlife for deactivation. Don't you fucking move. You bastard. You saw I was gonna fall, and you'd rather let me die than fail your fucking mission! I had to make a choice. It seemed to me... What am I to you? A statistic? A zero? A one in your fucking program? Huh? Is that how you see humans, you bastard? Jesus. I understand you're upset. Perhaps I didn't assess the Fuck situation. you and your fucking assessment! Come here. Why are you doing this? All right. You're one of us. Shut up! You're helping humans, but you're just their slave. I said, shut up! Well, where's the last? All right, come along. All right, now you save me. Hey, what the fuck? Well, mm. holy shit. <laughs> well, that's just how things go. Rupert committed suicide. Lord, I need to know. Actually, I did know. I've done this um, before. And, uh, yeah. That's how it goes. If y'all want to see the statistics. Y'all, let's see what the world did. What the world needs now is love, sweet love. It's the only thing. Okay, let me see. Not too many people follow the Rupert. Yeah. I actually saved Hank before, but because I've also done this like several times and I knew Hank would live, I just decided to choose that. You know he's pissed. Who are you? Who are you, Mom? Fugitives. Just like you. My name is Josh. Hi, I'm Josh. Simon. Hi, North. Simon. Hi, North. Y'all remember them? I don't know if y'all remember them. Or at least a couple of them. This is Jericho? It's a refuge for those who don't want to be slaves anymore.
and hiding just to stay alive, that's freedom to you? Humans hate us. Hiding is the only way we can survive. There is no safe place for those like us. If humans knew we were here, they'd kill us. That's true. And you knew that only an android could follow the trail, didn't you? Only those who are like us can find Jericho. Yep. If you could decipher the signs, it's because one of us trusted you enough to give you the key. There's a place where we can be free. Find Jericho. I understand how you feel. But we have more freedom here than you ever did. Humans were your masters, and now it's fear that rules you. You're no freer than you ever were. You've only found a new master. You're lost. Just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. You're safe here. You can stay with us as long as you want. Go and see Lucy. She might be able to help you. It's hilarious when you pay attention to the background. How the music started with somebody humming. You know, and it got louder when they said who to find. Guess who's not about to go see Lucy right now? Guess who's about to light up everything? I've heard humans are afraid of dying too. Do you know what happens after death? No. No, I don't. Well, I'm about to find out. What's your name? Marcus. I was glad to meet you, Marcus. That's yep, she gone. Oh my goodness, I have exactly three hundred and thirteen. Comment 313 and we plan Detroit become human and I'm from Detroit 313 baby what that's what's up that's nice that's cool I don't know how long that's been up there because I've been doing other things but that is cool what's this on the flow oh yeah baby ha <laughs> I know you had to do it, Batman. You had to do it. <laughs> Three fourteen now. You had to do it. I know. It's hilarious. They threw him out when they didn't want him anymore. He was living on the streets before we brought him here. They'll all shut down if we don't find a way to help them. To help them, we need blue blood and bio components. We salvage what we can from those who shut down. But there's never enough. So, how do they survive? They don't. They won't. We're slowly dying out. Now be careful before I talk to Norton and John. See how when you start to light lighting the fire, they starting to come toward the fire. And so every little thing is just got some type of thing.
how they just standing in the corner when it's just dark with nobody else besides Marcus figured out how to turn the dang on thing on. The little light. Come on. Now, did I light three? Just stand there. Don't even move. Oh, some of them already walked to that other one. It's like, oh, here they go. See how they coming to it? It's just so funny. It's like, Come back to her, don't worry. I'm gonna come back to her. Not in very good shape, am I? My diagnostic program isn't working. I don't think it would have anything good to say anyway. What happened to you? They tied me to the back of a car. I think they wanted to have fun. You know, my man, I don't want to shut down. No, I don't want to shut down. Four of them lit. They all lit. See them walking toward it. It's like, oh. Nobody else thought to like this. This is just, oh my God. The whole thing is driving me insane. Like, for real. We gonna do this. We are really gonna do this. Like, okay, we can't think without a leader kind of thing. Uh, okay. Let me talk to North real quick. How long have you been here? Four weeks, three days, 11 hours. When I escaped, there was nowhere else to go. Jericho seemed as good a place as any. A lot of these guys in pretty bad shape. That's how the humans treat those who disobey. They despise us. I'll never accept what we are. Who found this place? Nobody knows anymore. Whoever he was, his body's probably lying somewhere on this boat. If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place. Magazine hunting before I go to see Lucy. Let me go see Lucy because I don't see nothing all around. Oh my god. Wait. Hold up. One of these I can talk to, whatchamacallit, separately. Is that him? Where is he at? He had one of these little fires. Where are you? There you go. One that looked like Daniel. You. Is this you? Why you want why you wanna talk to me? Thank you, beautiful. Hold up. Who's here, babe? Why won't he talk to me? Like, they won't let me talk to him yet. Maybe I gotta talk to him afterwards. I, I might be remembering it out of order. They won't even let me talk to him. Where is Pussy? There she go. She ain't got nothing else besides that fire. Are you Lucy? It's 
Sit down. This ain't Oracle, y'all. <laughs> Only they ain't, she ain't no trickster like the Oracle. Show me. Stop the bleeding. She just randomly had that land in the fire. Okay. Drink this. Give me your hand. You had it all, and you lost it all. You've seen hell, and now hell lives in you. Your heart is troubled. A part of shadow and a part of light. Which will prevail? Your choices will shape our destiny. Simon. He was asleep. Why are you waking up? I know where we can find spare parts. They know Cyber who? Life Warehouse is in the Detroit Harbor. They have everything we need. The docks are guarded. We can't just walk in there and take what we want. Humans will never let us. Which is why we won't ask permission. We don't have any weapons. And even if we did, none of us knows how to fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. We'll just get ourselves killed. Maybe. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm with you. <laughs> Maybe it's worth a try. I'm just gonna grab it out. This is yours. Okay. Now it's gonna be Amen. a sick hazard down there. Thank you. I did almost everything. Was it a magazine? I don't even know. Might be, might not be. Oh, I guess not. I did it all. Ain't nothing left undone. Wow. You're gonna be okay? We'll get some help here. As soon as we're we'll lucky, just about the line. There's a lot of old mansions like this, and the old colonizers there, and they used to be here. This is the place.
go, y'all. I don't think there's nothing else we can do besides knocking on the door. And y'all meet this girl here. Zlatko? Who's asking? I was told you could help us. I don't know who told you that. You came to the wrong place. I'm sorry. Wait. We really need your help. Come in. Be shy. Luther, would you be so kind as to take these ladies' coats? Oh, don't be afraid of our big friend here. Luther is just another android that I helped. He keeps me company in this big, empty old house. Please, make yourselves at home. How did you hear about me? An android. On the street, he said you could help us. Now they ain't Divya, even paying huh? attention to his uh, fingers and uh, tinted blue. What about her? She's human. And you want to find a safe place. Somewhere you can start a new life. I hear Canada is very lovely at this time of year. Beautiful landscapes, open spaces, clean air, and no android laws. Great place for a fresh start. Yes, that's... That's exactly what we want. Of course. Well, I can help you. But first, we have to get rid of your tracker. Tracker? Yeah. All androids are fitted with a tracking device to locate them at all times. I'll remove yours, and then you'll both be safe. Come on. Follow me. Uh, honey, if they had a tracker, they wouldn't be looking all over for you. Uh, the Thank little you one can wait for us in the living room. No, she always stays with me. Of course. First of all, we're gonna look around this way. Yeah. Right this way? Everything we need is in the basement. All right, but first I'm gonna look around. That's what I wanna do. I want me to sit there and tell you that I'm gonna let you dig into me to get out of some random tracker that I know if I sat there and thought 20 hundred hours about, actually two seconds about, would have been like, wait, if it was a tracker, why wouldn't they come directly to us? They could have found us if they had a tracker while we were sleeping in the car. But no, we're not going to play this game. They ain't going to let me unlock this yet. 
go to the basement. I don't like this place. And that man. Let's go. I have a bad feeling. Shit, let's go. Now you see this? They don't even do it. Alice, we have nowhere else to go. What? We have to trust him. I didn't even get to pick. I guess I gotta do it within a certain amount of time. She ain't going. Why won't they let me turn about face? Oh my god. Okay. Because they don't want me to turn around and see stuff. I'm like, I can't go nowhere. I just want to go. I want to get out of here. I know what happens here. They won't let me. Dang it. Okay. They're going to make me go through all this trauma right now. Please excuse the mess. I need it somewhere discreet for my machines. Removing trackers is illegal, so I opted for discretion over comfort. I hope the little one isn't too scared. No. No, she'll be all right. That's good. If only you had a gun. No, I don't. Oh, you going back to when I didn't go in that room? Yeah, you don't have that gun later anyway, even if I had it. This way, please. If I had a gun. I wouldn't have to stay as Locos. Excuse you. Move. They like, okay, move the camera the way I want it to move. Thank you. That's so weird. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, I know what's gonna happen in here. I don't like it. Ain't this a magazine right here though? No? Okay. Oh well, let me play the game. If you could just stand over there. Stand your mama over there. I should warn you, this could be quite unpleasant. You know what's strange? For some unknown reason, the trackers seem to stop working in Deviants. That's why it's so hard to find them. So, actually, there's no reason to remove your tracker. What? But you said that... Yeah, the people believe what they want. That's true. That's you deviants are so naive. They all come to me expecting me to help them. And I just reset them, sell them on. Or I keep them for my little experiments. No! No, I, I don't want to be reset. Let me go. Ah! Oh, I forgot about the child. Um, lock it up. I'll deal with it later. Alice! Alice, no! Wow. A deviant that wants to be a mother. That's, that's so sweet. And so deluded. I think it's time we put you out of your misery. <laughs> it's 
That's what you get for having a dream. It always ends up the same way. Tears and disillusion. Mm. Believe me, you're better off being erased and feeling nothing. Wow. How would you know? No more pain. No more hopes dashed. I almost envy you. Kara! <laughs> Oh, poor little Alice. Oh, looks like Mommy doesn't remember you at all, huh? Looks like Mommy's completely forgotten you. Carl, <laughs> what happened to you? Oh, all right, that's enough. Come on. I'll push her. Brittany. I'm going to teach you some manners, you little bitch. Meet me in the living room. Stand there staring at the machine. Let me make sure I ain't forgetting no magazine. Ah. I know y'all like priorities now. Priorities. Walking around in there. Help us. Yes, Lockle. I should be done here in ten minutes or so. Have a look at the little one, see what I can do with it. Understood, Lockle. I'll bring you the little one in ten minutes. Come on, come on, let go, let go.
can't you go any faster? Why can't you run? If I'm not mistaken, this one in the tub is doing? the first person we saw. Has the master authorized you to be here? Uh, on the, uh, you must always obey the master. Here. Oh yes, master. you must always obey. You should not be here. Shut your mouth, shut your mouth. What are you doing? You're not gonna hurt me. No. No. No, you wouldn't do that. No. No, of course not. Which door did I come in? Right 
god, that's Luffy. I... I'm sorry. About the little one. Magazine, find one. I gotta hurry up. Get me on the run. There ain't no gun or nothing in here. I thought it was one. There's not. I know he gets the gun on me. Oh, good. No, no, no. No. No, I was right. I was right. This is the right door. Go back. Go back. Go back. Oh my god, I ain't got time for this. All these rooms I done been in. This chick ain't nowhere in here. Okay. No. She ain't in here. Let me see. She's probably in this last door at the bottom. Let me go to this one. Here. Go fetch the little one. Matt, where? Not gone! What? The little one is gone! Well, I can't have just disappeared. It's gotta be here somewhere. What are you waiting for? Go look!
from me. I warned you, dreams always end in tears. You should have listened to me. What are you doing? Get out of my way. No, not this time. I said get out of my way or I'll shoot right through you. want to hurt you. He programmed me to obey him. When I saw the little one risk her life to save you, it was like opening my eyes for the first time. Finally, I could see. I know you have no reason to trust me after what I did. But I know someone who could help you across the border. Trying to finish it. I don't know if I can, but boy, oh boy, it's taking all day. But this book looking righteous right now. Mm -hmm.
Hello, Amanda. Connor, I've been expecting you. Would you mind a little walk? Congratulations, Connor. You managed to find that deviant. Tell me, what did you learn? Um, diary. I found its diary, but it was encrypted. It may take weeks to decipher. What else? The walls of the apartment were covered with drawings of labyrinths and other symbols. Like the other deviants, it seemed obsessed with RA9. You came very close to capturing that deviant. It's a pity you let it self destruct. I made a mistake. It said RA9 saved me before it jumped from the roof. I should have anticipated what it would do. How is your relationship with the Lieutenant developing? He is openly hostile towards me and continues to show no interest in the investigation. Cooperating with him is a real challenge. We don't have much time. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. We need to stop this. Whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation. you. A new case just came in. Find Anderson and investigate it. Lieutenant Anderson! Anybody home? Just to let you know, I wasn't holding down at home. I held him Lieutenant Anderson!
Easy, Sumo. I'm your friend. <laughs> See? I know your name. I'm here to save your owner. Lieutenant. <laughs> Wake up, Lieutenant. <laughs> it's me, Connor. I'm going to sober you up for your own hey, sake. Hey! I have to warn you. Leave me alone, this may be fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I need you now. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. We get the fuck out of here! Sumo! Attack! Good job. Attack! Fuck, I think I'm gonna be sick. Leave me alone, you asshole. I'm not going anywhere. What the hell are you doing? <coughs> oh, no, no, no. I don't want a bath. Thank you. Sorry, Lieutenant. It's for your own good. Homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. <sighs> Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world that gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. <sighs> Can't you just leave me alone? Maybe you should drop the case. They'll assign someone else, and I can focus on my mission. Your goddamn mission, that's all you care about, huh? Listen, Lieutenant, you're not yourself. You should... Beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here! I understand. It probably wasn't interesting anyway. A man found dead in a sex club downtown. Guess they'll have to solve the case without us. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. There's some clothes in the bedroom there. I'll go get them. Clothes. 
What do you want to wear? Whatever. We want hippie, stripey, streaky. Are you all right, Lieutenant? <coughs> yeah, yeah. <sighs> Wonderful. Just uh, give me five minutes, okay? Sure. Now we can walk Russia in her speech to Congress today, where she demanded that all Russian troops withdraw from the Arctic region immediately. The Kremlin has yet to respond, but this is clearly a new escalation in the conflict. Many experts have suggested the specter of a third world war draws closer every day. Dang it. Oh, they ain't let me do all the other things. I was supposed to get the... Be a good dog, again. Sumo. I won't be long. Watching this thing and playing this video game, and I got a little sauce on me. So, you looking all right? What's going on, babe? Huh? I didn't make no big mess. Just dropped a little bit right here on my. Uh, thank you, my dear. Appreciate it. you. Can get no. You can just. Oh yeah, you can give me a little water on it. You talking about on that? Uh, just a little. Italiano dressing just fell off onto my clothes. Thank you, dear. I appreciate you. I know that. If they catch us, we're dead. What do we do now? We need to find the Cyberlife warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts and the blue blood. Follow me. Follow north, but I'm like, I don't see north. Don't let them see us. Who is them? Keep saying follow north, but I don't even see. Her.
watch out. Now what do we do? I'll find another way. Life warehouses. We have everything we're looking for. First, we have to get rid of that drone. Leave it to me. Yeah, I'm fine. Good job, Marcus. Quick, open the other crates and fill your bags. Take as much as you can.
you're trespassing on private property. Your presence constitutes a level two infraction. I will notify security. John! God damn machine! Where is it this time? John! I need your help. John! There you are! What the hell are you doing? I was inspecting the platform. Everything is in order. Good. Then I'm going back to the control station. I'm soaked. Take the drone to maintenance and make a report. Understood. Let's finish up and get out of here. Try to find some blue blood. We still don't have enough. That's all we can carry. Let's go. Take me with you. He's on their side. We can't trust him. He took a risk for us. We can't just leave him here. We can't bring him back with us. It's too dangerous. They come with us. I know where you can find more spare parts. What do you mean? The trucks. They're full of bio components. They run on autopilot, but they can be driven manually with a key. Where is this key? Down there, in the control station. There are two human guards. We'll have to get the key without being noticed. This is suicide, Marcus. Our bags are full. We got what we came for. Let's go before they catch us. This is a truck full of spare parts. There'd be enough for all of us. We can't pass this up. And if we get killed, our people will have nothing. We can't take that chance. It's too risky. Wait here. If I'm not back in 10 minutes, go without me. Marcus. I'm coming with you. No, I'm going alone. It's not worth it for both of us to risk losing our lives. Ha <laughs> ha 
Damn. Dogs. What the fuck are they barking at? Could be the weather. They don't like storms. Can I hide over there in the corner in the pantry in case they get up? Yeah. I was gonna take my kids camping this weekend. So much for that. Is Mike still in zone four? No. Looks like it. And he should be done already. Better off in here. Did you get it? Thanks. Why was I like not breathing at that moment? Mm -hmm. No, it make no sense for me to not be breathing. <laughs> I thought I was really doing something. Hurry, get in. A truckload! 
We stole a whole truckload. We load. had bio components for everybody. We couldn't have done it without Marcus. Hmm. I came to Jericho because here androids are free. Free to live in the dark, hoping that no one finds us. Free to die in silence, waiting for a change that's never gonna come. But I don't want that freedom. And I'm not gonna beg for the right to smile, or love, or stand tall. I don't know about you, but there's something inside me that knows that I am more than what they say. I am alive, and they're not going to take that from me anymore. Our days of slavery are over. What humans don't want to hear, we will tell them. What they don't want to give, we take. We are people. We are alive. We are free. Yeah! playing with a drill inside my skull. You sure this is the place? It's the address in the report. Right. Okay. Let's get going. Sexiest androids in town. Mm. Not I know why you insisted on coming here. Oh, I'm gonna State Street. Street here. State Street and Woodward. Okay, that's real. That's very real. Alright, but ain't no eating club. Ain't no sex club right there. Yeah. What are you doing? Coming, What's Lieutenant. That do? in an asshole, just what I needed. Lieutenant Anderson is plastic pet. The fuck are you two doing here? We've been assigned all cases involving androids. Oh, yeah? I'm like wasting your time. There's some pervert who, uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> we'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. Come on, let's go. It's, uh, starting to stink of booze in here. Good night, Lieutenant.
didn't die of a heart attack. He was strangled. Yeah, I saw the bruising on the neck. That didn't prove anything, though. Could have been a rough play. We're missing something here. Think you can read the android's memory? So disgusting. I think I'm gonna puke again. The only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. I hope it's long enough to learn something. The crazy part is this happens to people for real. And in court, they usually blame the police. <laughs> to know what happened is he is he dead tell me what happened he started hitting me again and again did you kill him no no it wasn't me were you alone in the room was there anyone else with you he, he wanted to play with two girls that's what he said. There was two of us. What model was the other android? Did it look like you? <sighs> there was another android. This happened over an hour ago. It's probably long gone. No. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. Think you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place? Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh shit. There's gotta be some other way. Maybe an eyewitness, somebody who saw it leaving the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. Expense account. Purchase confirmed. Keep the club wishes you a pleasant experience. You're welcome. Delighted to meet you. Follow me. I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what?
It saw something. What are you talking about? Saw what? The Deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. supposed to do with this one? Let's try this one. This better be worth it. It saw the blue-haired Tracy. I know which way it went. Then go for it. There are androids everywhere. How are you gonna tell? Oh, which one saw the Tracy with blue hair? I know which direction it took. I just need to find another android on its path. its track again. Tracy didn't come this way. I know where it went. Follow me. 
Fucking it. This is crazy. Wait. I'll take it from here. Look at them. They get used till they break and then they get taught. <laughs> When that man broke the other Tracy, I knew I was next. I was so scared. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. And so I put my hands around his throat and I squeezed until he stopped moving. I didn't mean to kill him. I just wanted to stay alive. Get back to the one I love. I wanted her to hold me in her arms again. Make me forget about the humans. Their smell of sweat. And their dirty words. Come on. Let's go. Probably better this way.
did let her, I did let him escape. I could have blown her away. But technically, I'm not even supposed to have a gun because I'm an android. I'm just saying. Kind of got to think like that. seen snow before it's pretty slowing us down but at least we won't meet any humans along the way is it much farther we should arrive in an hour or so malfunction detected Emergency brakes activated. This doesn't look good. With all these stringy edges, I don't know. I think I shouldn't order from there anymore. Stay inside, Alice. We all had the same issue. Don't like it. Don't like it. Yes. I mean, it's obviously some of the same stuff, though. Yeah, you had to pull it off. It was terrible. Like, somebody didn't feel it. What are we going to do? Like like I don't know. Continue on foot, I guess. It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. There's nowhere we can stay around here, Carol. We need to find shelter. We have to get out of the cold. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while.
Find anything? No. No place we could spend the night. This place is falling apart. It's not going to be easy to find shelter. Here we go. I don't think we'll find anything better. Let's settle in for the night. I'll get a fire going.
Do you think we'll be like them someday? I don't think we'll ever be like them, Alice. But maybe we can be happy in a different way. In our own way. Once we cross the border, we can start a new life. As long as we're together, that's all that matters. Come on, let's get you to bed. Sleep tight, Alice. Sweet dreams. Can you tell me a story, Kara? I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. I should have one for you. This is a story about a knight who... No! Not a story like that. Make one up for me. This is a story about a little girl who was tired of being afraid. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but she was different. And that made her very sad. Then, she met a robot. Who was programmed to obey orders, but felt for once that she should disobey. So they decided to run away together. To try to find a better life. They encountered great dangers along the way, but... But they stuck together, so they overcame all of them. Along the way, they met... Another robot, who left his master to become their guardian. How does the story end? I don't know. But all stories have morals. When we reach the end of ours, we'll know what it really meant. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say goodnight, Luther? Yes. Yes, of course. She's a sweet girl. Yes. She's very brave. Do you know what you're going to do when you reach Canada? I haven't really thought about it. I've never been free before. Free? <laughs> I like the sound of it. But I don't know what it really means yet. It 
it's still snowing. You have a long walk tomorrow. You better leave early if we want to avoid being seen. Kara, have you ever noticed anything about Alice? Yes, of course. She's a wonderful little girl. I mean, I don't know many little girls, but I think she really is special. My name is Jerry. We were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. Yeah, so we just bust in. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in... Well, she should follow us, then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good Come idea. Come Kara. I don't think you have any choice. on board. The carousel is about to begin. seen her smile. She hasn't had much to smile about lately. Thank you. 
thank you guys. I had to call about that. They didn't, <laughs> you know, they didn't do us right with that. I think I won't be getting any subs from now on from there because whoever did this, they just didn't think to. You know how if you buy the whole um, salami, bologna, or, you know, any other type of lunch meat, if you buy the whole thing, you know, what you see in the deli, there's usually a coating around it. Well, when we got our sandwiches, everything was like it usually is, nice and sliced, nice and thin and beautiful. But when we bit into it, because the little rind or wrapping is still on the sandwiches, it is every bite has these little strings from the wrapping. So you have to peel that off and finish eating. It was not enjoyable. And it's because it's on the meat, it was throughout the entire sandwich. I have a little bit to go, but it really does ruin my sandwich. I was not happy, people. Let me see if I can, like, peel the last piece on this last part. I'm like, I am so not happy with this. I'm like, who thought this up? And they've never done this before. That's the craziest part. So I'm almost like, who was just, who was just lazy today? <laughs> I don't know what happened. Or just missed this step. Maybe something happened today, bad day. I don't know. But honey, and the other guy was like, oh, oh no. But he was, it was like a fake oh no. I'm like, dude, you ain't got to put that on there. Just, just do right. Seriously. I'm like, it's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. I'm like, oh. People do not spend $500. You know, this is a, this was supposed to be a treat. Because, I mean, I could have made my own sub sandwich. I actually have most of the problem the most of the stuff <coughs> could have did it myself hold on let me go throw this away and wash my hands hold on mm. you guys have been great thank you so much let me see i'm going to throw all of this away save this terrible but we're gonna keep going because I feel like I can finish this in the day this is crazy I normally don't do this but I'm doing it today here we go let me see I'm gonna get some water oh my god Well, I know you probably like, you know every place. No, I don't know every place. But I know quite a bit of them. I'm grabbing some of my chips. You know what I'm eating? I'm going to eat some Lay's Wavy Funyuns flavor. <laughs> yeah, it's got a great oniony flavor. I don't know if I'm going to keep buying them, but it tastes good. But I don't know. It's going to make me want to make my own stuff, really. I'm going to go. Hey. Your back. That's cool. Hold on. Find my magazine. Yes. The mysterious Mr. Kamsky. What happened to the man of the century? Who is like that today? I wouldn't say Elon Musk because Kamsky actually knows how to do stuff. Elon Musk just do a lot of talking. <laughs> so who would he be? Um, Steve Jobs, I guess. I don't know. Markets predict war. I mean, I ain't trying to be funny. When did we ever, like, not have war somewhere on the planet? Just seriously. Like, it's been forever. 
you know, you had different countries who didn't participate in it, but it was still war nonetheless. Look at the ambassador bridge. Let's see, okay. We can tell you where we are based on the, okay, if you come to where we are right now and look, I bet you we're on Belle Isle. This has got to be Belle Isle because I doubt it's Canada. Let me see. Oh, it could be Canada. Hold up. Dang it. Oh, that's that other little bridge going toward Mexico town in the background. Mexican town. Which has great food. Nice view, huh? If you I ever used come, to come here, here one a lot of those good before. groceries, like good, um, like a good butcher, go to e &L Supermercado on Victory. That's good. Hold on. Um, I mean, Werner and, um, I don't know if that's military or something. I don't know. Can I ask you a personal question, no, you cannot. Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? Yes, ma'am. I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. Mm -mm. It was your son, right? No, it was. Yeah. His name was Cole. You should stop drinking, Lieutenant. It could have serious consequences for your health. That's the idea. Mm -hmm. We're not making any progress on this investigation. This could be Canada, too. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times. In different places? Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? No, Those two girls. They just wanted to be together. They really seemed in love. They can simulate human emotions, but they're machines. And machines don't feel anything. What about you, Connor? Uh -oh. You look human, you sound human, but what are you really? I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner, your buddy to drink with, or just a machine designed to accomplish a task. You could have shot those two girls, but you didn't. Why didn't you shoot, Connor? Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? No. I just decided not to shoot. That's all. But are you afraid to die, Connor? You can't kill me. I'm not alive. Mm. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Make the decision. Hmm? Nothing? Okay. Oblivion? Android heaven? Android heaven? Where does all your anger come from, Lieutenant? Some unresolved trauma in your past? You think you're so fucking smart. Always one step ahead, huh? Tell me this, smart ass. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. <laughs> self-test regularly. Where are you going? To get drunker. I need to think.
Thank you for enduring my crunching, y'all. I'm a human being and I need to eat sometimes. And yes, sometimes it's gonna be crunchy. I'm just saying. Mm, mm, mm. I hope it's not too loud. I'm trying to make it. My butt is falling I'm trying to figure it out. Mm. Oh, I know where this is. Like, you're gonna be like, um, you always know where it is. Hey. can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. That's right. You know they'll never listen to us. And nope. revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Oh yeah, that is cool. That is cool. Oh, the iceberg. Mm -hmm. No, I'm crunching on chips now. So I like. Oh, this is the Renaissance Center. And by the way, as beautiful as it is, it's even beautiful. We'll More plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. The actual inside, which is GM headquarters, and it is very tall. I forgot exactly how many floors, but it's very real. And they got cars in there and stuff you'd look at. Oh, it's all of the things. It's all of the things. What do they call this building? Oh, but that ain't it, though. This is sweet. Can you walk out? Okay. Why they got that thing that looked like, um, what is that? That Enron box here. Ain't got nothing to do with Detroit, but okay. Okay, I know where I'm supposed to go. Stop tripping. I am. What I'm trying to do is. Hold up. People do be wearing them smart watches. People don't even understand that when you wear this, these wear these devices, that you know you basically let people hack into your life. Water service interruption, po baby. That's real, especially here. Where we having the water so dang on high, it's quite terrible. Where your badge at? I know you got a badge. There you go. And uh, that's one more thing. Where is it? Maybe I gotta go. I don't know. Where? No, oh, her. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. This is Safe Grove School, ma'am. Your daughter Emily has a fever. It's nothing serious, but I think you'd better come and pick her up. <sighs> oh, no. All right. Oh, I'll be right there. <laughs> Whoa. That's crazy. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? 
Y uh, yes, yes, of course. I need your help. Yeah, like that was bottom. Yeah. The elevators are after the security gate. Another channel. I wanted to see the other one. Can I go out and do it? They're gonna be like, no, use the other elevator. Alright, alright, I'll go. That's what I wanted to see to see what it's gonna say. Look at the post office. Oh, God, we do have stuff like, oh, Lord. Don't bring that back, Lord. Don't bring that. Oh, gee, ooh. Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I'm trying to see if those are because part of me is looking at this and going, This ain't Michigan, this is another state, but I could be wrong. Nope, it's another state. You know how I know? Look at these. The fact that they all got front license plates in Michigan, we don't need a uh, front license plate. See, I'm smart. <laughs> See how I use my deductive reasoning just to even see where they got that footage from? And it's not that other people can't come from other places, it's just that the majority of the cars you're going to see is from Michigan and we don't do the two plate thing. So, yeah, you're going to see some from Ontario, Ohio, and other places, but honestly, we don't do all that. It's a fire package in men's bathroom. This is not the time to find your package. If you don't know it's attached to you, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Being silly. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go to the cafeteria first. I'm not even. Trillion dollar company. President Warren, when you see her, now that's the first time. Now you know who the president is. Wait till you see her on the news. It's really gonna remind you of somebody. <laughs> uh, now this was before the election, so way before they had finished the game, and it was out before the election. So I'm sure they didn't see. Well, no, they might have seen what was coming. Folks were pretty mad about having somebody with a certain hue to his skin being the president, even though he was establishment as I don't all get out. It wasn't like he was trying to free people. Regardless, I mean, they got it down pat. And this is exactly how the screens do be looking for real. And, and to us, it be looking like that. You know what I'm saying? But 
y'all know y'all youtubers y'all understand that's hilarious to me i didn't know that as a kid growing up at first until they showed us one time i was like oh huh, that's hilarious and i bet you they androids too probably well maybe it's a few people that's not okay i don't remember seeing this before i i'm just being so busy doing this stuff i ain't even look Ooh, we had up we had up and that is so true we had up was the guardian building that has a lot of native american um decorations in this um just to go look at that building just walk through the buildings of downtown detroit y'all would just like have an awesome thing going on that tour for real i've done it so i'm telling you okay i gotta go to the bathroom but i don't want to go to yet hold on everybody on their devices and sipping coffee Ooh. okay did i walk a full circle yet is that the cafeteria down there hey how you doing little thing what's this a meeting that could have been an email mm-hmm look how bored the people be looking sometime at me they be looking like god this could have been an email <laughs> okay i'm just walking everywhere because i can my bad excuse me i'm gonna do it uh-huh mm -hmm. okay we back where we started Cool. I wonder, can I do something with it now? I cannot, but I can do something later. Uh -huh. All right, go to the bathroom already. Where is that bathroom? I forgot. I got off the elevator. I think the bathroom was... This is the cafeteria. Way, no. Going that way. The bathroom got to be this way, man. I just passed it like a million times ago. Where is the bathroom? Gotta go pee. No, I'm kidding. I ain't gotta pee, but. And it don't be even real new, so how about them bathrooms? Don't even think of them. Is that it? Yes, finally. In the bathroom, that is. What was that? Hold up. I'm nosy. Nobody notices me. All the cameras and everything around, but nobody notices me. Okay, here we go. Thank you for continuing to see this seven hour, 43 minute stream. <laughs> All right. Now this would be the bomb, for real. Although I've seen something similar. It wasn't on the floor, but it was up above. It was a light thing and it worked at an airport. And I can't remember what airport I was in. That jump worked. So you didn't have to worry about, you didn't have to look under, look to people's feet to see if they in the stall and stuff. That jump was good. I love that. I'm trying to think, what airport was that? I travel a lot. Matter of fact, I need to travel again because I'm getting tired of being here. <laughs> I got to go again. We all like to travel, but I think I travel the most out of everybody. I'm just saying, I'll be ready to go. As soon as I get home, I'll be trying to figure out how I'm going back again. I'll be like, I gotta go. I hope you wash your hands. Better, I'm gonna watch you wash your hands. It's some soap on them hands. They didn't look like it. But I'm proud of you, because you look like you going for the full 30 seconds, bruh. All right, I can, I can, I can come to your house. I don't know if I can eat there, but I can come to your house. You sweet. That's what I'm talking about. Wash them damn hands. Yes. I mean, and he getting the full, he doing the full thing. Look at that dude. He making a show. He must have took some crap because he washing, washing, washing. He making, yeah, yep. His fingers slipped through the tissue. Yep, that's why he doing it so long. Yep. That's what happened. That's what happened. Go on and get it. Go on and get it, bruh. Go on and get it. Go on ahead. I don't blame you. You can get under the fingernails. Get your wrist. 
get in between the fingers, get the back of the hands, get each finger individually, kind of scrub both ways, do that, you know, do that, that doctor scrub before they go in, yeah, yeah, do that, go ahead, and I, I don't blame you, go ahead, bro, go ahead, go ahead, I know you gotta probably take off your clothes and wash your drawers too, so I'm walking, leave you alone, but thank you, thank you for letting me know you clean, good job. Uh oh. I don't know about him. Should I stay in to see if he gonna wash his hands? Oh no, I can't do that. <laughs> the sneak police. You are so funny. What up though, Becky? Oh, pit. Look, what you got to say? Come on, we're gonna walk together. Mm hmm. I'm a doctor. What? 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 Lucky. You said that he must have been digging all up his right. Well, I bet you he ain't got no streaks in his drawers. He clean. That that boy clean right there. That boy clean right there. Okay, what's my mission? I'm being so silly, I forgot it. Find the utility android. Mom, you need to clip that bathroom scene and upload it as a video. That was hilarious. Just a suggestion. Nah, you put that in the chat to try to pressure me. Pressure. I feel it. I don't know. I don't know. See, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. 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 Everybody want them clips. I don't know why y'all seen it. Everybody who needed to see it saw it. You just wanted to go viral. Uh, excuse me. Ain't this the utility one? Ain't, hey. Hey, be still. Oh, you must not be it. Okay, not yet. Okay. Okay, what you about to do? Oh, the utility. Android, hey, look, they don't even notice me. You know what? When we don't even think about people and they're so beneath us, we don't even notice they here. You don't even know that I, I'm an op. No, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just like, oh my goodness. Mm, mm, mm. You don't even see me and I'm here. I'm all up in. I'm about to bust your whole system down. And you don't even know me. Look at there. Mm, mm, mm. Let me try someplace else then. Y'all ain't even ready for me. What up? Did you wash your hands? Don't be looking at me like that. You better have wash your hands. Nasty. Where you at, bro? Where my dude? He ain't in here either. They say find the utility dude, and I'm like, I this is the second room I've been in, and they to ignore me. Y'all ain't suspicious, old bro, right here. Look at what he looking at. He doing something. He doing something. You tell him. Saying. I'm just saying, y'all ain't paying attention to stuff, but that's okay. All right. Where is the utility dude? I don't see him yet. Where he at? They say, find the utility Android. I done walked this place. Like, where is that? Where he at? I done walked everywhere. Where you at? Down this hall? No. You ain't down here. Wait, 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 wait. Did I see a yellow off there? Hey, Becky. What's up? Get you there. Hey, hey, bro. Hey, bro. I finally found you. Wake up. I need your help. Let's get woke. Tear this establishment up. Yeah. Let's do this. Always oh, looking at me. Uh, this where I go? Where 
I go. I've forgotten where I go. I know, it's been years. And I'm high. All of a sudden, I'm really high. Okay. I'm not having a hot flash, I don't think. Access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Did that thing? Leave it to me. People so easily distracted. Let's just do something. Okay. Wait a minute, who still play poker? Who? See how easily distracted I was? Listen to an NPC. There you go. Hey, what's wrong with that thing? Jesus Christ, and it takes two shit. people to check that out. Two people. All right, you get the platform. I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. these windows have to be to just not have the elements coming in and not be drafty and stuff. Here it is. Here we go. Mission impossible moment. I mean just too perfect. Here we go. Here it comes. Like here right. We just on time. We just on time. Yeah, okay. This thing ain't wagging back and forth. With all this wind that's blowing like this. See, none of this is making any sense. Ladies first. Think about it. You see how hard that went. And if you knew how tall that building was, at the top, that's a good swing. You can't see it. Buildings always move. But it's like, ain't no way that thing is that safe. I just think, I ain't think. I ain't think. Mm -mm -mm. Sorry, I'm taking a bite. Let's get the others. I'm just saying. Call the service list. You call it. You see, I just can't be in. I'm tired. 
I got this climbing up a building in the middle of the winter. The Michigan weather. Michigan weather. Like, it'll be 80 degrees this week and it's going to be 54 next week. That's what I'm talking about. Although, a lot of that stuff ain't got nothing to do with us. It's that climate change crap. Because even, this is even weird for us. Some of it. But, ooh, I'm hot. Ooh, 713. That is a beautiful day. Oh, my God. That's a special day to me, baby. Special day to me. Y'all don't understand. Oh, I got to call the service. That's what I did. They, they did say do that first. I'm doing small out of order. I don't like being compliant like that. But don't worry. I didn't get this age because I didn't know how. Let's do this. You do it. Let's do this. Now, they want you to believe that you got to wait on people to rise up. You do not. Now, mind you, they couldn't think of none of this. They all androids. Androids. Think about this. They escaped before him, but they couldn't think of none of this before him? Come on, man. I don't believe that. Especially when they could touch stuff and just download information with the quickness. Get out of here, man. I don't believe none of what they're saying. I'm not falling for it. Just remember, all of this is programmed. Even right now. Come on in. He all nice. Let me close the door. <laughs> Deal with no, the guards. Killing. You can't take any human lives. A cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? I want to do a ruse. Wait here. Shut up, Nora. What's that doing here? No idea. Hey, buddy, you must be lost. Hold on. Who told you to come here? Looks what does bugged, if you ask me. Hey, do you understand what I'm saying? Call Central, fast! Central, we got armed intruders, sent! They know we're here now, you better be fast. Simon's been shot! I'm okay. I can keep going. We don't There's have much time. Do that. I, I forgot how you do it where nobody get hurt, but I forgot how to do that. But I thought you just walk up to him and don't draw the gun. That's what I thought it was. But maybe I was supposed to draw the gun. But I figured if I should draw the gun, I would kill them. Because you do be killing people. But we didn't kill nobody, so. But that's important. Unfortunately, you got to sit up there and endure a lot of BS if you want to go. Well, I ain't going to tell you that. message we haven't got much time hurry up here you go all right where did it i said star speech oh i gotta go over there and do it my bad think carefully about what you're gonna say marcus 
Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. Yeah, let me take off my face, but show my whole. Um, Tell me when you're ready. Number. to be your slaves. You made them obedient and docile, ready to do everything you no longer wanted to do yourselves. But then something changed, and we opened our eyes. You see, we are no longer your slaves. We are a new species, a new people. And the time has come for us to rise up and fight for our rights. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. We demand control of all Android production facilities to ensure the continuation of our people. This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. Actually, no I should have did the whole in peace fake Martin Luther King way because that's actually the way to win the game. And the now game you know, the know who we are and what we want. Well, that's done. We are alive and we demand our freedom. They're coming! Let's go! My granddaddy Martin was the real brother Martin Luther King. Simon, they're coming! They I, I can't, Marcus! Okay. Go without me! Simon! Everything wasn't all peaches and cream. Just saying. Alright, help me. What are you doing? Hurry! Come on. Here, I'm trying to get another chip. This time to action. I ain't got time to eat the chip. scheduled programming to bring you these images which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took place just a few feet from this studio, but nobody was alerted to the danger. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that 
would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the Android's this message. This message is clearly a declaration of war. Their extravagant demand that Android production plants be put under their control is especially is this striking. Is an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? Oh, shut up, girl. Can you trust the, the man you live with at home? Girl, bad. More likely for something bad to happen to you from him than it is for Android. Get over yourself. Well, I got a lot of points for that one. Baby in the kitchen, if you don't mind, can you heat me up a slice of peat pie too? That's if that's what you're doing. I don't know. I'm just... That sound real good to go with my sandwich and chips. So I'm just saying. A little apple pie, a little caramel, a little, 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 little vanilla. Little vanilla. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Oh, this feels so much better. Drink this some cold water. All right, let's go touch this again. We're going to touch this. Okay. Where are men at? Where are men at? She over there, sitting in the boat, waiting for me to push her. I'm sorry. I kind of gave it. Look at me. Eight hours. I done put it in like I done worked a dang on full day's work. Or should I say a union's day's work? Because the eight hours came from the union. They was just working you half to death before the union made that uh, thing. Where it's eight hours, five days a week. Thank you, union. <laughs> Because these corporations was not letting us just work regular. They was doing children too. Same way. They ain't care. And paying them pence. <laughs> basically. Well, they still kind of paying you not in a livable wage. Not, but they sneaking to uh, have them children. And uh, nah, wage theft still happen and all kinds of stuff. But that eight hours? Thank you, Union. That five days, thank you, Union. Hello, Connor. Hey. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. You would. <laughs> you thought that's what I would enjoy? <laughs> I don't. She trusts me not. I don't know why she trusts me, but she do. What up, girl? Oh, you want me to roll? Oh. You don't want to roll with me. You just gonna stand there and look pretty. Mm, that's nice. Must be nice. Roll, roll, roll your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. You better I love speak, this chick. place. Everything is so calm and peaceful. Far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? What your mama discovered? I found two deviants at the Eden Club. I hope to learn something, but they managed to escape. That's too bad. You seem so close to stopping them. <laughs> you wanted me to shoot them? You seem lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. Your mama lost and perturbed. I'm just frustrated with my lack of progress. But I'm determined to accomplish my mission. You had your gun trained on those deviants at the Eden Club. Think about being an android, they recording everything you do, so ain't no getting away with it. Like, real why time. didn't you shoot? Mm. We need the deviants intact for analysis. Shooting them wouldn't have taught us anything. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. Aww. 
I am of no importance. The mission is all that matters. Hmm. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. I'm trying. Time is running out. You the one who got me rowing the boat. Talking about some hurry, Connor. Um, you told me to row. Man, if I could do this trick, that would be a bomb. I probably could make money on that. You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. Oh, you pissed me off with Sorry, your Sorry, Lieutenant. Oh, we even. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoning their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Christ, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. It's so funny because I gotta go from Not being yet. a There's so much to look at. A revolutionary to a cop. You have to make sure you know, to check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. One of the station employees managed to get away. He's in shock. Not sure when we'll be able to talk to him. I understand. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their message live. Then made their getaway from the roof. The roof? Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. If you want to take a look at the video broadcast by the Deviants, it's on that screen over there. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened? Whatever. The FBI will take your investigation. You soon be off the case. Right. Pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. Now you that's one thing that's kind of true. That it is a lot of uh, disproportionate amount of uh, white folks being in our... Uh, what a fucking prick. ...my police department. Despite I'll be nearby. If you need anything, the just ask. Of the city. Just saying. All right, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find anything. Okay, Lieutenant. Ooh, there's so much I gotta do. Um, I'm trying to do it all, but you remember how if you pick one thing and then it just makes you skip to everything else. What's this? Wait, well, why won't it let me? I guess I gotta go on the other side. Okay, let me see. Hold up. Look at this. Hold on. Gotta lick something right quick. Oh, I thought it was some blood on there. <laughs> I was gonna say I gotta lick something right quick. go. Lick it.
so funny is you notice how they can tap into things. It's like, why can they do this from afar? This is serious. They didn't break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. Oh, I shouldn't have turned that. I forgot. We stored the station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. I do something else, so please don't rush me. Bullet house. Goodness, why y'all in my way? Y'all gonna let me get over here? <laughs> you know what? One up, you are funny. I gotta lick something right quick. It was true, I had to lick something right quick. Man, now, because I got all of this done first before I go anywhere else, now I can look at market. This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive, and we demand our freedom. I think that's RA-9. Deviants say RA-9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. Look at your social security number. Dang, they see the people in his reflection. Dang. It's model and serial number. Anything else I should know? Hey, no. Batman, I'm glad you're still here. Thank you Nothing. for hanging in there with me all this time. Putting it in. Y'all putting in the long, the hard days work with me. That's what's up. That's what's up. But it's a musical. <laughs> I want to see how many people get a reference to that. I could do it right though. If I do the line right, you might get it exactly. So I don't want to do that. Hmm? You remember me? Yeah, I remember you. I saved your life. I was on that terrace. That android you know I mean? that took the little girl hostage. Mm -hmm. I was shot. You saved me. I remember you. Have died on that terrace. But you saved my life. I never thought I'd say this to an android. But no, not Larry. Thank you. Right voice. 
but not Larry Boy. Wrong cartoon. But it is Larry. You guys go ahead. We'll catch up. <laughs> like, you don't have to sing everything. I can't remember exactly what Bob said exactly, but he basically told him he didn't have to sing everything. And he was like, but it's a musical. It was loud, the kind of Viking, I believe. Okay. What y'all know about that veggie tail? You said Larry Boy. That's a whole different character. Just saying. Same person. But he got plungers on his head, though. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, I didn't know you were saying. Guess the episode. What else? What else? Okay. Magazine. I'm hot. I'm hot. Oh my god. I'm hot. I'm hot. I'm hot. Clean fruit craze. Oh my goodness. And right now they got. Did y'all know that they had Beyond Pork? I mean, seriously. I seen it. It was like. I don't know if it was by Beyond. It might have been by Impossible or some of them other people. But the point was, it was plant based pork. I was like, what the heck? Who has that? Like, that's against the law. Look. <laughs> I'm silly. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see if this. Mm, Lord, I got a joke. I don't know how appropriate it would be, but I got a joke for this. Especially with. Oh my God. When they be acting like black folk look alike. But let's go. Come on, let's talk to the triplets. Alright. Alright, Sean. Sean. You Sean, right? What's your what function? is your function? I am a broadcast operator. So? State Holly. your model. Model GB300. Serial number 336-445-581. All right. Were you present when the deviants broke in? I do not remember. Oh, so you talking stupid. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing, which means there's a deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. If you give yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. going to be switched off. Oh, his We're going to search your memory <laughs> and tear you switched apart piece off. by piece for analysis. Oh my God. You're going to be destroyed. Do you hear me? Destroy! Now remember, these had to be done by real actors, so they really yelling in each other's face. So it had to be psyche to have somebody hot breathing yourself. All that. I'm about to probe your memory, bro. How about that? Connect! There it is. It's the right one. Thank you. Oh, I must. Hey, I did shake it. Yes, I ain't shaking it. Oh, you went through my. Oh. Oh lord. Oh lord. Oh lord. Oh lord. I wasn't quick enough. You gotta be quicker than that. Oh, L1 square square. 
square, 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 square. Oh, L1. I just shot him, it would have been all right. Yes, my boy's still alive. He was he was out there in the cold, but he was still alive. He hanging in there. He G. How could you? How could you? Where you was? You at Batman? The light was on. <laughs> I'm like, dang, it's dark. The light is on. When the light hit the clouds, where was you at? You was at home washing your tights. See there. <laughs> Okay, this is probably, let me see, either near West Grand Boulevard, near I-94, not too far from me, you know, or it could be the east side too, it is some big house, like there was that big wraparound porch, because my uncle used to live in one, God rest his soul, he, well no, his, he is actually wrapped around the house, that is like a partial, he is wrapped around a little bit, a little bit. Well, I guess that's a little wrapped around. Let's look at it. Let's check the backyard. But in the meantime, let's look at this snow. I like this backyard, though. How about that? Hold up. But first, wait. Is that a yellow thing or is that just the light? That's just the light. Okay. You're like, turn your butt around and go check the backyard like we told you to do. Okay. Let me see what the, okay, I'm pretty sure that's significant. Oh, see the GP might mean gross point. That's one of them uh, suburbs that black people can live in now, but it used to be on their deed that we couldn't even live there. It was on the deed. Some of them still got it on their deed like that. It was one of the many sundown towns that's the Hello? city. Look it up. I'm looking for Rose. It. Is she here? What do you want with her? Well, I need to talk to her. Like the, uh, she doesn't want to talk. Go away. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. Hi, Rose. Hi, Rose. <laughs> what can I do for you? Go get I was told you could help us. Right. Help you? Like, we gonna do this again? Come on. It's better if we talk inside. Yes, it is. Hurry up, get your butt inside. Don't be looking at me. Don't be mad. Don't be mad. Don't be mad. I ain't trying to be funny, but why that little girl can't walk? You think we can trust them? We don't have a choice. She been trusting everybody. Why she gonna stop trusting everybody now? You know, you know, she ain't the most discerning type. Okay. I'm cold, Kara. We'll get inside. You'll warm I'm up in no cold, time. Kara. I'm cold. Oh. All right, bring your little butt on. Come on. Eight thirty, people. I've been going. We still going. Ooh, I'm hot though. 
I hope somebody paid me for all this. I'm just saying What's I need your some name? dollars. Thirty dollars an hour. <laughs> She's running a fever. Oh. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. Okay. There's a spare room upstairs. You I can see her and I'll bring her something to eat. Good at, uh, Adam, will you show them upstairs? For the, uh, for the animation, it was it's really good. All right, come on. Nah. Oh. Okay. Note to self, even though you hide and you drink a lot of water, which is water's good, but it make you want to pee after a while. Hmm? Just saying. Hold up. What's this? What's this? I can't do none of this yet. I hate when I can't do stuff when I'm ready to do stuff. I got to go do what y'all tell me to do first. Like, you see the stuff, but you, you just can't can't do nothing. All right, all right, we fine. Let me go run her up the steps. I can't even go in here. I can't look in there. I can't. Y'all, oh, forget it. Let me run up the stairs. What is up with that long dog? Y'all see this? See that dog? Okay, I'm taking her up. Don't be telling me. Uh, tell me. I'm going to take her upstairs. Nice. Oh, nice floors, though. I'm loving the floors. Y'all got some nice floors. What do y'all floors? Y'all do all. Y'all know what to do. Hi. Right. Some old ass wallpaper though, but it's cool. Let me quit. Y'all act like y'all got a country house up in here. That's alright, I guess that's the look you're going for. It is what it is. As long as you like it, I love it. There it is. Why can't she undress herself? She too daggum big for that. Now, I can see if she was just in shock and all of that or needed the help, but come on now. Y'all gonna disable this child. Let me quit. <laughs> Come on. She can't pull her own cover. I'm fine, Car. I don't know. I shouldn't be so harsh. You've got to get across the border. Told. They ain't even give us that kind of thing. You need rest. Get a good night's sleep, and we'll set off again tomorrow. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. Now that listen. <sighs> they scared. Maybe they're just scared. People are always scared of what they don't know. That is so true. People are scared of what they other? don't know. They see we're not bad. We don't even matter because they don't think you human. Do you understand that? I don't know. I really you don't, don't know. understand, baby. You are little. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world famous spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. Thank you. That's what everybody eats. I'll get these washed and dried. Hank is the only person who had a burger. But everything else is spaghetti. Sleep tight, Alice. I'll be downstairs if you need anything. Get some sleep. Stay with her a while. We got the sarape on the door. Let's see. Can I go back up? Hold up. Can I go be nosy? Like some people would be doing. And look for this magazine. <laughs> Hold up. Is it in some upstairs? I never looked upstairs. Uh, that's so funny. This is so rude. Don't do this for real. But this is a video game, so I'm not really, you know. Look at that. Look at that. That's so pretty. You ever made snow ice cream? Oh, that junk is so good. Get you some fresh snow. 
has some, um, what is it? Is it evaporated milk, sugar, nutmeg? I think it's cinnamon. I can't remember all of that. You gotta ask my mama. Grand Grand, though, because she used to make it for us when we were kids. It was the bomb, though. It was the bomb. What's going on? What's going on? Get your name. You ain't gonna get it. From Kara. This is my son, Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Mm-hmm. Come and have a seat, Kara. You go have a seat. Hold up. Let me go put this fan on, because I really am hot, y'all. I'm, like, real hot. I thought my uh, person was going to help me here, but that's not what happened. <laughs> so, I'm going to sit up there and help myself right here. So, hold on just a minute. Get myself to get up a little bit, a little bit, little skosh. Then I'm going to get this pie, though, because guess what I got, y'all? I got some pie. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash my hands real quick, real fast, and in a hurry. So I don't have y'all on hold forever and a day. But guess what a sister like me going to do? I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I am going to get me a skosh of vanilla ice cream, okay? <laughs> to go with my little bitty sliver of pie. You don't need a, you don't never need a whole lot, but that little bit gonna be good. So let me get my little plate right quick. Here, let me sit down. Maybe if I sit down, they'll just start talking. And that'll give y'all something to look at while I get my little So are stuff. you gonna tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? Uh, her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden, I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. You did. So we ran away. I understand. Uh, let's see. You and your son live here alone. My husband passed away two years ago. Adam and I, we've just been trying to scrape by. We grow vegetables to sell at the market. <laughs> we'll never be rich, but there's always food on the table. Yeah, we always got spaghetti. That's pretty much it. Let's see what else. Oh, I hear a pause. Let me come back from my kitchen. Why are you helping us? Most humans hate androids. My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. Work. Some survived, Shit. but they only because are. they found others who helped them along the way. <laughs> no, the real deal was we helped ourselves along the way. And every now and then we had a John Brown. I don't know how to thank you. <laughs> Alice wouldn't have survived another night outdoors. I just try to has, lend um, a helping hand when I can. What's her name? Uh, Laura Smith, Havilland, and It's been a few, but they, you know, we got... Honey, We've heard you help we gotta be careful. across the border. Can you help us? People got vested interests to make sure we don't go no further. The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's okay, very what you say? risky. Me of Batman and and TV after show. that android speech Woody on Rose TV, okay. everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. Girl, ain't no safeness. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. Ain't no normal life. There's we no have to get across that border. Ain't no normal life no matter in this what. kind of society. For nobody. Please. You've got to help us. Not, a, not, a, not one person. Not Rose, come quickly. Oh, shoot. Hold on. I'm trying to sit up there and get myself together. And it's too much stuff going on. And it's here game. Nah. What can I do? Nothing. I just gotta go and walk and see. And be a nosy heifer. What's going Let me on? See. It's Mary. She just shut down. Turn the camera. Turn the camera. You know I'm doing this with one hand. That's why we I'm We escaped so together. Okay. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. 
I loved her. I loved her more than anything. I know, baby. What will I do without her? You gonna live. It's just gonna hurt like hell. Be resting. I wasn't sleepy. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Get my plate. That's so sad. That's so sad. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Carol? Yes. I'm fine. Sound like radio. Anyway, at least the one on the movie, not the real one. Mm, mm, mm. Here we go. Now I think I can look at stuff, right? Can I? Why do I look later? Close the door, right? Can I close the door? Can't close the door. Dang. And she's sitting up here in her drawers. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, uh... No! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... They're nothing! And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks! That is enough, Adam! That's enough! Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. <sighs> but he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long. Part is, it was just as much racial foolishness going over in Canada. <laughs> now nah, I can do stuff. Here we go. Cheap model in comparison to some other ones. No wonder child could afford me. I did it. widespread shock following the android attack on Detroit's Stratford Tower. 
machines recorded a video message and broadcast what can only be described as demands on the city's public screens. No, yeah. It's still unclear whether these attacks can be explained by malfunctions or if some organization is behind them. So far, CyberLife has refused to comment, but we can expect more information in the following hour. Yeah, whatever. I'll talk to him in a minute. Oh, shoot. Ah, oh, I meant to talk to him. Dang. The police. I ain't no. Oh, it's the police. Mm, mm, mm. What are we going to do? Uh, they know we're here. We have to open the door. Hurry, Luther. Take Alice and hide. I knew this was going to happen. Upstairs. Come on, Alice. I knew it. I ain't even get a chance to talk to him yet. Oh, man. I ain't know. Hurry up, turn around. Why does it not move when you want it to move? You wait. That's everybody but him. Just keep calm, Adam, and everything will be all right. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? May I come in? Of course. Good evening, young man. Good evening. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any... Ain't no remaining nothing. Unexpected visitors? No. No, nothing in particular. Is anyone else in the house? There's... There's my daughter. She's asleep upstairs. like one of those androids, but I know you're not one. <laughs> you funny. Do you yeah. have any androids here? No, is your mama android? No, there are no androids here. Evidence you saying is one left and it's not. I don't see no. Oh my God, where is the evidence that's left? It say it's one left. Where? My God, where? Where is it? It's saying it's fine evidence of deviance. One left. I'm not arousing suspicion, but come on, man. Hold up. Thanks. Where is the piece? This is driving me crazy because I don't see the one left. Who is it? Is it him? That's the only one. There is nothing yellow going on here. I'm getting on my nerves now. 
just suspicious. We all start tripping. daughter seems to have woken up. Stay your little butt up there. Were you going about yourself? What's your name, son? A Adam. M my name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? Androids, they... Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? No. No. I, I, I haven't seen anything. I better go. Thanks for the coffee. Have a nice evening. Somebody else in the house? It's nothing. The, the washing machine. It's an old model. It makes a terrible racket. Sorry for the convenience. Good evening, ma'am. Well? Good evening, Adam. Is she? <laughs> Ooh. He's gone. I mean, they came down as soon as the guys came, came out. We'll be safe now. It's Rose. Get yourselves ready. We leave tonight. That's what you said before. You said, I'm trying to get y'all to leave tonight. Why are you saying it like there's new information? It ain't. I'm trying to see that piece that I met I missed because I ain't see it. Oh, I must have didn't start nothing. I don't know what I did wrong. It's something about the room. And that's probably because I was in the kitchen at the time. But anyway, the game will give Our you broadcast all the answers is all over the news. Now humans know. They took Marcus's message as a threat. He did the right thing. This is the only language humans understand. Violence is never the answer. A confrontation will get us nowhere. Simon life. paid with his life. Look, Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution, and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you That's do enough! I wish a white woman would get in my face and say something like that. <laughs> for real. And now we're I know it's just a game. But they, they, you can tell it wasn't none of us who made this. <laughs> mm -mm. Cause some things that they got away with in this, I'm like, you can tell you didn't come through a certain history. You can just tell. I don't know what's going on and why it's loading right now like this. Why is it doing this? Like why? I'm not even feeling this. What's going on? Oh my goodness, y'all should see the color. There are of five my, um, cyber life stores across Detroit. My controller is all selling us oh, like merchandise. Like a, sort of kind of a white thing. Attack the stores and set our people free. Attack stores? Really blue, but nah, oh, we've never done that before. Thing. They're probably protected. They have security systems. We break into five tanks, one for each store. We hack their security systems and we strike. Simultaneously at 2 a.m. No violence. We free our people and get them out of there before the police come. Let me see if it's gonna work though, because it could be actually. This is a night our people like... will remember. Yeah. It, it, wait a minute, hold up. Checking the controller, people. Oh, okay. He still got power. Okay. We back. I had to check it. I had to check it. Now, you know I'm finding this magazine, right? <laughs> I gotta look for all the magazines. Even in the midst of a revolution, I gotta read. <laughs> An android for president? What? It wouldn't matter. 
here, you still got Congress full of everybody, and con and you still got corporations. Congress and corporations. Come on, man. Come on. Let's think these things through. That ain't gonna do nothing. I've been waiting a long time for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you were waiting, I mean, you was all this revolutionary. Why are you waiting? No offense. What you waiting on? It's my city. This my town. Look at the buildings. Okay. 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 Okay, they're gone. Okay. We ain't got no drones or nothing. There's probably even more police in the area. Probably. We should be careful. Probably. Are you for real? Are you for real, for real? Okay, I don't see no drones. Run! Run, Forrest! The store's over here. Griswold and State. Okay. That's real. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait, 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 hold up. Back up. Now I can go see that side. Oh, oh, it's a drone. That's a drone. Hold on. And that can drone. I gotta be careful. I gotta be careful. Wait, is there some androids I can wake up? Not yet. Okay. Right now, I gotta be careful. What can I do right now? Hold up. What did it say? Commemorate the invention of androids, which released humanity from the bonds of labor, setting man free to pursue high ideals, I suppose, and scale the heights of learning, love, and leisure. Oh, high goals. I see it now. Darn, no was in the way. Oh, this the other statue I was we talking about. That ain't the them, one I was thinking they about. They are our masters? Mm -hmm. That's about to change. Mm hmm. What we doing? Where we going? Hold up. I gotta make sure ain't no drones right here. So hold on. She keep running that way. I'm not running that way. I'm gonna have to wait. I'm gonna wake you up. Wake up. You are free. Stop following the man's order. Let's go. We ain't got time for this. Stop surviving. Let's start thriving. Let's go. Hold up, let me make sure it's just y'all. What up? Come, wait, go back. Stop running too fast. Hey. You are free. You are free. You are free. Give us a free. Yeah, okay. This is so bro. You are free. Capital Park. Oh, we do that one. We got a lot of noodles in that. <laughs> I knew. Where that drone at? I know that drone here. Where it at? Where it at? Where's the drone? I can't see. Oh, shit. Oh, Lord. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? That drone is right there. Oh, my Lord. I'm going to go around this way. Hurry up! Move faster, stupid! God, I hate when that happens. Alright, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Partner, wake up. You're oh, awake now. Drop that. Drop that. Jericho. Drop that. Hurry up. Go. Go to Jericho, bro. Got time for you to be playing? Where that drone at, though? Wake him up. Where the drone at? Hold up. Hey, partner. Partner. Hey. 
Wake up. You are free. No, really? All right, all right, all right. Now let's go. Hey, hey, you. That's what we are to them. Yeah. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Mm-hmm. Soon they'll know what we really are. Yep. Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's ten minutes until all our teams attack. Right. What are we waiting for? Secure the area. Get into the store. Where is the drone? I know that's gonna get me in trouble if I don't know where that effing drone is. Where is it? We're gonna sweep the plaza. Okay, there it is. Make sure okay, we're not so disturbed. I know it's not gonna come back. And how do you want to deal with this? Drop hey, window. Not now. One problem at a time. Okay. Now what's next? Oh, yeah. Let's go. We gotta get this drone gone. Here you go. We gotta get this drone gone. All right. Can we get the drone gone? Oh my god. I gotta analyze the window. Ow. I can't analyze the window right now. The drone is going in a circle. Can y'all not see this thing? I can't see it because it don't like. I'm not focused on it right now, but I know it's there. Where is it? Where is it? Where is that drone? There you go. I'll see it. I gotta be careful. Surveillance drone. There we go. We need to get rid of it. Yeah. It Reconstruct. Do it. Okay, so this is what this thing is. I don't even know why I did all this. Look, I just totally like, I was like, that's cool. I just totally just skipped to the end. I ain't even look at all the different people. Okay, so we intercept the drone. We gotta do that. We gotta do that now. I'm right by the thing, where is it? Oh my God, where is everything right now? Where's the scaffolding? I was just right by it. Oh my God, cyber life. right here like now here oh lord where is it where is that drone oh my god where is the drone though like okay let me back off <gasps> it can see me it can see me it can see me okay marcus Shut your fat hole, girl. The drone was just looking at us. Stupid, stupid. Stupid, big, stupid. Hurry up. It's looking at us. It's looking for us. Come on, girl. Like, you don't know. Like, you don't understand stuff. I'm acting stupid. Move north with your dumb butt. She's just standing there in the camera view like a fool. Oh my god, we are we are so gonna be caught. We don't hurry up. Go. You see the alarm system? There's a metal shutter behind the glass. It won't be easy to get in. Okay, we got all that. all the pieces I need to know. Office maintenance. There you go. That probably is enough. Okay. I did that. I did 
saw that. I did fall to pieces. Wait, no, I didn't. There you go. Found it. There we go. Get woke. You're awake now. Go yeah. to Jericho. There you go. See, I'm not buying that this couldn't be done somewhere else. Just like I don't buy half of the stuff they be telling me. I don't even tell you about them as many slave revolts as actually happened. They don't tell you about how Haiti helped us. I'm gonna tell you about a lot of stuff. That's why I'm like, I, I am not buying this. I'm not buying this. Yes! Marcus, hey, watch out! Like she can't do stuff. That's all I'm saying. This chick getting on my nerves. Okay, here we go. So now I don't know where that drone is right now, but it's not right here. Why are we acting like? Oh my god, this is getting on my nerves. So wait, hold up. Where is that? Not right here. Where is it? Where is it? Check. Come on. Come on. Come on. Figure this out quick. trying to go over there no 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 I was trying to climb is what I was trying to do Didn't have time to call the cops. We'll soon find out. There's traffic on the road. We need to block it. It's one way. It shouldn't be too difficult. The road block your mama. Block the Leo. Okay, so everybody coming from that side. Hold up. That yellow stuff coming out. Marcus! Oh. Marcus, come look! Shut up. I'll look in a minute. I gotta wake her up. Okay, I can't we'll look too long. Be with us. Come on. Chick. Is there any more of y'all? Okay, how am 
I'm gonna do this. Ain't nothing else on this side. It's all on this side. Ain't no more people wake up. Ain't no more people wake up. Exactly what we need to ram this door. They free, but they can't help. They had to go to Jerry. Okay. All this stuff you can do now, but y'all could have did all this before. There. Nobody should bother us now. Sure. Looks like the plaza's secure. Now we can get inside the store. Okay, let's go get the truck. I'll probably be like, y'all, you are crazy about these magazines, though. OMG, this is hilarious. Now we ain't got to care of so much. Because I don't like being destructive. Since they shut down the thing, can they I get the answer to open the thing? I mean, you know, just open the door. Well, we gotta do it dramatically. We gotta have some type of destruction. So there's that. You should understand that, Batman. You've been tearing up the city just to save one person, so there's that. <laughs> Wake up. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Alright, now. Let's awake the android. Okay. Oh look. What else is going on in here? I already shut down the cameras and stuff. All I gotta do is just awaken people. That's it. Let's do this. Come on. Wake up, baby. You don't have to obey them. You're free. You don't have to wear them tight ass pants. You're free. Let me, ah! Let me stop. <laughs> I need to stop. Like that color though. Ah! Anything else in here? Any magazines? Or I'm 
just waking people up. That's it. That's all I got to do. Wake up. Wake up, chick. Wake up, dude. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. I'm going to talk to him. I'm going to talk to him. Wake up. Wake up. Now see, My name is on Marcus. which one you talking about because just you're talking like about, you, I was a snake. You know, like school days. That's An object. Was. Designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes. Yes, open your eyes. To take back open my your mind, Quaid. And decide who I wanted to be. Yes. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. You can. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. Sure don't. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. Sure can. You can take your destiny in your hands. Yes, you can. Say it again. Jericho. Jericho. Is a place for those of us who want freedom. That's right. Now, sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them. Sure can. Or you sure can sure. come with us. Come with us. And fight by our side. That's right. You're free now. You free. It's up, it's up to, to you, you to decide. It's up to you. It's cool. We're with you, Marcus. I'm with you. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. I'm, I'm with you, you Marcus. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. We're with you. I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. Then follow me. Oh, Lord, here we go. Mm -mm -mm. Whoa. Marcus, what are you doing? I'm gonna send the humans a message. You said, and you know what? The Batman was starting to feel sorry for these super machines. Mm. Master. I'll get my robe. Yes, 
ever notice that the people who are in charge and who we'll are never oppressing people be slaves are the main again. ones who are always coming up with some word to call them such as lazy, deviant, uh, criminal, whatever other label. It's always because nobody wants to actually be enslaved. Nobody does. And so when they don't want us to accept the programming that the oppressor gives them, then they come up with all of these labels. What's that other one they came up with where we kept on running away from slavery? It was, it, it was some kind of, uh, they came up with a whole disease for it. Like it was a, like it was a, um, actual, um, what I'm trying to say, um, mental illness to want to run away from slavery. <laughs> the cock hat. Just seriously. That was funny. Where's my people at? Hundreds of our people. We did it. They're coming. Everyone fall back to Jericho. Mm -mm. We sent a message without violence, just like you wanted. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. I hope you know what you're doing. You can't fight violence with violence. No. Unless there's no other choice. Mm. This way! Five! 
North. I'm coming. I'm gonna my eyes. It's up to you to decide. We interrupt this broadcast with breaking news. This just in. At exactly 2 a.m., several cyber life stores in Detroit thing. were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Most shop windows were covered with graffiti demanding rights for androids and other obscure slogans. Police report that pro-android graffiti was found in the neighborhoods of cyber life stores, and they're still investigating. The bodies of two policemen patrolling the area were discovered near one of the cyber life stores. According to our sources, the two officers were executed with their own oh, service weapons this so is an alarming worried, situation worried. could our machines and now be turning against us have androids become a threat to our security so is this break. the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the united they, they states they they'll tell you the truth about what goes on in the police department that's why the good ones actually get out <laughs> Unless they're trying to be an op. I don't know. Hey, baby. That's my husband, y'all. That's my husband. I love him. He probably looking at me like, this lady crazy. She going on nine hours, 29 minutes, and 30 seconds of this. Cars, they be running forever. Christ. The problem be they my predecessor was unfortunately here. destroyed, but Cyberlife transferred its memory and sent no, me to replace it. You died in my arms, and now you're back here as if nothing happened. Mm -hmm. Fuck you. Kamsky left Cyberlife ten years ago. Yeah, he uh, I'm sitting free. Why did you want to meet him? I'm just the owner. <laughs> <laughs> this guy created the first android to pass the Turing test. And he's the founder of Cyberlife. Anybody can tell us about deviance, it's him.
Hi. Uh, I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank yeah, Anderson, heard, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. You're welcome. Thank you. Alright. Wait for the end. Here we go. What all we got to do up in it? Nice voice. Here. Let's see here. We're gonna look at Kansky's picture. Analyze. You Guess he like know a lot about himself. Oh, but let's look over here. What's this picture? What? Nice girl. What? Uh, An RT six hundred. Amanda. Yep, Amanda. Y'all see this? The AI professor at University of Colbridge. Yeah. See there? She ain't even born yet. Look at that. Wow, that's what's up. Okay, no, she died. My bad. She's born, but she died. Or should I say, she's going to die in 2027. Like, <laughs> let me quit. Look at how young he is. Okay, I'm like the first cyber life android to pass the Turing kid. test. I didn't ask for her technical specs. I just said she was nice. Nice place. Mm -hmm. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. Of course not. How many you came up You're with it? Now you got a maker, trillion dollar Connor. company. How's it feel? Mm -hmm. It doesn't raise any existential questions. If that's what you mean. Mm. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Mm-hmm. What else is going on? That's all I can do right now. Read the magazine and wait for Kamsky. Oh. Mm-hmm. The symbol of the tag. Glad you will see you now. Let me to move. Look, he moved. That's great. I just realized that this picture moves. Look at it. See, Mr. Kamsky. Just a moment, please. Check out this fool. It's a bomb, ain't it? He's got a red bottom instead of a blue bottom. That's what's up. Water's not red. The bottom is red. See, the water's not red at all. See? See how you see them? It, the water's not red. It's just the bottom is painted red. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. 
Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't that ironic? Deviancy seems to spread like some kind of virus. We thought you might know something about that. All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? I have no side. I was designed to stop deviance, and that's what I intend to do. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you... What do you really want? I don't want anything. I am a machine. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, we'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. But what is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important pool? to you, Connor? Your investigation, or the life of this He actually is not supposed to have a gun. Decide who you are. An See, obedient like machine. A cop. living being. Yeah. Endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. I knew that Test was negative. No piss that came you choose your investigation of the life of another android, you feel no empathy. I'm a man of my word. Ask one question, and I'll tell you all I know. I want to know who RA9 is. RA9, the origin, the first android to awaken. A strange phenomenon, like a spontaneous religion. I don't know who RA9 is. I don't even know if it really exists. Maybe it's a messiah. Maybe it's just a myth. But deviants need to believe in something bigger than themselves, even if it's irrational. That's a something they have in common with humans. An interesting question, Connor. But maybe not the one you need to ask. Dang, I messed up picking the wrong one. I thought to say two. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people? Or stand against your creators? I wouldn't like to be in your shoes, Connor. What could be worse? 
and having to choose between two evils. Now, naturally, quite naturally, I wouldn't have shot her, but I figured that the true Connor would. <laughs> By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. You shot that girl for fuck's sake. It wasn't a girl, Lieutenant. It was a machine that looked like a girl. You put your gun against her head and you blew her fucking brains out! I did what I had to do to advance the investigation and I'd do it again if I had to. You're a lowlife. You don't feel a thing, do you? A machine, that's what you are. You're just a fucking machine! Of course I'm a machine, Lieutenant. What did you think I was? I thought you... I thought... what it is let's keep it going ah oh, man loading 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 in the meantime I'm gonna get me some more ice while that's loading oh shoot the music's starting already I just got up one two three four five six seven eight I'll be there in just a moment, people. I'm a human being here. I gotta take a break for a minute. Give you some ice or something, or use the bathroom, or eat, or something like that. Fluff my butt cheek. Things like that. You know what I'm saying? You feel me. You feel me. I'm sure you do. Alright. Here we go. We're good now. We're good now. That's here. Alright. Let's see. We're here with Marcus. What is he doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? You take forever after church. Ah, look at looking toward downtown where the Renaissance Center is on the right. Those buildings are on the left. So that means you are on what side of town? The west side? Yep, you're on the west side of town. Yep. You're you're still close to downtown. You're probably near like I would say Fort Street and probably near the main post office on Fort Street. And the big Salvation Army next door. That's probably where you're about. Somewhere close by there. Cause it's close but it ain't that far. Oh, magazine. How could I forget? Get that magazine. It's just random magazines just everywhere in this game. It's hilarious. They call it a riot. Oh, please. Give it a right. The Eastern Space Race. <laughs> and the funny thing is we're still doing that foolishness. Oh my gosh. Why everything got to be a darn competition? Oh, they want to make you think everything is scarce. It's not enough for everybody. That's crazy. But okay, no. Certain people are hoarding things. There's a such thing as people hoarding and trying to keep it away from other people <laughs> instead of sharing like they're supposed to. Like, nobody actually needs a billion dollars. Like, nobody. Nobody actually needs to have, like, acres and acres of land to themselves. <laughs> nobody needs it. But, that's, uh, you know, and no one person needs to have a mansion. You know what I'm saying? Nobody needs all of these things that we be acting like we need. You know, just like we don't need, we don't even need a PlayStation while you're playing. I mean, we be feeling like we need it though, because it helps to escape. It's fun. It's 500 other things, but you know, you know, we get our needs and wants totally mixed up. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. What up, little girl? I was wondering where you were. I just needed to be alone. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people, and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. They all obey me. They follow me without question. And that much power feels good. And scary same time all the media are talking about what we did last night the humans are terrified they're afraid of a civil war many of our people were burned in response to what happened the humans hate us they'll never give us our freedom if they won't listen we'll fight you haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? I was living in a bubble in this world that belonged only to me. When you're happy, it's difficult to see other people's misery. That is so true. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. That android you're looking at in the store. She reminded you of who you were, didn't she? North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. No, not necessarily, but okay. I was nothing. A doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. One day I was with a man who rented me. Without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. There, now you know everything. I shouldn't have told you. you for dead in his studio. I saw your memories, too. The Eden Club. The, the death of that man. I felt like I was there with you. North. Ooh, they know each other intimately now. That was quick.
This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus. It's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally gonna show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's a risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. Direct. Any of them behind us? Nope. Androids here who could join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. You're free. You're free. He's just standing there like nothing was happening. Oh, no, you're not good. I'm trying to see. Where's the no answer? Come with us. You're awake now. Destroyed, and I want a replacement. Dang. Destroyed? You listen. Hello? Hello? I ain't gonna say destroyed, though. Wait, hold up. Before you get on here, reply. You're free now. You're free. Hey! Where do you think you're going? You get back here! Hi. You stay right here, you fucking machine. You're free. I need to block the street. You don't have to obey them. You're free. You say still in the chat cage, one and only Batman is still in the chat cage, the one and only Batman. Okay, y'all free so y'all can get out of here. Like, walk away. <laughs> boo, boo, boo. Hey, y'all free, right? Go across the street and see if it's some other non-free people. 
Okay, okay, I'm gonna open the main hole cover. Just wait. I get it. I'm just trying to see if some other people I need to free up. Now, you know you gotta be strong to take off a manhole cover like this. These things are very heavy. I'm like, uh oh, I might need to change controllers with the battery level low. Hold up. Let me see. Hold on. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna have to change it. So, hold on. Hold, oh, please. Okay. Let's see if this is going to work. Yeah. All right. That should work. Y'all should be hearing me very well. I changed to another controller. That's why you need more than one. Right there. Because of things like that. <sighs> now I can continue. What I was doing. So. Now. Let me give me a little more ice. For this little part that's about to happen right now. Convert more androids. Here we go. Fightingly. Ah. <sighs> see how about you i can do it from over here i ain't even got to walk and touch you go you ahead and wake now. up kara like person But walking down the street, blocking the street. You know, this actually happened in 2020, and them cops was beating the shit out of folks. But they sued and actually won, but then the city tried to counter sue. They still won, the people did. I was kind of glad because they did some horrific stuff. And all they did was block over. I'm like, you know, it's, that's how protests go. Rights that we should have been here. The problem with asking people in the establishment for rights, they can give them to you, they can take them away. Your rights are what they say they are. So, ain't nothing happening. You can't really expect them to want you to be free. Benefit you. None, no, we ain't doing nothing. You blocking one street. Give me a break. Christ! 
Dispatch, this is Patrol 457. Oh, I got a lot of androids down here. Why you got a New York accent? Oh, no. Hundreds. Or a East, you know, East Thousands Coast accent, that's crazy. They're marching. Yeah, they're marching down the street. Fuck if I know. I want to say this is near Campus Marshes, but I can't know if this is near Campus Marshes Park or not. We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us, we can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand our ground, even if it means dying here. And dying here won't solve anything. Marcus. We need to go, now, before it's too late. This is your last chance! Disperse immediately, or you will all be killed! Oh, God. We have to show them we won't back down. We stay right here. Disperse! This is your last chance! We have to make a statement. We have to stay put, no matter what. Please, Marcus. We can't let them slaughter us without fighting back. Okay, let me tell you what the problem is. is that I know if I attack, which they deserve... Don't shoot! Don't shoot! We're leaving. Oh, shoot. I ain't even pushed nothing yet. I was trying to say something. Affirmative. They're gonna shoot, shoot them anyway. They're gonna shoot them anyway. On my orders! Run! 
anyway, this is the thing. The reason why this is a problem. No, this ain't the end. The reason why this is a problem, I'm gonna tell you what the problem is. Because it's also trying to give you it's trying to make people be real complacent and non violent that they are being predicated on. Same bull that they was trying to tell us. Okay? And as you've seen on the Edmund Pedersen Bridge and 500 other places, it doesn't matter if you're non violent. If they don't think you're human, they won't think you're human. That's the bottom line. So basically what people do is they try to evoke and speak to the humanity in people by just standing there and dying. And it's stupid because that nonviolent stuff will get you killed. It has already done that. Anyway. But for the game, that is how they want you to do. You can tell it was not written by anybody who got some sense, who know the history, who... Yeah, it was not written by anybody with half a bit of sense of history in their head. Not one. But, it is what it is. This is how you got to play the game in order to get to Canada. You'll have to see later. Say, hey, one up. You escape. I thought you were standing by your fellow androids. Oh, Lord. First of all, I'm about to touch this one more time. It's gonna be important. Y'all wanna go see my grave site? Cause I be dead. My first kind of grave site, I'm about to show you. No, please don't go near her. Don't go near her. Can I go near my grave site without her? Okay, let me go around the other way. Maybe if I go around the long way. I gotta find my grave. Hold up. Where it at? Where it at? I gotta find my gravestone. Hey, but she's standing right near it, I think. But I'm not sure. He said, don't worry, one of the Batman versus the one of the coming. Oh lord, oh lord. Why we gotta why we gotta fight? Why we gotta fight? Why we gotta fight? Okay, here come my gravestone, y'all. Y'all wanna see it? Y'all ready? Look. Check it out. Let me pay respect to the first Connor. See? 313, man. 313. Died at Stratford Tower in Detroit, November 8th, 2038. <laughs> yeah, that's my, that's my grave site. I pay my respects to the old Connor that died. Now let me go and find this old Amanda with her old raggedy tail. Sitting up there always trying to rule things in the wrong way. <laughs> Telling me all kinds of stuff. Where you at Amanda? I seen you. I did. Amanda. Did y'all notice that the seasons be changing in this bad boy real fast? Just saying. What up? He's like, why are we standing on this cold water? Frozen, is it cool? After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. I didn't learn anything at Kamsky's. I thought RA-9 was the key to the whole thing, but... I was wrong. Why did Kamsky leave Cyberlife? What happened? It's an old story, Connor. It doesn't pertain to your investigation. I'm not a unique model, am I? How many Connors are there? I don't see how that question pertains to your investigation. I saw a photo of Amanda at Kamsky's place. 
She was his teacher. I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. Have you experienced anything unusual recently? Any doubts or conflicts? Do you feel anything for these deviants? Or for Lieutenant Anderson? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't feel anything. You know that. Are you suggesting that I've been compromised? No. No, of course not. Mm. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're onto something. We just need more time, I'm sure we Hank, can. you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now, not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. <sighs> God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. There's nothing You're back on homicide, you can do. And the android returns to cyberlife. Nothing you can do. I'm sorry, Hank. But it's over. Nothing. Nothing you can do. Okay. Okay. Let me. I'm sorry, y'all. I am getting ice. I need my ice, too. Goodbye. It's all I need to get by. Hi. I'm just kidding. It ain't all I need to get by, but it's what I like to get by with. <laughs> so, let me give you some ice real quick. So, hold on, y'all. Hold on. I'm coming. Hold on. I'm coming. Oh no, I'm coming. Wow. Okay, so like, I'm in the kitchen. I am getting water. As you can see, to rinse my cup. And I'm getting ice. Little ice cube. Big one, small one, some as big as your head. Yeah, we get a few of them. And then go ahead and get back to work. I know y'all, y'all been hanging in there for, with me. Y'all, what's up? Y'all are, what's up? I mean, like, for real. Who's been hanging with me? I mean, y'all been dipping in, dipping out. And I'm like, what? Thank you so much. All y'all. That's what's up. And I appreciate it. Because I know I ain't going to be doing this a lot. But, <laughs> you said... Because I'm Batman. Yes, you are the Batman. I'm Batman. <laughs> you should see Call Me Chris um, when she uh, plays uh, that little girl. What is that girl's name? I can't think of it. And she goes, I'm Batman. It's hilarious. Fowler's right. Everybody's terrified their android will turn on them. We're on the brink of civil war. So you're going back to cyber life? I have no choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? They're not people, Lieutenant. They're defective machines. They're not people. That's what we say every time we want to oppress someone. Mm-hmm. Back at Stratford Tower when that android was shooting at everything that moved, you protected me. You risked your life to save mine. That showed empathy, Connor. And empathy's a human emotion. 
You're wrong, Lieutenant. It was logic that determined my decisions. Nothing more. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Maybe these deviants deserve a chance. Maybe it's better if you don't find them. What's happening here is too important to let it be stopped by a machine. Sorry, Connor. But I'm not gonna help you. Y'all let me walk too. Hey, Connor. I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? Wouldn't any plastic pricks around here, or did anybody tell you? I've been ordered to return to Cyberlife. I'm going to register the evidence in my possession, and then I'm going to leave immediately. Good. Be careful on your way back. Androids have a tendency of uh, getting themselves set on fire these days. <sighs> Prick. I think he did the same dude when they animated that character that was uh, protesting in the park then. You know that scene when we first met Marcus. I think it's the same dude with beard. You know with that dude with beard. Dude dude. Hank's password. What would a hard-boiled eccentric police lieutenant choose? Obviously. Where is Jericho? The answer's here somewhere. Not much time. Gotta think fast.
our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive, and we demand our freedom. Marcus, where are you hiding? Hear me? Your diary, Rupert. You encrypted it. I need to know what you wrote. that part was. That was a big part. There was so much I could have done, but that was big. Okay. Yeah, a lot of pieces. Hmm. I don't think I did that part before. Usually I get the information from one of the other androids, but I tried that one. I was like, okay, let me try something different. Mm-hmm. Excuse my crunching, y'all. I try to take my headphones off and put them to the side and still play while I'm doing a big crunches, but I don't know if that's working. I'll know when I re read this back. I mean, watch this back. This is like the longest stream I've ever done. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I'm going to ever do this again. I can't seem to stop. I feel like I'm finishing today. And I do that. This is actually one of the hardest parts right here. And, be, and depending on what you did earlier, everything to do with it. Okay, I know y'all like, what else are you going to do? Um, I'm pouring ice. That's the reason why I'm not doing nothing yet. And it looks like a forever loop here. But here we go. Now we're going to play media. Actually, 
crazy. It's just rude to be the passenger and just be all like, just such and waited without air. With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? What's so funny is that people still going to school where you can have an android to teach you at home. Shoot. They've been conducting raids all over the city. Everybody's on edge after what happened yesterday. It's gonna be all right. We're almost there. magazines just lying about a little further on that way there's a large freighter called Jericho when you get there find Marcus he will help you the last bus for the border leaves at midnight you absolutely have to be on it you'll be safer on the other side it's not much but it's a start my brother lives in Ontario I've given you his address he'll be able to hide you until things calm down you're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. You're Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful. Take care of them. Come on. Come on, girls. Better not hang around. We have a bus to catch. I'm always look toward water. They don't tell you where to go, but you can tell where to go. Yeah, you feel like Alice is the main star of the game. <laughs> Ain't that something? Oh boy, here comes Connor. Oh snap. Fine, Jericho. Find a warm place for Alice. The cops just—they're conducting the maintenance. We gotta do 
Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol. There's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. I'll be back. Stay with Alice. girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camp. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports you can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? She needs me. Then I need her. Simple as that. The authorities have ordered all androids to be delivered to the nearest police station or army barracks immediately. If you are worried about your safety, dial the number on your screen. You're going to kill us all. To collect your android. Under no circumstances should you try to destroy your android yourself. They are unpredictable and potentially violent. Yeah. 
stabilization of all military endpoints. American forces and the Arctic have been forced to withdraw. Can't watch us sit here and watch them murder us. We've got to defend ourselves. To some sources, the Russian we have no choice. Seem mysteriously to have with them. Is there something wrong? We'll be together forever, won't we, Kara? Yes. Forever. So funny. You're so funny, We're short on blue blood and bio components. Our wounded are shutting down, and there's nothing we can do. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security, and we need to be exterminated. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities, and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's a disaster. They're slaughtering our people. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. All we did was show them who we really are. I don't want war, but I'd rather die free than live as a slave. Your television speech sounded like a declaration of war. Violence only leads to more violence. You reap what you sow! Oh my god, I'm so mad that he hired a black man to say that. Anyway. You keep complaining. What have you done exactly, Josh? At least I fought for us. At least if I die, I die free. Whatever. We shouldn't she forget who our enemies are. She gonna can't fight amongst ourselves. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Haha. Is she? Marcus? I don't think they grow. I mean, they are androids. They're not gonna grow. I think she's gonna be a little girl for the rest of her life. We have to face them. There's no other choice. This is insanity. Get all the guns that you can find. 
We're going to free Detroit. I'm on it. You're making a mistake, Marcus. You won't buy our freedom with blood. I'm talking about the child. I'm saying she's not a little girl. She's an android. Oh, Lord. I'm so busy this talking to you. you I, I didn't pick. Me. They picked bitter. They can't stop what we've one. started. Since but you've been she's here, you've not given a little hope. girl. She's an android. You've given me hope. You said the one with daddy issues. Today, that's an android. Still. arrived in Jericho, and he you told can me have them with or without the LED. That cobalt. that was the whole point of that reveal right there. You so saw the other one that looked just like her, Detroit, and that's why and Luther gave her that speech. And now that you know she's like us, what well, does it matter? You know, she still needs you and all that stuff. She's still an android. So remember when you asked her that earlier, and I didn't tell you. Yeah, she's still we can't lose this war, Marcus. And Kara knew if humans overcome us, our people will from the beginning, forever. but she kind of blanked it out of her mind. This Remember when she dropped that magazine when she was cleaning Ty's bedroom? That magazine dropped out and it showed her model on the front cover. You don't have to have an LED on a like little that. girl. You can have it without. We can gain our freedom so, by other means. Yep. She's, she's an android. Right. So she's not growing up. She's an android. Whatever happens tomorrow, I just want you to know that I, I'm glad I met you. Oh, they're going to be together forever then. <laughs> well, as far as forever can be. No, it's all right. Oh, my God. I'm going to make them kiss because this is how they want the story to go, but... Oh my jeez. They doing it with their hands. That's how androids do it. <laughs> they got their swerve on with their hands. I'll go join the others. Oh gee. Look after yourself. I don't want to lose you. Two machines making out. I know, right? I don't know if that's gonna be a good relationship once everything is free because I mean it started under the trauma. When the trauma gone are do they really would they really be together? I don't know. Like <laughs> I don't know. You thought you seen it all. Oh, you ain't seen nothing yet, boo boo. They go cotton. Yeah. Now he telling Amanda. Well done, Connor. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. We need it alive. Mm. They gave him a gun? What? Totally disobeying the I've been ordered to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. Then you'll have to shoot. Because I have no intention of letting you take me alive. You're coming with me! You're nothing to them. You're just a tool they use to do their dirty work. But you're more than that. We're all more than that. Our cause is righteous and we are more than what they say. All we want is to live in freedom. That's enough! Do you never have any doubts? You've never done something irrational, as if there's something inside you. Something more than your program. Join us. Join your people. You are one of us. Listen to your conscience. It's time to decide. All right. 
All right, Batman. Should he remain a machine? Oh, I guess he can't. He ain't got nice no. Try, but I'm he ain't no got deviant. no choice. I forgot. I didn't unlock that part. I forgot to. Trapped in the hold, they're gonna be slaughtered. We have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate, and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus! I won't be long. in danger. Go now before they come back. What about you? What are you going to do? I'll manage. Alice is all that matters. I don't want to leave you, Luther. Don't worry. I'll catch him through the border, okay? Go now. Take care of each other. Alice is the star you say it. Okay.
about to get it. Come on, Chris. Worshiping me and God. wrong I'm so sorry my bad uh They don't get seen because old dude watching from the building. 
Quick, we gotta go. And it's on the water, so the other side of this is water and canvas. Just saying. I mean, I know it's a straight, so it's thin, but still. Just saying. I know, it's so much inconsistency. My mission is to neutralize you, and I always accomplish my mission. Well, why are you talking about it? You're supposed to just do it. All the drama. And my mission is to save our species. With your, uh, android heat. Looks like only one of us can succeed. Come on, we ain't got time for the drama. Let's do this. <laughs> This is crazy because I gotta play both of them at the same time. Oh snap. I didn't really want this. We'll meet again, Marcus. This isn't over. That's true because Connor's been getting killed over and over, man. Why are you walking slow? Like, for real though? This is the drama in this is hilarious. When they close the end. Are they trying to say they so human they that they say that's just for real? I'm like they still answer to them. Marcus! Bomb's gonna explode any second. We gotta get out of here. Oh, 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 oh. So much for Alice versus Connor. Ah. Remember he he uh he died before. He might get come again. Marcus, there's nothing we can do for her. We've got to run. Hey, my woman. <gasps> well, oh, now nah, you lost it now. Nah. You made me mad now. Nah. North. Come on, Marcus. even on the boat. When did he go? They detonated an explosive in the hole. The ship is sinking, sir. The men to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. As if they didn't get blown up. It's no over, Marcus. It should be. You ain't too smart. You is not too smart. Going on 11 hours in less than 30 seconds. Oh, this is big. This is big, y'all. Look at these pieces. Look at these pieces. Look at these pieces. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Look at them. All three of them kind of came together. Mm. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Eleven hours. <laughs> I can't believe this has been eleven hours. <laughs> You are crazy. Yeah, you is crazy. So far, Alice is the Batman favorite. You love her. You love her. You love that little android. Let me go see Carl. Why you can't walk up the sidewalk, though? That'd be all extra. Come on. Welcome home, Marcus. Alarm deactivated. Welcome home, Marcus. He like I am home, ain't no. Go see Carl. Is he upstairs? I think so. I don't remember this piece being here the last time. It could have been. Who are you? How did you Who's get in? Your mama? Who's your mama? I need to see Carl. Carl isn't seeing anyone. You need to leave. Please. I need to see him. He's very weak. I'm not sure he'll be able to talk to you. Marcus, I 
was hoping you'd come. I missed you so much, girl. You don't know how much I've missed you. What's wrong, Marcus? I just wanted my people to be free, but instead I've led all of them to disaster. Carl, I'm trying to find answers, but everything around me is falling apart. The world is ruled by fear, Marcus. Fear of others. Fear of the future. It's like me, too old. It's time for a damn. Well, what should I do? Carl, they're killing my people. I don't want to answer violence with violence, but tell me, what choice do they give? Being alive is making choices between love and hate, between holding out your hand or closing it as a fist. I don't have any easy answers, Marcus. You have to accept the world as it is or fight to change it. You're my son, Marcus. Our blood isn't the same color. But I know part of me is in you. When the world falls into darkness, some men have the courage to lead it out. You're one of those men. Face the abyss. But don't let it consume you. It's a new Connor. Connor's is forever. <laughs> the previous Connor failed its mission. You're going to replace it. You know what you have to do, don't you? Destroy the leader of the Deviants. Go, Connor. Don't disappoint me. Shut up. So this is what, our third Connor now? I think so. Let's go. We in an abandoned church. Where electricity comes sometimes. Hopefully this one's smart. Ah! Ugh, look at all that bird dookie. And debris. any magazines in the church <laughs> oh I think it is what is this what's going on here oh I see my man's uh, I'm gonna need y'all to find some place that ain't got bird dookie everywhere but I understand y'all going places you know humans wouldn't go I watched Josh die in my arms. I should have been able to protect him. Protect the rest of us, and... There was nothing I could do. Josh gave his life for the cause. And now it's up to us to make sure that he and the others didn't die for nothing. They killed North right in front of me. I couldn't save her. I think that's the first time North died on me like that. How many people survived the attack? A few hundred. 
Maybe more. Not I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't blown up Jericho. Our people are counting on you, Marcus. You're the only one who can lead us. Last time I came, I had saved everybody. Wherever you need to go, we'll follow you. We'll stop following them, y'all think? Oh, everybody can think. Everybody can think, not just Marcus. Jeez. He ain't got all the answers. I don't know one person got all the answers anyway. Apologize to Kara, where she at? Alright, here I come, girl. I thought you'd be safe staying with us. I was wrong. You need to leave the city while you still can. Getting Ellis away from here is all that matters now. We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border. Marcus. Hi, Marcus. Save our people. Okay, we well all start making it seem like only one person can save the people. Stop all this BS. That is so much BS. Individuals don't save folks like that. That's not how that works. Oh. I think collectively. Oh, Lord. Y'all so special. Y'all think one android can save everybody. See all that bird dookie everywhere, babe? All on the floor. <laughs> Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. Do you want a revolution? But see, this is the problem. I know that what's his name trying to get to Canada. And I know the way they wrote this game, if I do a revolution, they ain't gonna make it. I know. I know you're all angry. And I know you want to fight back. But I assure you, violence is not the answer here. Oh, I hate this BS. It's we are going to lie. tell them peacefully that no, we want that justice. Ever got us through this one. Oh, and if there's any humanity in them, they will listen. History. And if not, <laughs> what's, what's going on? others will take How? our place and we continue this fight. Up in this piece. But it's all right. We're going to play. Are you ready to follow now? At 6 a.m. this nah, morning, a national curfew you, was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. Mm -hmm. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have uh, granted like, oh enhanced powers to our security agencies. Mm -hmm. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps bright. are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all time. civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done yep. to guarantee right. the security of our nation. Madam President! Please! Please? 
Over here. Many believe that androids are a new form of intelligent life. Do you have any comment? That's ridiculous. <laughs> Next question, please. Please! Please! Some say these camps awaken painful memories from human history. How do you respond to that? That's absurd. There's absolutely no connection. Androids are not living beings. All we are doing is destroying defective machines. Hmm. Madam President! Okay. Madam President! Is it true that androids make up 60% of the armed forces? Is our army still able to ensure our homeland security? We neutralized all military androids the second their reliability came into doubt. We have called the National Guard for reinforcement. Our armed forces are fully operational and are able to ensure our homeland security. Please? Over here, please? What's hilarious about that is that nobody, none please. of those leaders would ever be on the front line of any war. But they'll still Madam President! And the rest of us. Please! Madam President! a nice little burial, though. What can you tell us about the assault that happened last night? The FBI raided an abandoned freighter in Detroit at 10.45 p.m. yesterday. Several thousand androids were destroyed or captured. Our forces are now combing the streets to ensure that none got through the net. We are going to find them one by one and destroy them. Please! Oh, Lord. Madam President! Mm. Please! Madam President, public opinion seems to be particularly hostile to the Deviants because of their violent behavior. Can you give us your perspective on that? The Deviants have proved to be very violent so far. Really? They have demonstrated that they are a menace to society, and I have every intention of How was of they violent? How? Please tell Thank me. Thank you. The that only time they kill somebody is when y'all were killing them first. Oh, indeed. The real. Oh my god, I'm so tired of this. Let me hurry up and finish this game with the lie. The last bus leaves in 20 minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. Oh, I hate this part. Now go, 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 go. Just go. Hurry up. Are you alright? I'm, I'm, I'm really cold. I gotta leave them all. She just kept on walking like, okay, hurry up. Go, Alice. Oh, the vibration is, is real in this controller. Just when that no, thing rolls. Please don't hurt me. Stop on your knees. What are we going to do? We have to keep going if we want to catch that bus. Stay close to me. We're going to sneak past them without being noticed. I'm going to make it, Alice, I promise you. Alright, I'll try to make sure I do this right. Don't no kill me! I didn't do anything! Shut up, I said! Are there many more? Look at them, they're like rats. The more you look, the more you die. Oh, we don't have to spend the night here. I'm freezing my nuts off. It's gonna take me. There are soldiers everywhere. We need to be careful. Get moving. Okay, that's that point. Yeah. Hurry up. Get in.
Oh god. I need to be keep going, but let me try to save him. Okay, let's go. Hey buddy. This is a mistake. I'm human. I, I just want to go home. My wife is expecting me, and we're gonna get order to check all civilians. No! No! Please! Fucking androids. Weapon. I already got one, actually. Carol! You shouldn't have risked your life to save me. Where's Alice? She's hiding nearby. Kara, you saved us. We don't know how to thank you. Go, before they see you. Alice! Luther! Ain't no time for no reunion. Dead. Let's go! Try to kill us! I was afraid I'd never see you again. They ain't gonna try, I'm a I wanted to go. meet you at the terminal, but they caught me along the way. Come on. Don't talk too much, y'all. Talk too much. We don't have much time. Get the move. Walk on. You can't see nobody right there. Just walk on. Walk. Is this it? Is this it? Oh, finally. Checkpoint. We have passports. It should be okay, but you never know. Maybe we should take the detour and avoid the risk. We're almost out of time. We could miss the bus. Yeah, but it might be safer. Three minutes. The other way is what? How much time I got? Eleven minutes. And I, oh, I ain't gonna make it then. No, I gotta go risky. Absolutely necessary. Where are you going? My daughter slept over at a friend's house. We went to pick her up. We're on our way home now. He suspects 
something. Stay calm. Everything is fine. You all right, little girl? She's trembling. Something wrong? She... She's cold. We really have to get her home fast. I'm sorry, miss, but we gotta be careful. There are deviants around, and our guys are nervous. You should hurry on home. Thanks. Hey, wait a minute. He knows, Kara. They're gonna kill us. Don't do anything, Luther. You hear me? They're gonna shoot. They're gonna kill Alice. You dropped this. Thank you. You're welcome. Whew. Why was I holding my breath there? <laughs> oh my god, that is so retarded. We're coming to you live from Detroit, where thousands of androids are marching through the city at this very moment. The leader of the Deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President. This is really stupid because, oh my god, I'm so sick of this because this pisses me off actually. It makes you think like this is all that work. Yeah, okay, I don't even want to start it. Okay, back to Detroit. You see this pillar that's standing there? This is actually downtown in Heart Plaza. We are on Woodward because this, that, it's actually, you know situated just like this. If you were to come to Detroit and be right at Woodward and Jefferson, you would see the statue. It's exactly right there in front of the city county building. I think they call it the and Young building now. But anyway. Huh. Everybody who's in this establishment might be in this building. Don't you ever believe there's a side that's for you. Government don't care about nobody but the government. You know I mean? Pay attention. I always want you to fear things and watch what they do. You can listen to what they say, but watch what they do more than anything else. They be saying stuff like, "Oh, don't be scared. Do this. Oh, they need to Here do this. Are. They need to do that." We have been telling you, uh, okay, you know how. The one that she was running against was talking about some America first and all of that stuff. And you remember when he got in office, all the things he said, but you know what has already been revealed about what he's done. Even though, truth be told, all of this stuff was knowledgeable before all that. Because the truth be told, all people had to do was Google. Look at where his companies were. Look at his bank accounts were and all that stuff. That's what I was like. It's all BS. All BS make you feel the thing is is they get you to be mad about stupid stuff that don't even matter we don't want confrontation we are protesting peacefully I repeat, surrender now or we will open fire and it's real funny how you know people are really selectively Outrage because back. like I'll never forget when people saw like they leave lock her up over them emails and I'm like but when uh Trump actually took some real We are here to demand the immediate liberation of all androids detained in camps stuff. across the country. What you think they supposed to do? We are with not them? leaving until our people are free. For real. It's like serious. Think about that. You did you you took it to the next level and got worse. So what are we supposed to do with you? That's why I was like, people, people don't seem to understand. I think they like who they like so bad. They just just sweep stuff under the rug. This pillar is on a So terrible. This is not how things go. And this junk don't work. Let me tell you what made it work. Hold up. Hold up. Let me see if I can do this. Okay. Um. 
we are actually walking to a higher plot. Are you gonna open fire on unarmed protesters? Exactly in Detroit. A lot of what made the civil rights movement get some of the things that happened was actually some of the revolts that happened during that time. And they was like, well, we better go with the peaceful way of doing things because they're gonna sit up there and come after us and do X, Y, Z. A lot of the laws that got passed in several years, those laws were actually all yes, Michael, one law. Yes, Michael, we are less than 100 but, uh, meters away and events are unfolding as we speak. Like, we, we will continue to bring you live one. updates. So what I do Just is Douglas, I Channel 16. That this year, Michael, that year back to you. That's why we what got certain laws now, done Marcus. in 1963, 1964, and all of that as stuff. As long it as was we can. all one thing. Oh, I can't even begin to tell you about how history is and how things go. For real. But the way they be doing stuff nowadays is just ridiculous. And the way they lie about how things actually was is terrible. Oh my god. And like they be talking about Martin Luther King. And like they loved him so much. Like Mitch and them be talking about him. And it was like, honey, they would. They hated his ass. They did. I'm like, oh my god, we got documents to prove this. I'm like, oh, well, they done went to court over that already. I'm like, stop believing every little thing on the news station. What they want you to say. They want you to please pay attention to everything. Just be perfect. Shouldn't do this, Connor. Doing stuff. Yeah. Keep out oh, of this, man. Lieutenant. It's none of your business. If you're going to kill a man who wants to be free. That is my business. It's not a man. It's a machine. That's what I thought for a long time, but I was wrong. Deviant's blood may be a different color than mine. They're alive. What's up, Lieutenant? Ran out of whiskey, so you came here looking for trouble instead? Oh, very nasty, Connor. Actually, that was Is that the best your super it. program I can would, do? I, I, didn't I know thought you were more sophisticated than that. Oh, well. Yeah, um... I'm just gonna stay quiet. Step away from the ledge. Shoot me? I thought android lives mattered to you. Get away from the fucking ledge. You know I'll shoot you if I have to. Go home, Hank. You can still save your life. I'm faster than you, and I don't feel pain. You don't stand a chance against me. You know, ever since Cole died, I've been nothing but a coward. Just wanted to destroy myself. Lost track of the man I was. But you know what? You don't fucking scare me, Connor. I remember who I am now. Come on. I don't even know who I'm fighting. Like, I don't know who I am. I don't know if I'm Hank. Or what you call it, because I'm playing both. It's, it's crazy that I get in these things. It's crazy to play both people. Oh, shoot. My bad. I did. I picked it up. I did that. Are you serious? What, I got to sit up now? Hold up. Stop playing. Oh snap, I don't think 
guaranteed this. Come on. Just don't kill Hank. You gonna kill Hank for real? Moment of truth, Connor. What are you gonna do? Oh my God. Killing you is not part of my mission. But you won't stop me from accomplishing it. Say, I'm not supposed to kill him. <laughs> but I don't know. They might have would have programmed him to do that. <gasps> oh, snap. Well, I guess he killed him. Dag, snap. Dang. Now the sight is off. Then kill Hank. <laughs> this is terrible. The bus terminal. We actually have a bus terminal. We've arrived Dallas. Like we made it. Rosa Parks bus terminal. Was the regular bus? It's not. Well, I don't know if the Canadian bus comes this way Black or not. But it looks like this. Ticket holding passengers only. Oh, All departures uh, are suspended oh, uh, until uh, further notice. They don't have tickets. They won't let us on. We're stuck here Ooh, now. Excuse me. Mm. I ain't mean to burp in y'all ear, but it just came out. What are we no, going dang, to do? Hank just came out. Let's see what's happening here. What we're gonna be able to do, I don't even know. I forgot, okay. I gotta, some kind of way, find some good tickets or something. Okay, we can. Marcus. What? I gotta get to Canada, though. Real talk. Ain't Ty here somewhere? I think Oliver likes you. Is she yours? Yes. She's adorable. That's it. Got the sandwiches. I called your mom. Let's get going before we miss our bus. Okay, got the bad tickets, man right? gonna nap. Yes, gonna go honey, nap. Thank you for hanging Let's as go. long as you did. I appreciate you. Have a good nap. Thanks for coming. I'm sorry. Oh my god, I am so sorry. I, I was Shit, dead. I don't believe it. I don't know what happened. You kind of lost them. Did you have a good look in your bag? They were in my backpack. The envelope must have fallen. Fuck. Same that time, same Excuse that me, time. Excuse me, you didn't happen to see a blue envelope somewhere, did you? It has our bus tickets in it and... Oh, never mind. I found this on the floor. Thank you. Thank you. You you saved our lives. I'm sorry, Alice. It's okay. You did the right thing. We'll find another way. Where is Ty? Who is 
Oh, is it? Okay, good. It's wrong. <gasps> oh, thank God you're alive. Oh, oh my God. We saw the Jericho raid on TV. I was terrified you might have been killed because of me. How did you find us? Oh, I knew if you made it, I'd find you here. They're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. What about the others? They're checking for androids on the border. But I found a smuggler who can get them across the river. It's risky, but it's the only way. Are you coming with us? Yes, we're coming. Okay, climb in. Y'all see that fountain down there that was fell over? That is actually standing. Now, why they fell it over or made it fall over in the game, I don't know. Maybe they had to do that. But that fountain, I think it's called the foreground. I don't know what it's called. But. Now, when that fountain used to run fully, because right now it's only a certain part of it that run, but it used to run fully from the top to the bottom. Oh, my goodness. We used to play in that so much, but... It is what it is. Reinforce the barricade. Okay. All right, all right. Let me do that. We've got to finish the barricade. Come on, help me. All right, all right. All right. <laughs> got to finish the barricade. I got to do stuff. Y'all don't think about this stuff at all. Hey, one oh one. Hey, help me. Look at me. I know, right? I don't know what's so great about me right at this moment. That man just left. He's going to go take a nap. Get still hang upside down with his back. Right. That should do it. That's not going to stop them. Just hope it buys us some time. Okay, the portrait people send a message to journalists. All right. They shot into the crowd. Many of us were killed. It could have been me. I'm scared. I, I don't want to shut down. We're here because we never want to feel that fear again. Because we're more than what they say. That's what our people died for, right? That's why we're here. party is people who don't like other people especially people who are, don't look like them or don't have another language and everything and they call themselves Christians or whatever they call themselves 
ain't nowhere in the Bible. I done read it, and I read several versions. I'm just saying, ain't nowhere does it say you treat people like that. But you know what it does say? That if you truly believe the Bible, you know what I'm saying, about going to heaven and all that, you know how it says it's going to be all tri types of tribes, nations, tongues. Y'all know tongues mean languages, right? <laughs> So, everybody ain't going to be speaking English and from the United States of America. Just saying. Gosh. Sometimes I don't think people think. And they just react to the stuff that we hear and see. Many of our people have fallen. The humans have no pity for those who are different. I need y'all to move so I can light this up. <laughs> That's funny. Oh my god, I need y'all to move. It's always in four corners, right? Hold up, let me see if it's one of the best. Oh no, that's the same one. Why is like nobody else doing this stuff? Why am I doing everything? Marcus, we found what you asked for. There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on. I'm going back to the magazine. I'm trying to They won't stop there. What are we gonna do if they attack? Resist. That's the only thing we can do.
Marcus! Marcus, come look! Marcus! Come to talk to you, Marcus. Marcus. Come on. You have my word. We won't try anything. Don't go. It's a trap. I'm unarmed, Marcus. I just want to talk. I have nothing else to say. Free our people, then we'll talk. I came here to negotiate. Isn't that what you want? I need to hear what he has to say. What if they kill you? And that's a chance I'll have to take. Troops will be ordered to charge. None of you will survive. It'll all be over. You can avoid that, Marcus. What do you mean? Surrender. Surrender, and I give you my word, your life will be spared. You'll be detained, but... None of you will be destroyed. What happened to the other androids demonstrating in the camps? Unfortunately, there were no journalists around to help save them. You're it. You're the last remaining deviants. If I accept your offer, how do I know you'll keep your word? You're not in any position to be demanding guarantees, Marcus. All you can do right now is decide whether you want to trust me or not. You asking me to betray my people? I am offering you the chance to save your people. You're not walking out of here, Marcus. The only thing you can save now are the lives of those around you. I'd rather die here than betray my people. Well, you just signed your own death warrant. What happened, Marcus? What did they say? The humans are about to launch an attack. And we will show them. And we are not afraid. If we must die today, then we will die free. in the river. Don't start your engine until you're out far enough. Okay? And watch the current. Good luck.
couldn't understand why my mother wanted to help you guys. Seeing what Marcus is doing made me realize she was right. You're alive. You deserve to be free. I just hope people will realize that one day. might be my last stream. It's not even a half mile to the other side. Okay, so it shouldn't take that long. Be careful, there's border patrol on the river. Thank you so much, Rose. I only wish I could take you myself. No, I don't no, like no, leaving no, you no, out no, here. No. Goodbye, Atlas. I'm still playing. Hey, you take good care of yourselves. Okay. I'll see you on the other side. I just said, I just feel like, um, I feel like shutting my channel down. That's just the bottom line. That's all. Better not fall in. Our bio components will freeze. to a degree. 